sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm like 30 seconds late. What a dick. Sorry about that. How's everyone going? Happy, happy Monday. Happy Sunday night, whatever your time zone is. Hello, hello. Hey, Tommy. Hey, bud. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Shh, he's here. Hey, see, fans. Welcome back in. How's it going? Exclamation mark cackled. <laughs> <laughs> we don't fix typos. Um, that's also not how you spell that you cackled. Timeless, what sound does a cackle make? <laughs> Said Greg Scar. All right, I think Greg Scar thought that was funny then. That's what I'm going to assume. <laughs> Rick, how you doing? Mayor what is in here? Hey, Mayor what? How you doing, bud? Mayor what? I might steal one of your things. I, I was very intrigued by that motor vehicle. You, you were looking at, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see if people think it's cool, if people think it's dumb. Uh, Kath, how's it going? How you doing? Blue in the sky, nice to see you. Hello, boys. What's up, Wizzlekins? How are you? Look how happy Wizzlekins is to see us, Timeless. <laughs> I mean, I think Rick might be entertained. I don't really know what that emote denotes. But anyway, perfect timing. There we go. It makes a cack sound, right? That is true. That is true. I don't actually know what that means in other languages. I know what it means uh, in some of the dialects. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Major, how's it going? How you doing? I guess it's Dunk's only chance. Wait, wait, what are you people talking about? Did I miss something? Hey, Byte. Sorry, Byte, I missed you there. What, 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 what did I miss? Sorry, were there conversations before I arrived? I I've, I've always feel like I'm not privy to those. I used to always go to the top and read down, but, you know, then the stream never started. So, folks, if you wrote anything entertaining, or even if you just said hello and you'd like me to acknowledge you, uh, feel free to repost it. I'm sorry. Like when the countdown's there, I'm normally like in the bathroom and I'm busy like doing my guy liner and putting on my man squara and doing all the things that streamers need to do. You know, you know, evening dunk. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Wolf death breath. Always good to see you. Hope you're well geeks. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you? Acknowledge you. Acknowledge me, damn it. Mel, I do acknowledge you. I acknowledge you all the time. Holy moly, Mel. Holy moly. The stream is like, I don't want to like, get precise because you know it's difficult to get ratios but i'd say that the stream is about 85 percent mel would you say timeless <laughs> it's I like mean, the cactus used to yeah be it's like four percent me timeless as you can hear never lets me freaking talk you won't shut up i never get to hear a word and so about four percent me about ten percent timeless and about um 86 percent mel so i mean come on mel you got to share with the rest of us holy moly holy moly it's just mel 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 uh, we were discussing important chat business and going over the minutes from last chat. That's exactly it. That's your place. <laughs> Super soft drink. What's up? How's it going? I'm glad you're good, WDB. Uh, Kaja says, Dunk, I think you missed some of Shane's cutscenes. For one, you need to go to Marnie's when he's there. Probably early day on the weekend. Or other exit the farmhouse before 6.30 and go to the... Okay, Kaja, you copy and paste that and you let me know when I'm in the game. Because there is 0% chance I'm going to remember any of that past the next four minutes. So thank you, Kaja. You do good work. You do fine, fine, fine work. Don't acknowledge me. I won't. I won't. Timeless, never acknowledge that blue named person. Wait. Uh, <laughs> will not. I will not. Mayor Watts says I had to lurk and put my headphones on. What did I miss? Mayor Watts, I was actually saying, look at this, peeps. Okay, I was over at Mayor Watts. Let's get a shout out for Mayor Watts. Although I don't know if any, I don't think Z's here. So, Timeless, you can do it because Mayor Watts doesn't stream over on that username. A stream on at Ohm Town. Timeless, can you do a shout out for Ohm Town? Bam. Never mind. Bam. Z is the freaking Z is so fast, Timeless. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> Mayor What Mayor What runs like a talk show, right? It's very interesting. It's very cool. I never really get to see it because um it normally runs at like 3 a.m. my time. So today I pitched up there at like 3.45 and watched like this. There's always like interesting topics and whatnot going on there. It's very cool. You should totally drop a follow if you haven't. Like for real Z's, for real Z's, for real Z's. Now, Tommy, one of them was about this, all right? Do we think that this okay. is cool or do we think this is not cool? There is a limited edition 1967 Abercrombie and Fitch Thunderbird. Tommy, check this car out. But look how old school it is because oh it's got all this technology. God. Look, it's got an actual telephone. Look at that thing. Like a telephone that you pick up. <laughs> and look at this TV. It's got a TV. It's got a telephone. I mean, do we think that this thing is cool? Or do we think this thing is not cool? What do we, what do we reckon? Rando, thank you so much for the raid. What is up? How's it was going? That a tiny, was that a tiny cathode ray? <laughs> yes, it's a little tiny cathode ray TV. Look how cool that thing is. 
right? So welcome on in, Raiders. Peeps, if you don't know my buddy, Rando Tucker, go drop a follow. Uh, if you haven't, uh, thank you, Rando, for the raid. I'm glad that everything is thriving at Random Art for you. Um, we're, busy, we're busy looking at a car over here. Look at this thing. So it's an old school. Okay, so for anyone who's just joined, it's a 1967. Now, do you know what Abercrombie and Fitch is? I mean, it's like a Thunder. It's a, sorry, I read Thunderbird and Thunder. It's like a fashion brand, okay? Okay. They do like clothes and they do like fragrances and they do all sorts of crap like that. Um, so this also was obviously... They called it a Thunderbird. Is that, is that a cartoon reference? No, 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 no. Thunderbird is the name of this car, Donna. So it's very, very, very iconic uh, car, Tommy. A Ford Thunderbird. Yeah, but wasn't there also that like cartoon Thunder? Thunder there was Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. I do believe the Ford Thunderbird came out before Thunderbirds, the TV show. I don't know. Aww. Yeah, so this car's <laughs> up for auction. PJ, thank you so much for the 33 months of sub. This car's up for auction. Okay. It's got 75,000 miles on the clock. All right. Uh, the problem with it is it doesn't have the original paint. Apparently, that's a big deal. Apparently, that's a hugely, hugely uh, um, value diminishing thing. I don't know. It does have the original roof, though. But check all this stuff, dude. It's got like an actual telephone. And look at these dials, Timeless. Can I these say, yeah. while I was in the motor industry, I got to drive lots of cars just like this old Ferraris and old. And. <laughs> You notice the missing power steering. You notice. You all think of you that do, stuff. even though it's old. You do. You miss. You miss all of the good stuff that modern cars bring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at these lamps, dude! Look at these lamps! Look at those switches! <laughs> what the heck is that? What do these switches even do? That's because the cars are old, I mean, dude. I mean, no, man, the switch turns I mean, on the, the light, dude. It's no, awesome. No, no, it's no. awesome. The boardroom was like, guys, we need buttons. The future is buttons. I don't care what they do. Just put buttons in my car. Well, the future is buttons. Now check this. This <laughs> this thing can be yours, Thomas, for the bargain price, no jokes, of fifty three hundred dollars. Ends in one day. The auction. Hey. Wait, what? Look at this how cool thing. Dollars? Check that phone, dude. Look how cool that is. That's actually not a bad price. Look at that, you go, hello, hello, how's it going? Yeah, so, and hello, it's oh cool. God, I think, it, so what does is, what is everyone think? Is it cool, <laughs> is it cool, is it crap? But I mean, the, be the best part about this, this is real, dude. This thing, it's Wait. not like someone made a car that appears to be old. This was a real thing. This was a real thing. A, I can't actually tell from the distance. Is that a turn dial phone? It is, dude. That's what I was about to do. <laughs> You like driving, Hello. you take your hands off the wheel to... No, that's an aerial. It's literally like you have to have an aerial. You can see like one of the people, the guy who's actually put in, or the person who's put in the bid actually asked, does it have the original aerial that like makes the phone work? I think the person said that. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's work. cool. I mean, look, at, look, look, look at this stuff. Rando records crap? Rote phones? Yeah. Is it... <laughs> so what do we think? Is it too retro? Is it too retro or is this like a cool thing to do? And I mean, you know, 77,000 miles is not too bad, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose, I suppose if you have like a kid, they can play with the phone. I just, I love <laughs> the, the phone. phone. I love the, the phone, phone dude. I love, the, I love the lamps in the back, dude. The bo they, they bothered to take out the rear seats just so that they could put that, um, those, those, those things in the back. Look at that thing, dude. Look, you've got you the Abercrombie and Fitch. Thing is? Yeah. <laughs> That phone, Look at I that know, TV. back then, Look back cool then, oh is. my god, it is a rotary phone! It is, I told you it is, and there's the TV, look at that thing. <laughs> you gotta take your hands off the wheels! And look how cool this TV is, Thomas, you can adjust just the brightness and the contrast just by merely using a knob, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> so, you know? you know the worst thing about that phone is, mm -hmm. back then, the people that, if you went to go show off your friends, they would have been, wow, you got a phone. But now that phone looks like it was glued on there. <laughs> like they literally took a house phone. And they were like, Dish. it's modern <laughs> technology time. This is not glued. It uses this knob over here. You see? Oh my God. You put that up and there it goes. You, you have the phone. <laughs> um, um, it's hot, but for 5300, there's no way it's fine. Unless it is. I don't know. You can go read it. Maybe, maybe it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I assume it's Wait, not very so good if that's the price that it's going. None of but this who knows, stuff yeah. works, right? None of this stuff works. The TV doesn't work. I think it all works. It's, only, it's, 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 it's the car's virtually brand new, Thomas. Look, it's got all these documents. Very, very official paper work that shows that stuff happened. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know. I thought I thought it was a cool phone. Uh, cool phone, a cool, a cool car. And as I say, Thomas, these, 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 these lamps in the back, dude. 
that that's really that's worth not having a third seat, right? Think of all the reading you could do in a car, because no one gets sick doing that. Oh my that. god, are those the speakers? No, they're lamps. No, man, they're lamps, dude. That's even worse. They're not even speakers. You wish that they were speakers. You wish that they were speakers. It's actually the lamp, dude. You just turn it on, and then you can have all this light, dude, because, you know, the sun, the sun doesn't illuminate. You can blind the driver, yes. Oh, man. I mean, look at the house in the background. This is an affluent person that owns this, dude. Look at that. This, this, this is a nice neighborhood. Look at that house. Oh, damn. Yeah, that house yeah, is fancy. Oh, tell, tell, telling you, peeps. So there you go. If anyone's interested in that. So, okay, let's get a poll. Cool, yes, no. That's, that's what we're going to do. Cool, yes, no. $5,300, it can be yours. The auction ends in one day. One day, you two can own this piece of history, Timeless. A limited edition. They only made five of these. You know what I, you know what I love? That, that front spoiler, right? Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> You know they got that from, like, watching the Jetsons or something. They didn't watch anything. This is pre-the Jetsons, Timeless. This is more futuristic no, they, than the Jetsons. They, 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 were, they were like, we want to build a car from the future. They were like, all right, cool. Make, it, make, the, make the front look like it came off a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's there, there, there's, there's the poll. Is it cool, yes or no? Yes or no? So far, it's 100% yes, which I think it should be. I think it should be. I think it's cool. Uh, sorry if I missed any uh, comments. Let, let, let's go back in here. Uh, Rockstar, I'm sorry that you got uh, confused by that. Um, it, it's weird. We just pass you people around. That's what streamers do. Proper reading lamp in the back. Sign me up. Yeah, Zor. Haven't you always wanted to do like your cool reading in the back? Uh, it has 70,000 miles. Seems it's caused some serious problems by default. Break and surrender. That's a perfectly functioning car, maybe. Maybe. You can all go read the tech specs if you want it. Is the TV color, says Ocasio. Oh, what are you, Ocasio? Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> color television? What is this person, Timeless? It's impossible. It can't, it can't be that. No, it, prob it probably is like, you know, 16 color or something. I don't think the TV even works, to be honest. I think like, it, it could all work. How do we make this car ooh. cool? More knobs. Definitely more knobs. There's no TV that is six years old and still works. Says Rano. Rano, that's not true. There's cathode ray TVs. You can get them. You love those lamps? The lamps are the best. They're the best. Um, I read in the car. I have a lap desk with an LED light for when Mr. Kit is driving. There you go. Kit, the perfect car for you. Go, go grab it for yourself. Was it the presidential vehicle back in the day? No, that's a limited edition Abbey Crumbie, Abercrombie and Fitch <laughs> uh, old retro car. Just because it's old, it has value, says Rando. Rando, that, thing, that thing's got to be worth more than 5300 Let's put it on display on the community yacht. We could do that, yeah. I would vote no, but on phone. <laughs> okay. I do read in the back with my LED lamp on my lap desk. There you go. You can have a self-driving car. You can have a car that rips um, off your pecs by turning. <laughs> that car will run forever like a fridge from those times. I agree, Gregs. I think that car will run forever. I think if you know what you're doing, I think it's cool. Kala, have yeah, you no imagination, is, it, says Super Soft Drink. There we go. The car is it's, cool. It's done. No... That car is also an absolute death trap. If you get into an accident with that car, um, yeah, you, uh, the ch your chances of survival are probably slim. <laughs> he died because he was talking on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was dialing the rotary phone. <laughs> don't, don't use a phone and drive, peeps. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's, that's where it came from. I mean, cell phones are really cool. You go, Siri, phone, mom, you know, that would you learn crap. Oh, no, restart. <laughs> it is not cool. It is so cool. 78% of people say it's cool. It's called the Abercrombie and Fitch Apollo. Yeah, there it is. It's cool. I'm on iPhone and I can't vote. Did they break Android? Um, I think they broke Android. I think that's what they did. I think that's what they did. Still can't vote on mobile? Android? Yeah, I think it's Android has a problem at the moment with voting. Um, Apple has a problem with lawsuits, Thomas. Did you see that? No, I haven't. No, yeah, they're in all sorts of trouble, dude. They, 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 their company really? runs too well and they make too much money using their, their, <laughs> their, their ways. I mean, you know, the moment I have an iPhone and you just know, you're like, I'm stuck in this thing. I can't change phone. There's too much crap I'd have to do. It's, they've, they, they've got me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck inside. So, yeah, they... they're working on stopping that stuff. Yeah. I know they had an issue. Uh, so, a lot of, uh, I think the EU is forcing them to have a more standard charger rather than their special custom chargers, which I actually agree with. I hate the fact that I got to use like 50 different chargers for every different phone. Plus they design them to break. I've had a lot of Apple chargers that would break. <laughs> no, they don't so my old company to break, used to make us use but, Apple. Yeah, I know what you mean. My old company used to make us use Apple computers um, and phones for reasons. Yeah. And um, 
yeah, that's the the charges are literally the worst things ever made. They're literally like the 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 cables fray all the time. It's like made of like tissue paper. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous stuff. So it's it's my yeah. it's by design though, dude. They do it by design. Miss Mercury, you think so? That shirt looks great on you. I thank you, Miss Mercury. You see, timeless. <laughs> thank you, Miss Mercury. Uh, how's it going? Welcome on in. Probably only has a waist seat belt. That's cool. Those things were made solid. I yeah, I agree with you, Faith. So no, my no, grandfather no, no. used to have that's, an old Mercedes that was like a tank, no, Tony. But, but that's the problem. The reason cars crumple so easily these days is to basically um, so you don't take on the full brunt of the impact. Ah, simple physics. I don't understand it at all. <laughs> <laughs> so because that thing's made of like solid steel, that's what kills you. Yeah, basically. Are you sure? Because that thing weighs like five tons. It's made of steel and you just go... <laughs> Surely that's just what happens when you're going 120 on, on the highway <laughs> and you hit something that's, you know, oh, that's, that's my physics, Thomas. I don't want to hear crap. You're, you'll fly through. No, you won't. No, you, nah, just, that's all. That's all that'll happen if the car's made. 50 different charges? How many? No, no, but Randall, what he's saying is you go to someone's house and you're like, hey, do you have a charger? Oh, yeah, I've got an Apple charger. I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. <laughs> like, no, no. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's, that's the one that fits this particular iPad or phone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it actually drives me over the edge. I hate that they do that. And with every new iPad, they release a brand new, different type of charger that doesn't work with anything else. <laughs> it's, it is problematic. Apple's the worst. They do design things to break. They lost a lawsuit over that. Yeah, that's exactly it. They're designed to break. They don't allow for third-party repairs. That's exactly it. So all those things they're getting sued for now. They're getting sued and uh, well, they, they're having like a whole action. The DOJ is busy getting in there. Um, and I only know that this is a thing, Thomas, because I did yesterday's crossword, mini crossword. <laughs> and, and it said, like, DOJ, <laughs> big tech being, have an antitrust suit. And I was like, ah, oh, Apple fits. Oh, okay, wow, I should probably look that up, you know? That's the only reason. Friday charges are no good. Same with storage cards. Sony tried that a while back. Yeah, I remember, Keisha. Time you tell that, Elon. I, he will. That's our new show, by the way, Four Wheel Tech, Dunk. We talk about automotive tech. Uh, we're up to seven shows. May I want, as I say, I'm sorry I don't really get to catch you, dude. I think you normally stream when I'm, like, asleep. You know, that's, that, that's why. But that's cool, dude. That's interesting. So, yeah, peeps, go, go, go check out May I want all sorts of interesting topics and stuff um, if you'd like that. Uh, then it doesn't absorb any energy. Ah, physics. The crumple strategically placed ways now. Back then, the full metal body would take a huge hit before being totaled. Faith, I have no idea how any of it works. But I'm with Faith, yeah. I think they were built, I feel they were good, built good back then, Tommy. This is why you like the wireless charging. Randall, are you insane? The moment I heard that there was wireless charging and you put something on a pad, I was like, I won't use that. Randall, what if you spill your glass of water on that? You'll just electrocute yourself. Clearly, that's how it'll work, Thomas. Of course, right? You put your phone on there and you accidentally have a wet hand. Oh, oh! oh what happened to that streamer, Randall? Like, oh, no, he's dead. He's freaking dead. That's what happened. He, didn't worry. he washed his hands. He didn't dry them properly. And he touched that wireless charger. He's dead. He's dead now. Never, Random. Might as well go stick your hand in a wall plug. That's what you should do. It's ridiculous. Never trust anything that doesn't have wires, Timeless. Ever. Do you agree? I know. I, I like things without wires. <laughs> <laughs> the whole... I want to see... No, I, 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 I mean, honestly, some, somebody who's dealt a lot with computers yourself, Dunks, there are so many wires to deal Sorry, with. are you high? I, what? Dealt with computer. What are you talking about? I opened up a computer once and it was the scariest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put in my own Surely... RAM stick. What do you mean dealt with computers a lot? What are you talking about? Surely you've had to deal with all the cables no, I've never, from Dude, your, you like, forget. You forget times when, your... I used to be, when I used to be a, a worker. Most of the time I was yeah. in a position of power. I got people to like rub my like down when you text over. I'd be like, you there, IT guy. What is this? I said, that's your printer. What does it do? You know? <laughs> Make it on. You well, know, I don't, I don't have to deal with these things. It's ridiculous. For me, that's my biggest peeve. It's just all the cables we have to deal with. So every time we can get remove a cable for some reason, I see that as a win. <laughs> okay. No, I don't like the look of cables. But I'm, I mean, I must be... Okay, like internet still. Like, you know, it needs to be a cable. Internet can't come from space. Wi-Fi is okay, but it's not... Better than it used to be. I remember back in the day, someone's like, Wi-Fi. You'd be like, oh, God. Oh god. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while for like Wi-Fi to catch up to cables, but 
I mean, I hope they do one day. <laughs> that would be epic. Then we wouldn't have to worry about under siege. What are you talking about, Thomas? Then there's even more internet bouncing around. Can you imagine? It's already, it's, it's, it's even more it's already de- no, okay. I'm, I'm really trying to sound like a boomer. No, don't you? Know? It's no, just Thomas is already. You, you, don't you, you know? Sound, do the Wi Fi rays, like dude. My, I know someone like that. Don't like sleep with the phone. In, no, I know people like that. They don't sleep with the phone in their room because they're like, oh my god. No, you can't. You can't have too much of the the, the rays, Thomas. They're there, dude. There's too much information you know flying to, around. You know how much I had to convince my parents that our brains were getting melted by all the rays bouncing around. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they should have been sued years ago, Susanna. It's true. I can't remember which Scandinavian country, but they legally require Type C charges for phones. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, over here, they say you have a monopoly because their stuff won't work with other products. No, so that yeah, I mean it's a bit of a weird one. Like I do understand where you're like, but we tricked everyone into making us a monopoly. So, like, on one hand, like, the capitalist in me goes, <clears throat> you know, you should be allowed to do what you want. But I do understand that once you get to that position, it becomes almost impossible. And it is very predatory, and uh, the consumers never win. So, I also do get why people have to intervene on all of these. Just stick to the speed limit and wear your seatbelt, and chances are you'll survive, says Random Red. For sure. These days, I crumple air anywhere. No strategic placement at all, says Super Soft Trick. Um, okay, Rado says, this is how it works. Now, I've obviously been talking for too long. So I'm just going to assume that Rando's agreed with every single thing I've said. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Rando says, this is how it works. Correct. Rando believes in my hot takes. That's true. Clip. No, none of that. I've used my wireless charge as a coaster. I don't recommend, but nothing bad happened. Geeks, are you, you like to live on the edge. Times. Geeks is one of those people. They don't care. They don't care. They're like, I only look once before I cross the road. I look left and right. I don't look left again. Couldn't care. I live on the edge. Go you, geeks. I feel like as I get older, my body also crumbles in specific places to reduce damage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> By the way, Thomas, did you know, and this is a true story, did you know here in South Africa, you know, when you used to be young and there used to be that like really stupid mascot, uh, he was a cat. His name was Danny Cat and he used to teach us about road safety. Did you remember that? I don't remember. No, I don't and remember. And they'd be like, remember, look left, then right, then left again before you cross the road or whatever. That entire thing was wrong because it was based on an American syllabus and the Americans drive on the other side of the road. So you're supposed to like look this way, look that way, and look at the closer side again. But we would look at the far side again, timeless, and that must have killed <laughs> zeros of people, you know. So the entire the entire I, thing was built on a lie. I gotta yeah. be I gotta be honest. I never um, did that stuff. So whenever I walk walk to the edge of the road, I I wouldn't go. Oh, I gotta follow the look left and look right, look left again. I just look left and look right and look left and then look right and look left and look right and then just walk over while I'm doing that. I'm just one of these people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's safe, Thomas. Oh my god, I was fainted just doing that. But this man is fainted in the middle of the road. Why? It's like he got so dizzy. He's like, oh, oh. which side could they, they could come from anywhere? There it is. Don't go always have servants. I don't have servants. I'm just saying, you know, just one of those. You become the worst thing that can ever happen to a human being is uh, having people that can solve problems for you. It's uh, you don't turn into a very well rounded human being. Uh, the thing I don't like about wireless is having to charge things. So wireless charging is interesting, says Acacia. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I did have a wireless charger once for my Samsung Galaxy S5 or something. And it worked so badly. I don't know if they're better now, but it was like this like circle thing. And you had to like put your phone on it. And then it was like charging, but then it wasn't charging. And then it was, and you're like, oh my God. Oh my God, just plug it in. It wasn't cool. And then you'd leave your phone on it all night and you'd lift it up in the morning. It'd still be on 4%. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know. So... I hope they're better now, because they were really crap when they first came out. Ah, I'm covered in internet. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's freaking <laughs> disgusting. Hey, Ty, how you doing? Back in my day, it was the Wi-Fi. Why well, try? It's true. You sound like a boomer, but more like a grandpa of a boomer. Yeah, that's it, you know, a groomer. I don't think that's the right word. Wi-Fi 7 will hit 40 gigabits per second. It's better than wide, but I don't have to worry about wires. Um, I hear you may what, but yeah, like, you know, it's always reliability. And drops and stuff. So for like streaming, you always got to plug in your cable. I thought the TED talk from 2008 was pretty interesting. They were showing a monitor running off a wireless source on the wall. And the guy walked around. That does sound cool. From 2008? Huh. Yeah. He's dead now, Thomas. The guy got electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blue Yoshi, how's it going? Life is like looking both ways before crossing the road and street. Then you're getting hit by an airplane. That's very true. Look right first. A time, as I said, it all depends on what side of the road that you, um, the, the cars drive on. Type-C charges, but we did the American one, which is wrong. Type-C charges are enforced in all EU countries. Uh, we just hated Apple's buy a different cable crap. Nice, Anna. You see. 
Uh, how's the battle royale going? We're going to start it today. For anyone who doesn't know, very, very, very exciting times in Stardew Valley. Uh, incredibly exciting. Timers, would you say that anything uh -huh. is more exciting than what's about to happen today in Stardew Valley? And I don't know. The answer is no, today. dude. The answer is no. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, I have found love. I have found all the love in Stardew Valley. Um, I lost all my girlfriends. Okay. I lost all my girlfriends. All my girlfriends said to me, um, we know that you're two timing. We know that you you give me give me some cool terms for the timers. We know that you're trifling. Um, we know that you're playing the field. Uh, no man, there's what's a cool word? What's the cool word, peeps, for what I was doing? Don't forget what did I just forgot. That's the thing. I was um I was being a player. I was uh, having six girlfriends at once. And um they all find out, so I lost all my girlfriends. So I did what any any logical person would do, timeless. Yet if you got dumped by every single woman in your world, what would you do? <laughs> I, I did what, what any logical do. person would do. I dated every man. So now I have, a, <laughs> I have a romantic relationship with every single single person in the valley. And um That's what we're gonna do. Oh, I went Wait, to bed the, with men, the, beer. the men haven't brought you in for a intervention either? I don't think the men care. Which is cool. But the ladies, I think, have forgiven me. Wait. So, yes. So, look at this. Every single, single Why person in the valley little... is ten hearts. Yeah. Wait, no. There's like a little sailor man uh, sleeping behind your there's chest. a sailor man sleeping behind your chest? What? <laughs> yeah. huh? What a sailor man? What are you talking about, Timeless? It's freaking Pip, Timeless. It's Pip wearing a hat. <laughs> Pip's Timeless is one of those people that can get fooled um, by like five ferrets in a trench coat. You know, you know? I thought, look, he's as long like, as they wear a hat to go, look, it's a sailor man. Hi, indeed, sir. He's got like a <laughs> sailor hat and he's got like a handlebar mustache. You he doesn't it. have a handlebar like mustache. A... It's freaking pip time. <laughs> it's pip in a sailor hat. It's the same pip that it's always been. <laughs> I say this in the kindest way possible, Timeless, but you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I think sleaze was thrown around. Yeah, I was called sleaze. That's true. Double dealing, six dealing. Yep. Crovis? I don't have Crovis. There are no cool terms for that. Have you lost all your boyfriends yet? I haven't. They, they, they like me. Everyone likes me. Uh, Keisha says I need to do Shane's cutscenes. Okay, tell me the first one, Keisha. One at a time. You need a rabbit's foot in your inventory, my friend. Cameron Barrier. Yeah. Uh, for anyone who does not, Acacia, who I'm playing the game with, actually sabotaged me. Acacia, I was going to get a rabbit's foot, and Acacia said, no, 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 no. Don't get a rabbit's foot. And I was like, okay. And the reason why Acacia did that was to screw me over because Acacia's trying to date uh, Abigail. So they wanted Abigail to break up with me. Hey, how indeed, how crazy is the intrigue and drama in this valley? How it's insane! Like game of Thrones. This it makes Game, game of run. Thrones. It makes Game of Thrones seem like a game of something that's less intriguing than a throne. Time. It's like Game of Chairs. You know, that's all it is. Just literally a game of musical chairs. That's all it is. It makes Game of Thrones seem like Game of Chairs. It's dumb. For when you go to Marnie's when he's there, probably early day in the weekend. All right. I'm going, I'm going. Straight to my knees. Uh, I should probably read my mail first. Uh, thank you, thank you. Mini shipping bin. Alright, for anyone who um who doesn't know. Wait, your wall's <clears throat> crumbling. My whole world is crumbling? No, time is not be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> the wall is crumbling. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> that's that's a very different thing. So peeps, we're gonna do like a battle royale type situation today. You are all going to vote. I actually have all the um, tiers that we're going to do. I went onto a website, Thomas, and you know what I looked up? What did you look up? I looked up who are the most popular spouses in... No, Shane, you're supposed to stay inside. No, Shane. No. Shane. So I looked up who is the most popular marriage uh, person, and I've basically seeded them for the vote, much like you would for a tennis tournament, Thomas. Okay. Right, does anyone want to guess? Who does everyone think is the number one relationship person in the game? Who do you think, Thomas? Who do most people marry? This was a this was a poll that was done, a survey that was done of seven thousand Stardew players. I'm guessing it's either Abigail or Maru. Okay. Shane, Sebastian, Shane, Haley, Elliot, Shane, Elliot. Oh, sorry, I thought we were talking about. Who do most people marry, Thomas? Oh, uh, yeah, no, Shane Overall, definitely. yeah, yeah. Who, who, do, who do the most people marry that played Stardew? Yeah, Shane definitely. Sorry, I thought we were only... I thought we were you think Shane turns. definitely? We're taking turns. Yeah, I thought All we were going right, to Shane is number five. Shane is the fifth most married person. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, who'd be above him? Abigail, then. Abigail is number three. Maru? Maru is stone last. Wait, what? Maru <laughs> is the least most married person at number 12, Timers. Oh, just because she shocks you guys, you bunch of babies. <laughs> it's because she's too smart, dude. It's like I say, you can only be a treasure. Maru is stone lost. So in 12th position is Maru. Okay? Okay. Least liked. In the 11th position is Sam. No one wants who's to marry Sam. Sam. Sam Sam's, Sam's the little, little punk. Sam. Sam's little punk that tries to kiss you before you even know him. That's, that's who Sam is. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Number 10, Alex. The jock, dude. Right, we're married. Number okay. nine, Emily, Earth Child Emily, jiggling her, her hips and gyrating her hips and stuff. Number eight is Haley. Even though Haley is pretty and nice and all that, apparently she's too high maintenance. Haley's number eight. Number seven is the doctor, the serial killer. Hello, timeless. Number six, this one's a bit of a shocking one. I thought that this one would be higher up. Number six is Penny. Penny's only number six. Okay. Number five is Shane. Number four, okay, now we're getting into the, 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 the semi-finals here. Number four, most popular person to date, is Elliot Shampooman, Timeless. Elliot Shampooman oh. is number four. <laughs> no, not Elliot Shampooman. Elliot Shampooman. People like Elliot Shampooman. What can I say? He they really like Shampooman. He's, such a he's like such a Fabio-like character. Kittens, <laughs> Harvey above Maru. Everyone's above Maru. <laughs> Literally everyone. Okay. Elliot Shampooman is number four. Fabio himself. Three is Abby, as we said. All right, which means mm -hmm. number one is between Sebastian and Leia. Who do you think is more desirable, Thomas, Sebastian or Leia? Sebastian. That is correct. Sebastian is number one and Leia I is number it. two. It, it's easy because Sebastian gets you little cute froggies. <laughs> you know, you say that we've had a lot of people in here saying that I have married Sebastian. I've married Sebastian. I love Sebastian. Sebastian's amazing. So yeah, Sebastian's number one, Leia number two. That's that's what it is. Uh, Abigail number three, and Elliot Shampooman number four. So yeah. I also would assume people kind of go on the similar sort of lines to their orientation. So that could technically imply something as well. They actually did have all of that in the survey. They basically asked people like what your gender was and what your sexual preferences were and all that type of stuff. So it, it did have like, a, it was a really in-depth thing. But long story short, all the people combined, that's where you land up being. Kind of surprising, says Ocasia. Nah, I knew Sebastian would be right up there, huh? I, I would have thought Sebastian or Abigail, probably. So yeah, one and three. I thought it was cool. Leia is your love? Fantastic. Z and Sim are my number one, says Rick. <laughs> I mean, there it is. I marry Maru every time, says Jen. Jen, you're skewing the statistics. Sebastian was made after the game developer himself. Really? Wait, seriously? I see. So he's like, I'm going to code this person to be the best, most powerful. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So today's the day we get married. Uh, apparently, I'm missing some Shane cutscenes, though, says Arcasia. So I'm going to have to get the Shane cutscenes. Arcasia, are you sure you just kind of missed me? Like, what are this? What's supposed to happen? So I have had one in this house before with him. I don't know if there's two in this house, but I definitely have had at least one in here. That's for sure. Um, I don't know. Hi, everyone. What's up, Father? How you doing? Sebi was my first, so as much as I would like to disagree, I can't, says Wolf Deathbreath. There you go. I went for Sam first and then Leia on another game. So you had number two, and then you went for number 11. <clears throat> Giku, how's it going? Nice to see you. Who are your top two of each gender right now? Uh, when you're saying my top two, I have everyone. Everyone is the top. Everyone has 10 out of 10 hearts. And, um, are you asking, like, who I like? <clears throat> In which case, I don't really know. That's what we're going to vote on. That's what we're going to vote on. I don't really know where we're going to settle. <clears throat> my favorites? I don't know. Um, it's really tricky. It's really, really tricky. Um, sure. I don't know. I don't know. They've all got so many things. I mean, this guy kills people. That's pretty cool. Hello. Um, I don't know. Hard. It's hard to tell. Really difficult. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Who do you not like? I don't really like... Sam. Yeah, I don't really like Sam. I mean, he's, he's okay. He's a cool dude, you know. I could be his mate, but he comes across... I think he's a bit of a dog. Yeah, no. I, I don't know. 
I don't really like him. Uh, Alex is obviously a jock, but like, you know, he's kind of grown on me a bit with his storyline. Uh, Shane, Shane as well was a dick, but now, you know, he's kind of up there. Sebastian, um, yeah, he's okay. I must be honest, I don't think the men options are particularly good. I, w I wouldn't be thrilled uh, with all these men options. The, lady the ladies to me are a bit more intriguing, because I mean, it's kind of like Elliot is like, you know, he's an author and he's got that mysterious thing. But I don't know, I almost honestly feel if they put in like a vanilla person in this, I can understand maybe why most people marry the doctor on their playthrough. Uh, just kind of like a vanilla dude, I kind of say he's up there, and maybe why so many people like Shane. So who knows? Uh, Sam is fun when you get to his concert? I have, I have. He, I mean, like I say, he's a cool dude, but you know, to, to, to date him, I could totally picture him having multiple, multiple partners, which I obviously would never do. One involves chickens, the other one going to the city. Okay, no, that doesn't sound like I've seen it, Keja. Harvey is swoon with you. Unfortunately, in our playthrough, he is a serial killer, so... You know, <laughs> and yes, I, I, I know of Krobus, peeps, thanks. But yeah, this was just marriage thing. So Krobus wasn't actually involved. Dunk really wants that delicate flower that is Pam, but it's not meant to be. Yeah, that's true as well. That's it. You're playing some Pelia, nice. Was Krobus on the tier list? No, no. So that was for people to get married to. So you can't get married to Krobus. Krobus was in the survey. Um, he appears somewhere. But yeah, he, he wasn't on the marriage list because you can't marry him. I vote you add the mod to marry Pam. Uh oh, Dunkster, the way I look at you, the things I feel. Didn't somebody say you could get her off the bottle if you wanted to? Um, I don't think so. Sober Pam up. Uh -huh. I mean, we sober up between the hours of like 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. when she's driving the bus, you know? Okay, so that was an option. Weird. Keisha, I don't know how to trigger this. When was the next one? This doesn't seem to work. This doesn't seem to work for me at all. Seems like a lot of people like Krobus. Don't listen to your voice. Some of these people is reminding me of when I would watch some of those GTA 5 roleplay streamers. Uh, there are some interesting folks living their roleplay fantasy. Um, now I've actually thought about, um, I don't know. I've thought about playing roleplay before. I think it's a bit of a weird one. I mean, I'd do it for maybe like a couple hours here or there. Would be a different kind of stream, but I, I, I mean, I used to like role play like in D and D and stuff. I think it'd be cool. I think some people would absolutely hate it in here. Um, I think some people would really like it. I think Tommy and I could make some really, really funny uh, moments in GTA. I, I think we could do it, but again, it would just be a totally different stream. So it's a, it's a, it's a tricky one. But I mean, I guess to do it like once in a while might be cool. Try tomorrow morning. Also, be sure to exit the house before six thirty a.m. Just head, head straight out. Okay. I can try that, Acacia. I can give that a go. All right. Well, then I guess back to bed, huh? Because today, that's all I wanted. I just want to get my reality show going. That's all. So, folks, you're, you're, you're going to vote. You're going to vote. So, I can already tell you the first matchups are going to be Sebastian versus Harvey. Leia versus Emily. Shane versus um, Maru. Elliot versus Haley. Sam versus Abby. And Alex versus Penny, Thomas. That's what's going to happen. Very exciting. Very exciting. They're all going to battle royale to see who can love me the most. Please make sure the animals have food. Uh, that seems like... I mean, sorry, Tommy, are you even going to play with me today? Or are you just... Um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can hear that he really wants to, but he doesn't... He's shy to say yes. Is everyone else reading that same kind of energy? There's not really much I can do. I mean, I suppose I can feed your animals for you, but eh. <laughs> feed my other animals. Did you go fishing between 6 a.m. and 1 p.m.? Uh, where, Faith, and for what? Um, I might, I might have caught the fish that you're talking about. Sorry, I've done, I've done a lot of fishing at different times in different seasons. They hesitate? Yeah, so much hesitation. Can you believe it? He wasn't planning on it. Beautiful melodies Thomas has brought into our home. <laughs> I love the little... What is that chest you put there? Uh, I got it in the mail and then I kind of accidentally put it here. But what is it? Oh. It's, it's meant to be a mini one of these, but I don't quite understand what it does. I don't quite understand it. Mini shopping bin. Yeah, what is it? What does this thing do? 
have a great stream. Thank you, Statistic Hope you're having a great also, start to your week. Go, yeah. go, fix, go fix the floor. You removed some of the cobblestones. No, you hop, I don't even know what you're You hop in here, you want me to fix this stuff. <laughs> no, where the chest was. Look in your three You hop in if you slots. want to fix these things, Damnus. I don't know how to make cobblestone floors. So. I don't know. You can sell stuff with it. Um, so you see, we make a new type of mayonnaise. Void mayonnaise. Wait, what? Yeah. Comes from a void chicken, in Terminus. Look at this little void chicken. It's like an evil chicken with red eyes. Chicken attack. Everyone know chicken yeah, attack? Yeah, the chickens don't mind it. Oh, yeah, void mayonnaise, Terminus. A thick black paste that smells like burnt hair. You want to drink it? Why would anyone want that? What does it do? It gives you minus 75 energy. What? Why is... What's the purpose? <laughs> Cool, Timeless. That's what's the purpose. Oh, I like that you can put more hay down. I can put all the hay down. What the so heck is this thing? This isn't even a chicken. What happened to this thing? There's a, there's a goose in here. What is this thing? Trotley. Who the hell is Trotley? When did we get this thing? Hmm. Has to be a decent web-based bracket maker thingy somewhere. Super soft drink, probably, but um, there are 12 people, which is a bit of a weird one. 8 or 16 obviously allows you to, like, whittle it down. It's a duck. When did we get a duck? You can set it all over the farm and make it so you never mistake any sell anything. You can always see the items you're selling. Okay, so that's cool. It's so cold and rainy outside. I don't want to go to work. Shazzy, it is cold and rainy today, huh? Mini bin can be placed anywhere to sell without going home. Oh, that's cool, Zor. Now I've got to assume you keep it in your bag and then set it down if you need to sell stuff. That sounds insane. Okay. Chicken attack? Yes, do you know the song? Chicken attack. It's good. It's a good gift for Krobus. Yeah, the mayonnaise. Looks like a duck. It's a duck. It's a duck. 12 just means uh, first round buys for the best four. Um, I mean, we could do that, Zan. Otherwise, we could just do a couple like, I don't know. Is that what you suggest? You reckon the, the, the top four? But I mean, how would we do that based on the most popular? So Sebastian, Leia, Abigail, and Elliot all get buys through the first round. I don't know about that. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could. We could. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, good morning. Hey, Saza. How's it going? How you doing? Okay. Who would like a duck named after them? Folks, I am thinking of a automobile manufacturer. First person to get the automobile manufacturer. I will name this duck after you. Ever probably. Fitch. Probably the greatest of all things. Okay. Wait, the greatest car manufacturer? No, no. The greatest uh, reward on the internet is having a duck named after you in my Stardew playthrough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing it so far. Hmm. Last time I was thinking of Nissan, and like it took people about a million years to get Nissan. So, all right. It is, in fact, a Honda. So this, this, this chicken is silly. Silly chicken. Silly chicken. Do you agree, Tommy? It is a very silly chicken. It's a little silly chicken. Hey, oh, no, it's a duck, though. Ah, silly chicken, the duck. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you gift it Thank you, Psycho. I don't think Psycho is in yet, but yeah, Psycho, Psycho is nice and generous uh, yesterday. Uh, hopefully there should be in a little bit later. Uh, good, good guesses all around, peeps. It was a Honda Dark Omen. Just missing out there to silly uh, on my side. Void chicken is cute. Little void chicken. So, Uncle Chick. So, yeah. Silly chicken the duck, I mean. You know? Yeah. Look how happy silly chicken the duck is. Look at its smile, Timeless. Okay. Can we get another know, void chicken. I didn't chicken. actually think it was a duck. I thought, I thought it was like a mutant's chicken. Yeah, also, I mean, like, the fact that we had a void chicken, like, I honestly, my brain did kind of go away of, like, looking past, like, regular, <laughs> regular things like ducks and turning them directly into yeah. things like mutants. You thought, I, you I agree. thought it was a green-headed chicken, right? Yeah, I also thought, like, it's an abomination because we've been <laughs> using specific ones. Nuna, what the heck is this thing? we got a goat, Timeless. Hey, Who would like to be yeah, a goat? Who would like to be the goat? Everyone likes to be goated, right? I've heard this expression used on the internet. Who wants to be the goat? All right, if you would like to be the goat, 
I am thinking of a sport. First person to think of the sport. Sports ball. Some of you don't know about sports ball, but surely you know the type of sports ball. Things that happen in sports ball. Holy moly, a lot of people saying football and... Okay, well, that's because you, you were putting a lot of emphasis on ball. Oh, okay, it was tennises. Three tennises came out all at once, but Kershey was the first tennis that I see on my side. It was literally tennis, 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 all together at times. It's just three tennises. Kershey, Eric, and Kit. Boom, but uh, Kershey is top on my screen. So that's it. Kershey. Is Kershey good. Those chicken leg making machines. Chicken leg making machines, Terminus. Yeah, Terminus, please explain to me how a machine makes chicken legs. It looks like they fried chicken legs. Thomas, please tell me how a machine makes chicken legs, Tommy. Well, no, maybe the machine doesn't make chicken legs, but you put the chicken legs in there and they fries them. Thomas, this is called cheese. It is? It is. It's, it's, it's called cheese, Thomas, and it comes what from the... milk, Thomas. <laughs> what is the little... Oh, I see what was happening. It was the star, yeah. Yeah, it was Tommy, the star. you had so the much value to the stream. Me. <laughs> uh, that's all he can say. Uh, the cheese wedge has, just has a star on it. Oh, look, Thomas, who's this man? There's a man in my kitchen, Thomas. <laughs> Remember, Mr. Earlier, Thomas, like, there's a sailor sleeping on your floor. Who is that sailor? So, Thomas is literally that person. Oh. If you ever watch a TV show and you're like, this kid's show is so dumb, these kids are like trying to impersonate um, an adult. By having three of them in a trench coat, Timeless is the type of person that would actually fall for that. It's been it's been proven, Tommy. Okay, I actually have this cobblestone floor. It's neat that you can put a little cute little hat on your cat. It is neat that you can put a hat on your cat, Timeless. You should write about that. <laughs> I'll make a book for kids. We should. The cat in the hat. Otherwise known as Sailor Peep. He really needs to get those glasses fixed. He really does. Timeless is your I prescription up. I will be. So I will um, be making a booking for, I don't know about this week, but next week. Maybe. He'll never make it. Thomas can't remember, <laughs> it, it, make a booking, I don't know about this week, maybe next week. Mm. Okay. Now I'm actually trying to get the dating thing done, so I'm actually just going to sleep away. I mean, there's nothing really that I needed to get done today. I mean, the crops are watered, everything's cool, and I just obviously need to progress this relationship thing, so today can be the day that I get married. Hey Devin, how's it going? Hat on the cat, indeed. I go with trash can lid for farmer and propeller cap for the horse. I like it. I mean, I'm actually not wearing a hat because I have cool hair, right? Does everyone agree I have cool hair? Do you agree I have cool hair? You do not have cool hair. You don't it think this is like cool hair, dude? I look awesome. It's like unkempt hair. Unkempt. Is that not a word? Unkempt? Unkempt? I'm starting to think this no, wedding will never happen. Very little totally happen. Un unkempt, not unkempt. Is there a word unkempt? Yeah. yeah, it's unkempt. I was right. It does exist. What does it mean, Terminus? Untidy, disheveled. Unkempt, M P T. Unkempt, unkempt. there we go. Kitten unkempt is a word? I was a test. Yeah. I was glad all of you knew that. Yeah, Wonderful. <laughs> you did not know that. Also, I was surprised today that Dunks actually doesn't know what a chub means. Normally so? we joke about innocent dunks, but in this case, dunks was innocent. They didn't know what ch a chub is. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Thomas made a short about me catching a 12-inch chub, and I was still like, I don't understand why it's funny. Like, for reals, I don't get it. <laughs> like, honest and truly, no, no idea. Oh, the fact that you were like, <laughs> I caught a fish, it, and now I have a 12-inch chub. <laughs> Uh, Alright, if anyone would like no, to see I the short, it'll be on YouTube. Movies. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and you, you too can have that. Psycho, how's it going? How are you doing? Saza was just coming in and saying thank you for their gifts up. Sometimes people see them late. That's what happens over here. Wait, it's not an act? I don't know what it, it is. It wasn't an act. With the chub, it wasn't an act. <laughs> Dunks literally didn't know what I was talking Should about. Should we mute Timers? I, I don't know here. what's going on. Should we just mute him? I don't, I don't know. He's making fun of me. The Timers ruined Dunks' <laughs> innocence by explaining it? No, I still don't know what it is. He just said, yeah, it's a funny short. I said, all right, if you think it's funny. Because he said, what do you think of this? I said, I honestly don't know what it means. 
So he said, all right. So much you want to say about that, but Roman will get you? No, no, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know these things. Your stream is innocent. A time you're being tickled about chubs. Yeah. Time you're being tickled by chubs. Oh my god. See, is that funny? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it should be. Like, you know, I'm like, ah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. David, thank you for the three stream streak. The time is uh, so No, he didn't die. I'm sorry. Just be happy that you don't get told off, Tommy. My father in law told me when I broke my glasses, he's an optician. No, well, you Giku, please can your uh, father in law phone timeless? I actually um, have a friend who. Well, I. Uh, much info oh my god thomas is a friend who's in the eye game peeps we know this now <laughs> everyone find out where he lives now <laughs> everyone, everyone figure it out we've got him we've got him right where we want him <laughs> who the hell planted all these bloody trees wait where did all these trees come no, from no, no. this entire place done it's a terrible terrible thing Oren, thank you so much for the raid. Holy moly. Welcome on in. Look at all these glorious raiders. Wow, 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 wow. Everyone say hello to all the raiders. Greet them as nicely hello, as they greet us. Welcome on in, everyone. How's it going? Oren, thank you so much for thinking of us as a place to raid. Peeps, if you don't know Oren Spectre, really, really, really nice guy. Truly worth your time. Go drop a follow if you haven't. Um, I always enjoy my time over there. I do have to watch it at about 4 a.m., 5 a.m. my time, but it's, it's always good. It plays all manner of crazy things. All manner of awesome things. You are such silly, silly boys. I'm not, not, not really. So yeah, welcome on in, everyone. I hope you had a great time over there. And thank you so much for the follows. Uh, mightily kind of you. Okay, I'm going to have to give a blanket hello because there's so many of you wonderful peeps. Uh, for anyone who's just joined, I'm busy playing a game called Stardew Valley. I'm sure most of you have seen this game at some point. Um, I'm going to be honest. I've been asked to play this a lot. And I was always like, eh, now that I'm playing it, it's such a cool game. It's insane. I, I have all sorts of things going on. Uh, predominantly, I'm working on my love life. And today we're going to have sort of like a reality show bachelor-esque kind of competition because I cannot decide who to marry. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have like a battle royale of love. It's going to be, it's going to be fantastic. Hello, Dunks. Hey, Sonic the Hedgebush. How you doing? Uh, hey, Dunko, oh, man. Those time zones. How are you liking the 1.6 update? So it's the first time I've ever played Stardew. So I don't actually know what the update did or what it changed. But yeah, so, so for anyone who doesn't know, I, I've been trying to work on my relationships and my farm and stuff. And I dated all the women in the valley. And what I didn't know would happen is I thought, you know, I was just kind of like seeing where the relationships would go so I could choose the one. What I didn't know what happened is they all caught me and they all dumped me sort of simultaneously. So I lost six girlfriends in one day in what was probably the third saddest day of my life. Um, I then did what any logical person would do. I dated all the men in the valley. And uh, now I've got everyone up to the heart, so we're going to see. We're going to see who, who, who's going to be my forever partner. Who am I going to marry? What's going to happen? We're going we're gonna to basically have a battle royale. It's going to be exciting. So I don't know. You're in for a treat? Yeah, so it's good. At least the, the men don't seem to have kicked me to the curb, even though I'm dating all of them. So that's cool. The ladies have started talking to me again, though. So that's nice. I feel like, I feel like I'm back in. Maybe. I had to Google what Chubb is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. You truly like it? Most you do without reason. I'm still unsure. What do you mean, Rust Bomb? Um, are you saying that most people like this game without reason? So what I'll say about the game is it has a lot of charm to it. So let's be honest. A lot of games are just busy work and a lot of games are just watching numbers go up and up and up. But this game has so many different facets to it. Like you can build your farm if you want to. You can get new crops. It has like a collection thing. So but it's, it's, it's all gamified. And it's all done so well. And the number one thing that I enjoy about the game is it's continually changing. So as opposed to like a lot of like busy work games where you're like, I need to go get the chicken, I need to click here. This like a, on a random day an event just happens. You're like, oh, cool. You know, it's the whatever festival. It's this thing. And the game has done a really intelligent job at timing. So the way that the days work um, means that every single day is kind of like chill and laid back, but it's also really stressful. Because like, oh crap, it's this guy's birthday. I have to get something done by this day. But I also have to go do this and I have to go tend to this. And it actually is very calm but it's also like very fast paced i know that seems ridiculous for the type of game but it's, it's actually like that that's a really good mix of gamified aspects and I've, I've had a fun time on it i've already been playing this game now for like 80 hours i only started it last week uh astro oh, did australia's time moves nice dude so i'm an hour earlier it's really in-depth and rewarding probably one of the coziest games of all time i dig it dude so you've played it yeah it's a great game really fun uh, same thing happened to you in paleo yeah i haven't played that one either Maybe this opens up this branch of games for me. 
I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, and here we are, hours and hours later. All right, I'm actually busy running over to, to someone's house if I can sort of get past all these trees um, to get a cutscene. Go, 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 go. I just blew a 50 stream streak because I was at a wedding yesterday. Shattered. <gasps> Dude, priorities, right? You basically took the wedding of your own brother over this stream. Not sad. I'm disappointed. That's not actually the line. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm not sad. I'm extremely disappointed. Uh, good evening, Dunk Time in chat. Hope you had a great, lovely weekend. All's going good, Scoobs. I'm guilty of buying this game on three different platforms. Oh, damn, dude, you like it that much. So who did everyone romance when you played this game? I actually looked up a... So in order to get, like, um, a fair run, I'm doing this like a tennis tournament. I have seeded everyone. I looked up a survey on who most people have romanced. So, yeah, it was kind of an interesting thing um, to figure that all out. I went through the list earlier. True Canadian bacon. Look at that. Uh, Dunk sounding like a father. Not sad or mad, just disappointed. Yeah. When are we voting, though? We're going to vote the moment that all of this starts. Uh, I'm supposed to go to see Shane here today, though, to get a cutscene, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. And seriously, peeps, again, uh, from my side, do go drop a follow if you haven't. Do go say hi, as I say. Really, really, really cool dude. Thomas, are you still around? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, nice. Keisha, I don't know if this is going to work, hey? It's a Saturday. I can only go in at 9 a.m. Maybe, maybe it'll work. I've rushed here, but I'm far too early, and now I'm just chilling outside of Marnie's house. Between 9 and noon should work. All right. Also, just a warning for everyone that's watching this. I am doing everyone's accents. It's really bad. It's, it's not good. I've lost many, many followers playing this game with these bad accents. Who the hell are these people? <gasps> Troutfest. Fishing Sisters. Where are the famous Fishing Sisters? Well, you know what? Pay to get wrecked. No one beats me at fishing. Okay, what is, the, what is the rules here? See, this is how I forget what I'm doing. This game is just perfect at squirrelfication. Uh, distracting you when you think that um, you know what you're going to do for the day and then just things pop up. Explanation. Rainbow trout of a chance of carrying a golden tag. You find one, you can turn it in for a prize. Okay, what are the prizes? Seems like you don't have... You're not going to tell me the prizes? All right. Ye will fish and you will find mystery prizes. What are they? <clears throat> have to find out, I suppose. Pam is your favorite? Listen, Pam is my favorite as well. I was absolutely crushed that I couldn't marry Pam. Pam is um, amazing. Unfortunately, Pam's first love is vodka, not me. So, yeah. I will never know what it's like to be with a perfectly gin-pickled, wonderful lady like Pam. But Pam's daughter's in the running, so that's cool. It's really bad. Trust the streamer says, let him die. Yeah. You know. Uh, Eric, you have been auto-modded for saying, look, the girl's from The Shining. Um, I don't understand why, but that, that, that's okay, Eric. You've been auto-modded for that. I love your voice for Pam. You like Pam's voice. Pam sounds like this. Hi, Shane. You look unusually happy today. So Marnie, Marnie's from Australia, Thomas. I apologize to any Australians <laughs> if you don't like my Australian accent. But um, I, thought, I thought I'd go for a more passive Australian. Normally you get the, oh, my name's Marnie. I'm Marnie and I'm, so yeah, I've, 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 I feel like I've done it justice, maybe. Hi, Shane. You're looking usually happy today. Apology, Australia. Thank you. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Okay, so Shane, um, Shane's got a pretty uh, storied and checkered past here. We're kind of working through that. I think these are the last cutscenes I need to go. Uh, Caden says, it feels like forever since I got to hang out. It's nice to see you, Caden. How you doing? Well, come on in. Let me guess. You guys had a beer clearance sale on a canned beer. <laughs> Good one. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. That's true, peeps. If you substitute that alcohol for the deep carbonated wonder that is sparkling water, you too can feel these effects. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. So Shane was basically the town arsehole before all of this happened, and look at him now, all transformed. He looks sharp. You can tell by the way he uses his walk that he's been drinking sparkling water. Now he's one to talk. Hi, Jess, I've got something for you. Huh. What is it? It's like pink shoes or... 
These are real bunny jewel slippers. Bunny jewel slippers? Very sad that I didn't get that. Uh, but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? Ah, children understands economy, Timeless. It's a thing. Um, I've cut back wait, on an expensive it? habit. I have a lot more spending money now. This is cool. Uncle Shane's going to be that guy. I used to have an uncle who worked for a company once. Um, it was like a big internet service provider. I remember he always used to bring cool stuff over to our house. It was the best. He'd be like, look, I have a 33 kbps modem thing. And you're like, ooh. <laughs> ah, thank you, uncle. Uh, brought PlayStations the one time. That was pretty cool. So, yeah. What were you going to say, Tommy? Uh, no, I wasn't going to say anything, I don't think. You started saying something, then I interrupted you. Now it's gone, clearly. Uh, Sorry, yeah, no, Tommy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, the cutscene's still going on. Or is this a separate cutscene for her? Uncle Shane's in the bar and he said, um, he said to tell you he, he wants to show you something. The barn. Ooh. Wait, they've got blue chickens, Tamias, with like fancy tails. That should do it. What the heck? I know. Why do we have such lame chickens? Look at them. It's the perfect home for you hens. Hey, look at that chicken. We'll have the best eggs in the whole valley. All right. So Shane has gone from like someone I want to befriend to someone who's now stiff competition. I have the best eggs in the valley. This is known. I even have void mayonnaise that I make with the eggs. But it's okay. I won't let this ruin our friendship. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks. Not like those pale, sickly Georgia eggs. Him, look at him go. Aw, says Bite. Yeah, that was a cute little cheeky in here. Ugh. You know, Charlie, I was thinking. A guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair. Know what I mean? But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? <laughs> Tier 3. Super Supporter. Wow, um, Holy moly. Tier 3. Super Support. New badge. All sorts of cool things. Thank you, Holly, for the Tier 3 Super Support. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Honestly and truly, absolutely incredible. Uh, it's our last month to hit those, uh, those, those goals, peeps. Thank you so much. You absolutely, absolutely crushed it. Um, we literally got it on the old numbers. Forget the new numbers the last couple months, and I really appreciate you all for, for helping that happen. Thank you for that. Wow. Uh, yeah, all the hype, peeps. All the hype for Hualam. Timeless. Say thank you. Hualam. Hualam. Thank you, Hualam. Sorry, poor Holly came in. I, I don't know why Holly is actually resubbing. We decided the other day that Holly, you need to pronounce it the same as like uh, the movie Wally, except uh, Wally, you put the M at the end. Wallam! And the, the H makes a ho, ho, ho kind of sound. I do not like blue eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. <laughs> well, you'll get the blue eggs. I don't know where the ham is going to come from, though. We're going to have to get piggies. That's what we're going to have to do. Caden, crush that sub goal. Thank you, peeps. Wow. Thank you, Caden. I will do that. And thank you all for, for the contributions. We did not decide anything. I meant the council of two. Balam, that is Tommy and I. Obviously, we make executive decisions. And by we, I mean that I, um, I make all the decisions and Timeless must deal with it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> what about void eggs and ham? Mm. Mm. Oik. Obviously, that's what that. It's definitely not an OIC. It's oik. 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 Sorry, Hualam. Oh, we caught you hen loving. Hey, Dunkster, so what do you think? I think it's fantastic. My special. Oh, I'll turn the sound on. All right, peeps. What? Whoopsie, I thought it seemed a bit silent, huh? What did Tommy say about your 75? Shh, Miss Bell, he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. What are you going to say about it, Tommy? Uh, I know 
I know you got it. <laughs> it's a cheap piece of garbage, though. It's too slow. Uh, it's supposed to. So if you went the like critical strike route instead of the 10% damage, apparently there's some things where you can sort of like cheese the system. And, um, Look at you knowing things. Time to up guides and powerful. stuff. <laughs> what did you miss, Jeeves? Jeeves, where to begin, dude? Every minute of the stream has been action-packed and eventful, and I honestly can't even begin to describe to you the things you've missed. Hmm. My special blue hands, I've been raising them in secret for the past few months. I, well, I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jess. I've been teaching her how to care for them. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech in the world. I want to contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. Hey, he's a nice guy, this Shane now. All right, we have one more cutscene to go. Uh, Keisha, where's the cutscene that I need to to see? The blue hens just make me think of Zelda. Freaking Zelda chickens were insane. I remember running around Ocarina of Time looking for chickens. It was crazy. How you doing, Jeebs? Nice to see you, dude. Now that you've seen them, you have a chance of getting a blue chicken if you buy chicks from Arnie. There's a chance of it growing into one. Cool. Um, I think we kind of have our capacity of chickens, though, don't we, Tommy? Um, I'm not actually sure. I, I haven't seen the barn myself yet. So I, don't I don't know what the capacity is. Name your new... Oh, screw it. Okay, I bought a chicken. All right, who wants to be named... Who wants a chicken in the stream named after them? All you have to do is guess what... Mm, I'm thinking of a soft drink. The first person to name the soft drink... That I'm thinking of. You have to be very specific. Alright. I'm putting the specificity to make it more difficult. So some of you have actually got it, but you weren't specific enough. That was your problem. You weren't specific enough. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing it a lot, but you gotta be you gotta be specific. Okay. Oh any crap. Like, I still haven't seen it. I hope it's international. All right. So some of you have got more specific with the thing you were supposed to get more specific of, but you weren't the right specific. I'm sorry if I missed this. It's all gone so quickly. It's going to be the first one I see. All right. I mean, it is... It is a, okay, I mean, screw it. I'm just going to say it out now because it would say, it is a type of Fanta. It's a type of Fanta. But which 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 of the Fantas term this? Um, I all right. Scooby got it. It was, it was Grape Fanta. Is that a... I'm kind of getting the feeling. Peeps, in the United States of America, do you put the the flavor before the Fanta? That's so weird. So here we say Fanta grape or Fanta orange. But you peeps are all saying grape Fanta. Orange Fanta. I, I mean, it's a minor thing, but that's, that's quite something. We do. It's a regional thing. Huh. I mean, yours kind of makes more sense because, you know, it is grape-flavored Fanta. But yeah, as, as you go Fanta grape, it's Fanta grape. It comes before here. Yes, adjective before noun. No, but it's it's uh, here. It's I mean, it kind of doesn't really work just because it's the brand, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I hear what you're saying from an English perspective, Brother Wolf. I agree with you. But um, it's weird. Let's just use the audience. Don't you want to want a Fanta? Oh, I was close. I said Grape Crush. It's Lady Tess, I did see it. Wild Cherry Pepsi. The great part is sub-part of the brand. No, I hear you, but, um... So, Miss Bell actually did say Fanta Grape. Miss Bell, you... you is, Do you say it like that? Fanta Grape. And Miss Bell is in... Um... I think I want to say... Southern part? Yep. Yeah. You got a brown chicken? Oh, well, uh, Scooby, you are a brown chicken. There you go. At least it's not Fago. Um... Coke Diet. Coke Diet? Diet Coke. I mean, you do get Coke Light here. Mariko. So you literally get, you get Coke Light here. In fact, yeah, ours is, sorry, actually, ours is called Coke Zero and Coke Light. We don't have Diet Coke here. We've got Coke Zero and Coke Light. So we always seem to put our brands first and then, like, the subsection, if I can put it that way. My first guess was Purple Fanta. You had to say the flavor, Jeebs. Grape. The only Fanta we can get orange in the US? Really? 46 years, I've never bought a Fanta. Maybe I'm just not a Texas thing. Interesting, I don't think I've ever seen Fanta in grape flavor. Oh, Fanta Grape is the best Fanta. By far, time me to agree. Uh, when I was a kid, I would have agreed with you, but no, I don't like sodas these days. 
No, yeah, but I mean, it's a tub now. Don't, don't, don't. All the joy has been sucked out of my life. So, yes, it was my favorite, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> like I said, when I was a kid, it was my favorite. Listen, that being said, like, if I ever have to university choose, like, which flavor candy is going to be the best, grape is always the best for me. I like, I like the flavor purple. It's good stuff. Japan has many Fanta flavors. Yeah, here we've got about five, I think. Spanish is that way too. You say the noun before the adjective. Yeah. We have lots of flavors of Fanta here. It's just regional. Okay, so over in Oklahoma, where the Fantas have many flavors there. And Z then drinks them till she's sick, putting Fanta inside her mouth. I don't know the lyrics good enough to make that. Washington State has them. Cool. Purple drank. Yeah, a sip of grape drink. We have grape, orange, strawberry, fruit punch, and pineapple here. Nice. You have Sunkist and Crush before Fanta. Really? No, Fanta's huge here, hey? Fanta's, Fanta's our main thing. It's obviously Coca-Cola company, so yeah. Where is Z putting them? I assumed in the mouth, but one cannot be certain. I think there was a Pepsi free here, which is better marketing than free Pepsi. <laughs> See? That's the one. Is the grammatical rules of English opinion size, physical quantity, shape? Uh, yeah, but you know, okay, so Wild Entwined, I hear you, but um, it's just weirdly the way it is. California for you? Remember Fanta's a Coke product? They used to sell it, and it's depending on the regional bottler, what flavors they sell. That's true. You just discovered Z Zevia Coke. Is that like Stevia? So we've actually got... I don't know if you beeps have this thing. We have a thing here called Coke Free. Do you, do you know what Coke Free is, Timers? It's Coke without sugar, I think? I don't no, know. No, so, 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 okay, so we've got Coke Zero. Here's Coke Zero. So Coke Zero tastes like a Coke, except it's got zero sugar. Okay, so it's Coca-Cola Zero. Then we have Coke Light, which is basically um, Diet Coke in other regions. So ours is called Coca-Cola Light. Then we have a thing called Coca-Cola Free, which is like half the amount of sugar. Um, is it called Free? It's got like a green lid. Whatever it's called, that's it's like half the sugar, but um, it still has sugar. So they're kind of like, if you don't like like all the sweetener, you just kind of put it. Coke Zero is a gross aftertaste. I actually, I know a lot of people say like, what are you, dude? Are you living in 1972? Do you know what my favorite drink is from the Coca-Cola company, Timers? What? Tab. Really? I drink Tab. Yeah. So, oh, Cycro, no, so we've got another one here that's, so, so if you're looking at the one on the screen, yeah, those ones did come up. We've got one that's got no caffeine and no sugar, but that, those were not the ones I was looking for. I was looking for one that's got like a green uh, thing, but the ones that were on the screen were, were that, yeah. You haven't seen Tab in years? Yeah, you still get Tab here. I miss Fresca. It had some zing. Good old Fresca, huh? Does not taste like Coke, says Holly. Yeah, it's supposed to, though, right? That's the marketing. Was your aunt's favorite? Yeah, the green Cokes are half sugar and don't taste that great. That's exactly it, Holly. So it's a green Coke. It's half the sugar, and it, but it still does have sugar. Green stuff's Coca-Cola Life. Is that what it was called? Coca-Cola Life. Yes, that's the stuff. You haven't seen this one, Timmy. It's got half sugar, half sugar, and um, stevia in. No. So they I've do put the stevia. They got the stevia, but then they still have half the amount of sugar in there. So it's meant to be like sort of like a, you don't, you don't, you don't like the sweet and stuff, but you want less sugar, so you do that. Tab was discontinued here in 2020. COVID killed it. So, Z, um, Tab was meant to be discontinued here. And I don't know if we just have like a huge stockpile, but you can still buy it. So, uh, it was supposed to be discontinued, but you can't get it. I tried to do that where I am. The half sugar didn't sell well, so it was a short run. Coca-Cola is disgusting. The sugar ruins me, says Psycho. Psycho, um, and anyone who doesn't know, I cannot do sugar. Sugar gives me serious migraines. So, I'm off sugar completely. A lot of the stuff that you peeps uh, can drink easily or eat easily, I'm like, oh, what? Like, if I just have, like, one bite of cake, I'm like, oh, like poison. Sierra Mist was renamed Starry, not Sprite. I've never even heard of Sierra Mist. Coke Life is sweetened with stevia? Yeah, half sugar, half stevia, huh? Starry is surprisingly really good. I love regular Coke, but I drink Coke Zero because I don't want the diabetes. Yeah, what a bit, what's a bit of diabetes between friends, huh? Right, I'll send little Scooby to her home right now. Little Scooby, you're going to your new home. Scooby's going to your new home, Tommy. Nice one. Sierra Mist is a Pepsi product. I will tell you for free, Pepsi here, it, like you get Pepsi, but like they are struggling. Like uh, people just don't like Pepsi here. It's not even, it's like not yeah. even like an equal competition. 
It's like Coca Cola <laughs> is like n- like has like ninety five percent of the market, and Pepsi maybe has like five. Like people people just don't like that. So yeah, it's not a it's not a thing. Pepsi's actually, nasty. I actually forgot. I have to admit, I actually forgot Pepsi was a thing. I don't mean I don't want to like profile or make stereotypes, but everyone I always see in Australia is always like, I like Pepsi. I like Pepsi. <laughs> Any people in Australia? What a what a weigh in Coke over Pepsi. My favorite soda, which is hard to find on the West Coast, is Chia Wine. That sounds fancy as hell. That's why people always ask if Pepsi is okay. They're going through some stuff. Coke sells Barista Brothers coffee drinks and huge number of water brands. They call Sprite Lemonade. I think Sprite is Lemonade though, right? We call it that as well. Hmm. Okay, I keep knocking over these uh, cobblestone paths. All right, Keja, last cutscene. For Shane, where do we get this? Now, you know what I want to... I just want to point this out, peeps. I'm busy playing Stargy Valley. We're sitting here talking about Coke and Pepsi and stuff. Where is the chat whenever we're in just chatting, Thomas? I'll go to the just chatting <laughs> category. I'll bring up a topic and it's like... Brr, 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 brr. It's crickets. Nothing. The moment I'm playing a game, people want to talk about everything. I love it. I love... Never stop talking. <laughs> I'm just saying, all of you should look at yourself. You're like, nah, I don't chat in just chatting. That's... That's like, I'm too, too hipster for that. Who chats in just chatting? I like to chat during games. You brought this up? No, I know, but I'm saying I'll bring it up in just chatting. It won't matter. I have to keep leaving the house before 6.30 until it procs. Okay, so occasionally, literally, I just leave my house. Or do I come to, to Marnie's house? It'd be like that sometimes. I don't look at myself. It has to be organic. <laughs> it is organic. <laughs> it is organic. <laughs> just chatting is for lady orbs. Yeah, okay, partially. Um, I have, I, I must be honest, I have gone through the just chatting category before and been like, Oh... That's why we don't do well. I look at like the top like 40 and you go, oh, okay. <laughs> you ah, like Iron you. Brew. Now, I remember hearing a thing that Iron Brew is the number one soft drink in Scotland. Thomas, can you please quickly really? Google? Don't, don't influence it. Say number one soft drink Scotland. One of my Scottish friends told me that, but I don't know if it's true. Wow, Scotland was like the third question on the list. Ah, you're wrong. It's not Iron Brew, it's Urn Brew. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's spelled I-R-N Brew, yes? Yeah. And that is the most popular soft drink in Scotland, yes? It is. Yeah, because I used to have the Scottish mates and she she was here and she would be like, I need Iron Brew. And we're like, what the hell are you talking about? Iron Brew. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) And eventually we're like, oh, Iron Brew. That's, That's what you like. Um, Iron Brew is quite nice, actually, and I'm Irish. Nice. Um, okay, so yeah, all, all the peeps in the north. I, I don't even think we get Iron Brew here, Tommy. I think we used to, and then that got taken off the market. It's just ginger ale, right? I like ginger ale. I just don't get no, Iron Brew. no, no, no. Iron Brew actually tasted nice. When I was a kid, I remember I enjoyed Iron Brew, and I did not like ginger ale. Iron Brew is nasty, says Greg. Is it ginger ale, though? I like ginger ale. Like, strong stuff. You're like, ah, oh, it'll put air in your chest. Hey. Sorry, Scotland. We have such lovely Scottish people here, and I'm doing the stereotypical Griswold um, stuff. Nope, it's not ginger ale. Ravenstorm, all's going good. I'm just busy procking these. So sorry, okay, should I literally just leave my house every day at 6.30, and that's it. Boom, boom, boom. I like I brew. Okay, Scottish confirmed. Ginger ale is nice, but it's an acquired taste for sure. I like. I quite like ginger ale. Even like when they give you that ginger with the sushi, I munch that stuff. It's good. It's not the same as the UK Iron Bruce says Raven Storm for us. It has a citrusy flavor with hints of orange and lemon. Ooh, that sounds nice. All right, I don't quite know what to do with my time now, though. I need to proc one more cutscene uh, for Shane. What am I going to do, Tammy? I don't know. Um, when, sushi. When, do you, when does the cutscene pop up? Um, apparently I must leave. If Timeless isn't going to play anymore, you should be able to retrieve his inventory at Mayor Lewis's house. Mm. Yeah, at least Tim's. you know how to get the sword if you need it. Well, I don't think you do need it. You've got the galaxy hammer. No, we'd like the sword, Timeless. Wow, Acacia, so Acacia, we, I've got the galaxy hammer. Acacia's sitting there using, like, their grandfather's crappy holy sword. Have mm. you guys not found a prismatic stone yet? Again. Oh, Another crap, one. Tangled Raven! People be more like Tangled Raven, the freaking fishing competition. Oh my god. <laughs> Got so caught up in talking about the soft drinks. I just wanted to get the cutscene for Shane. 
Ah, oh, man. And the worst thing is fishing is literally my thing, peeps. I'm the best fisher person. I'll go wreck those fishing twins. Oh, man. Yeah, welcome on in. Folks, be like new chatter, Tangled Raven. Oh, my goodness. Wow, your walls are looking horrific. I know, Timeless. Everything's breaking down. Acacia's okay, been gone for half a stream. Half an hour. There's Acacia. <laughs> <laughs> Acacia's only been gone for half a stream, and the walls are crumbling. The animals are running wild. Restart the day? I can't, hey? I can't. I play, I play like honor rules, you know? In all games, always. Except when I don't. Where is where are they? Are they further south here? Yeah? Uh, then you're trying Darby. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm not like that at all. On my streams. Ask anyone. If I make a mistake, I'll be I'm loading. <laughs> man, oh man. Followed Oren, I've been cracking up. Well, welcome on in. And I appreciate you being here and helping out. Please be a trout. Are you a trout? Oh my gosh, look at you overachiever. Everyone's just fishing in the edge. <laughs> Yeah, well, everyone knows that the trout, look at that time, it's the trout is a rainbow. But it didn't have a golden tag, so it's complete garbage, and it's actually useless to me, and every part of it disappoints me. It's like a trout that didn't live up to its, um, destiny, you know? Hmm. Trout could be more than society intended, but instead, here it is, you know? Pike! What the freak? Pike in this river? Terrible. I feel like this is a pike as well. I feel like the trout are easier. Can we please just have an annual pike derby? I feel like I'm actually getting screwed over here. And sorry, peeps, it is pronounced derby where I'm from. I know a lot of places it's derby. Uh, please, please don't cancel me. Netters. Now, Netters, you have a choice to make. In fact, I'm going to give them all to you, Netters. You have redeemed air gun and wink, but the problem with the redeem is I have many, many guns in my arsenal. So would you like the classic pistol? Would you like a shotgun? Or would you like uh, the automatic um, rifle? I mean, technically, you just gave them all to them already. <laughs> Not technically, <laughs> I gave them all. You want a sharpshooter, Netters? There you go. Just for you, Netters. You enjoy. You enjoy that, Netters. Um, you know, hoard as many stars as possible. Nice. You should use dynamite for fishing. Now, CG Core, um, I don't have dynamite. I have cherry bombs. Is that the same? Can I do that? Now, folks, sorry. We are going to do a reality show. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I know now I'm getting fishing and stuff. Stay tuned. This is the day. I'm getting married today. This is, this is the day. We're going to find true love today. We're going to do a poll. The moment I get this last cutscene for Shane, we're going to do a poll, and each of you is going to vote for who you would like me to, to marry. It's, it's, it's going to be insane. I can already tell you what the first rounds are going to be. It's gonna, it's gonna be quite something. Freaking 19 inch chub. Thomas, there's literally no more salmon in this river. Sorry, I'm looking for trout, not salmon. Same kind of pinky meat, you know? Okay, this feels easy. Tickets. No, no, there, this is a trout. Yeah, okay. Oh, you're a freaking chub. What? Do you think they're fishing on the edge because that's where you're supposed to fish? Maybe. <laughs> also, what the hell am I standing next to, Timeless? This is not a human. What is this thing? I'm like standing next to like a gerbilman. <laughs> That's, don't you insult gerbilman. Oh, <gasps> a golden ticket. What are you? It's like a beaverman, Timeless. That's what that is. That's a beaverman. Just living among us, like living his best life, you know? I mean, he's not the strangest things we've seen in Stardew Valley. No, but I like, like, you know, like, Krobus is, like, living in, like, a sewer, you know? Like, under the guise of night, you know? What, what is this? Oh, wait, you can see exactly the kind of fish you're going to catch before you catch it. Oh, yeah. I can see the time. But, I mean, it's just as quick to catch the thing as it is to sort of snap my line, you know? Oh, fair enough. Game knows that you got to love chubs. It does. No, no, you're not. Get down, Mr. President. Do you need a medic? Are you okay, Dunk? Holly, what, what? What what was that for? The the, the finger gun. That was for the, the winks and finger guns, yeah. No, I was just doing Netta's redeem. I was trying to do it good for Netta. Maybe I'm trying too hard. Sorry, Netta's. Uh it's for Wonka's factory. That's where we're gonna go there. Hey Ira, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah, that is the dude. A raincoat man? No, but it's like a I think it's a beaver. That's Justin Beaver. That's the five ferrets in a coat you speak of. Yeah, five ferrets in a trench coat. Definitely. 
Hmm, tomorrow is Sunday? Good day for a wedding. <laughs> I'm getting married tomorrow, Miss Bell. I'm sorry, if you see how long it's taken me to choose a spouse. I'm sorry, we're gonna plan this wedding for like the next three weeks. That's what we're gonna do. All of you are gonna get like flower arrangements and all that type of stuff, you know? All right, come on. No. Paranoid Pixie would like me to not blink for 30 seconds. Now, folks, this is a particularly terrible redeem because the lights for the stream are super bright. So I feel like I'm being interrogated whenever this happens. Timeless. Yeah, what's up? Give me a ticket. No? Hmm. So how are you, Paranoid Pixie? Hope you're doing good. Nice to see ya. How are things? How's Apex? How's Helldivers? How are things? Uh, you can sell all these fish timers, but I'm not, I don't care about the fish. I care about the golden tickets timers. Going straight to Wonka's factory. That's what we're doing. Hmm. Typical reality show. Keep in suspense for 40 episodes. <laughs> You'll see. I promise you the moment we get this last cutscene for Shane, you will all see. All of you will see, timers. They will see. Indeed, they will see. Indeed, Wait, they will see. Seen? You all laughed at me. You said that I will never be able to get a spouse, but you will see. You'll all see. It's very exciting, though, for me. Ooh, golden tag. Timeless? Mm -hmm. What have we spoken about? Play hard to Don't get, Timeless. Ooh, golden tag, then the game knows. No more. If I play hard to get, I'm like, ah. <laughs> I suppose it's a golden tag. Like, that's fine. You know, then it'll, like, try to give me more, you know? I don't think that's how it works. That's okay. exactly how it works, Timeless. You've played Ark, you know that the games are sentient, and you know that they are dicks to you. I don't even care if I get a golden tag, I don't care. It means nothing to me, really. Hey, you're an easy fish to catch, you should be disappointed in yourself. I am a sudden fish. I just wanted to get closer to the sun. Thank you for allowing me to fulfill my destiny. Huh. And that's called symbiosis in nature, Timeless. Wait, the sunfish maybe? is reliant on the fishermen to get them closer to the sun. The ultimate goal. <laughs> no, I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so, Timeless? Of course it is. Another sunfish, 11 inches in length. You've said that for four days. Like, but Luna Sky, in my defense, I didn't know that there'd be so much stuff that would happen. I'm great, thank you. I don't know if you know, but I sold my business, so life's peachy. Sorry for the dry eyes. Um, that is awesome. I hope you made a mint. Congrats. Yeah. I hope you're sitting pretty. Can I come to your house and we can ride around in the Lamborghini? I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope it's sold. I hope it's sold tremendously well. That is cool. It's awesome. Congratulations. And yeah, exciting times. Are you are you going to focus on streaming now? You got something else you're going to do? Very cool. <gasps> yes! No! I mean... Eh. Eh. Golden tag. I don't think that, mer that word means what you think it does. Which one, Jeeves? Dunk tell in the dunk novella. That's no, going to be fine. No rock, paper, scissors? Although I don't actually know if I need... How do you know how many tickets you need, Thomas? They don't actually tell you. Um, should be something there that tells you. Wait, you can't you look at that? So what about that sign next to the fisherman guy? It says annual trout derby, Thomas. I can literally read it. No, no, I meant the little signs. If you click on them, it doesn't tell you anything. I like the little piece of paper that has, like, all the writing. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. No, you see. It says explanation, get golden tags. Then it says, get rewards. I've got a hat, a fedora. You've received a bucket hat. Get rewards. What about the... You got a... Uh, next, next to it, there's a I honestly think it's just with... random. Look at this. I think you literally just hand these things in and get whatever garbage the guy wants to give you. Hey, uh, let me ruffle around here in the bottom and see what we can get for ye. And then he's just showing, ye, you get a mystery box. Ye, you get a crab trap, you know? Hmm. Is there actually anything cool that you can win from this? Is Bucket Hat, like, have I already achieved the end game? Uh, I had a hair salon, so one doesn't get millions, but I've saved. Yep, full time now. You inspired me. Well, best of luck. I hope that it goes incredibly well and that it's only up from here. Exciting, 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 exciting times. Um, and I hope, I hope you don't miss it too much. Um, but yeah, I remember, I remember you having a chat where you were saying you wanted to, to change things up a bit. So yeah, best of luck to you. 
It's random. You got a tent from it. Hey, Prasopinum, how's it going? Time for sleep. Good night. Damien's, I'm sorry that you'll miss all my romances, but Good night, okay. Damien's. Any, any, any preference, Damien's, do you care who wins? We can do the Damien's Accord. In fact, peeps, let's do this. Every single day, we choose a random viewer to be the featured viewer of the day. Someone who is just awesome and amazing, and every single one of us say, hey, you know what, that person's here all the freaking time, and that is absolutely, absolutely special. And we should all be thankful for them being here. And today, it's Damien's. Peeps, can you please all write in chat, Oh my god, it's Damien's. Wow, Damien's. Holy moly, Damien's. Damien's, wow, 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 wow. Etc, etc, etc. Look at that. Look at that. Such a cool member of the community coming in here so often lately. Damien's, fe random feature viewer of the day. Peeps, I do apologize if you don't get these. Uh, it doesn't mean I hate you. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. Rasopinum, nice to see you again. Um, done with the rat race and uh, mean demanding aunties. Fair enough. I can imagine that. And yeah, good luck to you. As I say, it changed my life and uh, yeah, definitely for the better. Look at all that Damien love. Look at it. I hope Damien's didn't go to bed before this. That would suck. <laughs> I think we've only had like three featured viewers of the day like not get their, their messages. That, that, that's fine, you know? It's... EG Money Snapper, you have yourself a good one, buddy. Sleep, sleep the best. Come on, give me all. That's awesome. This is why I love this channel community. Thank you very much for being here, buddy. Really, really, really do appreciate you popping by all the time, saying hi. I'm sorry the time zones are what they are. Thomas, I think the only solution to the stream conundrum is to stream 24 hours a day all the time. <laughs> I've seen some streamers do that. Folks, I do have a thing to say that I will probably, at some point in the near future, I will let you know, stream at our other time slot that we've done before, uh, which is kind of like my afternoon slash evening. Um, I used to stream there every now and then. Um, just on like odd days, you know, we normally play like a different game or whatever, just kind of catch the people, because, you know, we, we, we have a lot of people, time zones change, and to be honest, like our time zone, or our time slot, if you think about it, it's pretty nuts. Like, we did it during COVID, but I mean, what? We started, like, 10 p.m. to midnight in the United States. I mean, that's freaking late. I know a lot of you are, like, night owls. You're like, pfft, late. But, I mean, in theory, that's really late. We started, like, 5 a.m. for people in the U.K., which is insane. And then we started, like, mid-afternoon for Australia. It's, it's kind of insane if you think about it. I'm surprised that anyone can watch it all. So, I do have the other time slot, which we do just every now and then. And I do quite like doing it, not to so that some of you miss it. But it's just so like some people go, oh my god, dude, I haven't been able to catch a stream for ages, you know, my job, I had to go to bed early and whatnot. So it's always quite nice to, to, to do it every now and then. But I do, the streak system, though, is the problem, because I will feel bad. So I will announce it and all that before I do it, but it's only because of the streak system that it's an issue. Yeah, 11 p.m. Yeah, so I start between 10 and 12 in America. It's technically, if you think about it, it's, it's a wonder anyone watches at all. I wish I found your community in COVID times. Shares here was good times. COVID, COVID, uh, I mean, it was horrible everywhere else, but man, I loved streaming during COVID. It was good. Uh, it's 1.30 a.m. here. Yeah, there you go. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So we stream really, really late all over the show. I know a lot of people are night owls, which is great, and that's obviously why it is. But yeah, technically, for a lot of people, our times are crazy. It's early, early morning, uh, late, 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 late night, and sort of like, yeah, Australians are busy working, and uh, Asians and all that. Uh, Dan and Dan's, thank you for the 125 stream streak. Gonna mess up my streak. As I said, I will, I will announce it with plenty of time. I'll try to do it as much as possible. Um, the streaks are my only concern. I know you peeps are gonna come in and yell at me and say, What have you done? What have you done? And I'll say, <laughs> uh. As for my preference, I vote for Abigail Maru, who I was going when I played. Need to get back to it, but they, uh, <clears throat> so many games, so little time. I love that, uh, that sentiment. And what time is it for you? It is 7.30 a.m., Giku. I start streaming at 6 a.m. And it's just because I used to start streaming at 8. And then, as I say, I realized that so many of you were like, it's so late. Like when COVID disappeared, I was like, oh. So time in, I made the decision to start at 6. But again, you still can't beat it. I mean, it's still 10 o'clock to midnight. I still feel terrible for a lot of the peeps in the United States because it's still so late. But, you know, starting at like 4 a.m. or something is a bit, uh, bit crazy, you know? I'm an early bird, but you get early and then you get like, what the heck? And then obviously then the UK people are like, dude, I'm not even awake yet. 
Now you're starting at my time and I'll only be there in like 20 hours. So the only solution is to stream 24 hours a day always. Should we do it, Tommy? <laughs> I mean, there's, I mean there's two of us, you know? Oh, like leapfrog it. We've done that before. Oh man, that was exhausting. I stream 12, you stream 12, Tommy. It's easy. <laughs> it's simple, dude. I remember we simple. did something like that. I can't remember what game it was. And I remember Cyberpunk. just being crushed. Cyberpunk. Was it, was it I can't Cyberpunk. believe I got beaten by a guy who didn't even know what competition he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the game. I was just there. Stupid Cyberthon. I can't believe I lost. I was so close as well, Tommy. I actually fell asleep during that uh, Cyberthon multiple times. <laughs> Freaking I, I lost was, a guy was, who couldn't was, even stay awake. I was actually quite smooth during it. Nobody I remember people like, worried about you. I was getting, I was getting messages. <laughs> Fair thought you were dead, dude. Fair thought you were dead. Wait, what? You don't remember that story this guy's played? No, I literally got DMs being like, I, I don't know if you're awake. Timeless, I don't know. This is, this is, Timeless might be dead. Timeless could be dead. We don't know. We don't know. He's gone missing. It's like Timeless falls asleep during the day. You know? Okay. Is there anyone that didn't see our clip? One of our clips on this channel got voted fourth best clip on Twitch for the month. That's a oh thing that gosh. Twitch does now. Twitch's official channel watched it, and it got voted number four. Got voted number four overall. Has everyone seen? I think everyone's seen it now. Send me, send me the link, Tommy. Uh, I don't know where to find the link. To be honest, did you not put it on YouTube? Send me the YouTube link. Oh yeah, I can send you the link. I didn't think I was dead. I thought he was gone for twenty minutes. Ferret was panicking, Thomas. I've never seen so much panic in anyone. Like you know, like you can't tell like the tone from words, but like literally, like just as I saw them, I could just tell that those words were covered in panic. That's what they were. That's what they were. So yeah, so they did a thing on Twitch's channel uh, where they watch all the things. Um, it doesn't really do anything. I mean, we got a shout out to like 12,000 people. I think we made like four follows. No, we made six follows. We made six follows. So, you know, um, I don't think it really means anything. But I mean, I like it. I like to know that this was the fourth best clip of the month, Tommy, on the entire platform. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think it was that good. Look um, at him. Look at him. Thing? Could you just pick up any NPC you want? Was that you, Timeless? He's asleep. <laughs> I can mute him. Timey! Yeah? Go to bed. <laughs> what? Go to bed. What did I do? You just snored on stream, dude. I really need to sell oh, those shit. snores Come to like. I like you, Mr. Best, best Parts. I love his where are you serious? <laughs> so <Is> worried. <laughs> where are you serious? <laughs> I honestly thought it was a weird sound in the game, dude. It was nuts. Timey, and he said this is the fourth time he's fallen asleep on stream. I can mute him. That's why he's got narcolepsy. I think he does. Mm. Nah, it's not that. Uh, Saza, tired. you missed your points. They vanished in thin air. Uh, Saza, the mods won't be able to do anything. Just refresh. It'll be fine. Are yeah. oh, you talking about your channel points? Just refresh. <laughs> what? Yeah, listen, Timey. Go to bed. What did I do? You just snored on stream, dude. Wait, are you serious? Wait, are you, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Wait, I... I don't know, are you serious? <laughs> I like it. Makes me giggle so much. I love it. Time me on stream. <laughs> Plus, does everyone agree? Those those should be stock sounds for snores. That is like if you were to like rent a snore, like that's what it would sound like. You you should sell those snores, Timeless. <laughs> like to like film snores. studios, you know? Like for like cartoons and stuff. They definitely those are like the most <laughs> stereotypical stores I've ever heard of my entire life. <laughs> Chimera, welcome on in. How you doing? It's enduring so much anxiety in the... Wait, are you serious? Yeah, goodbye. Get out of here. Um, oh, Saza, you're talking about a redo. Oh, yeah, sorry, Saza. Sorry, I do see your thing. That There you go. There you go, Saza. You're being refunded. Uh, so, redeems don't go away. They, they basically park on a list. I'm sorry. Sometimes I do miss them, but then we always refund you. You're being refunded. Uh, refresh run to anything. Oh, oh, no. Okay, I, mis I misunderstood. I got you. The rock, paper, scissors. There you go. There you go. I can understand, peeps. Obviously, uh, who gives a crap about United States dollars when they are star dollars? For anyone who doesn't know, by watching this channel, you get a bunch of channel points. You don't know what channel points are. They're basically just like a currency that you get from watching a channel. And our 
currency is worth more than any other currency in the world. It's worth more than any crypto. It's worth more than dollars. The only problem is we can't uh, figure out how to transact with it. You can't really spend how to use it to spend on things like groceries and whatnot. So all you can do is make me smile and whatnot. And for anyone who doesn't know, look at this. If you don't know, if you get to 1 million and 50 thousand channel points, we will immortalize you in our channel art and you get to be one of the characters. And it's honestly my dream that one day this looks like a Where's Waldo. I want to just look at this when I'm an old man and be like, Ah, oh, yes, I remember 8-Bit Cake. They used to lurk and be very sweet whenever they came into chat. And I just wanted to zoom out more and more and more. Uh, there are about another six people that are going on here in the near future. Next up is Brindamir. If you are someone who has redeemed it, and I haven't quite got to you yet about the requirements, I'll do that. I'm just doing it in order so you know what spots and stuff are available. So there are a few people that need to go on there. I'm going to do it in order. Um... And then you can be as you can see, like, I want that spot, I want that spot. So we, we'll do it in the order that people redeemed it. Uh, so yes, if I haven't asked you, I will ask you what your, your art thing is. Um, so yeah, all, all coming up. Set as a ringtone for each person of their own snoring. There you go. So close to 700k. Holy moly, Ferret. Flying there. Can you spend them in Dunk Mart? No. You must spend cash in Dunk Mart. I need to pay bills. That's, that's what you do. How do you pick what the characters look like? No, Ira, you tell me. Every single character has been designed by the person. They give me a brief. So you can say what you want to look like. What would you be, Ira? You're only 870k away? That's still really good. It's still really good. Um, oh, yeah. I'm nowhere even closer. I know it's people gambling. Uh, Jeebs, you should be... I mean, Jeebs is a... So the tier 3 subscription literally allows you to earn points at double the speed of everyone else. So Jeebs, I would think... I mean, unless you've done some reckless gambling, Jeebs, you should, you should be somewhere... Chopper? So close. So, 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 so close. I am patient. Still waiting. Buckling, you're a patient buckling. Ooh. We don't need copper, hey, Tommy. Uh, wait, you don't sell copper. You can transmute it, I think. No, no, I'm going to throw it in the rubbish bin. That's what I'm saying. No, don't throw it in the rubbish bin. <laughs> Well then, what should I what should I throw in the rubbish bin? Um, Green LB. Okay, there you go. I'm pretty full up. You feel like your the points decayed over time? Nah, I misspell. They should stay. I mean, I don't I don't think they do. So I don't actually control the point system. Twitch has the point system. They decide what each tier does and whatnot. I actually have no no say over it. I don't think there's a decay mechanism. Must have been a bad gamble sometime. Thought that Thomas would beat me somewhere. Reference images are also welcome. Yes. Thank you, Keja. If anyone doesn't know, Keja actually does the art. Uh, Keja that you see, and they, they fix up my farm, and they, they, they do the art. So yeah, why is the art delayed? It's dunk needed crops. <laughs> 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 uh, we blame Timeless. If Timeless had done the crops, this would never have happened, you know? So yeah, that's that that that's why. That's why. <laughs> you can't free up a spot by putting bait on your fishing rod. Uh no, I actually already have the good bait. So I can't put that bait in. But the, oh, I can't put that bait. Sorry. You are correct. I thought I was being smart and being like, well, actually, but yes. Uh, if you remember too, I never win gambles. Yeah, Jeebs, that, that can't be a problem. You must just be patient. Uh, nicely done on the pixel. Yeah, it's really cool. I have one tag to turn in and it's almost midnight. Um, I still do have a whole other day. Um, ooh, a diamond. Okay, the only problem is that, yeah, I think I must do this tomorrow because otherwise I can't actually put things in my inventory. I just somehow dug up like a random path, Timeless. Uh, what do you mean you dug up a random path? I don't know, today there, I've got a cobblestone path literally in my backpack. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you about. It's weird. No, no, I already was. fixed that one and I got another one. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, it's the second, it's the second time that's happened in a day. <laughs> More fun to waste my channel points on time loss! That's fair. You can place the crab pot somewhere for space? That is true. That's true, Tomando Girl. It's fine, I'll just throw away the algae. Okay, this is a pike for sure, I reckon. It's got some struggle. This is like a night fish. Hey, a 61 inch pike. Do I know my fish or do I know my fish, Tommy? <laughs> 
It's actually kind of sad, right? I mean, it, I can it identify the types of virtual fish in that video game. Do you have any life skills? Hell no. Hell no. Folks, I've said this a few times. I will suck in a zombie apocalypse. Absolutely suck. I have no skills. Um, I literally have nothing going for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be one of those people. I'm gonna die in season one. You know. That's that's what it'll be. And you're like, even by the time you find me in season one, they'll be like, how did this guy even get halfway through season one? And then I'll die. I have no skills. I can't shoot a gun. I can't wield any weapons. Um, I don't. I mean, I was a Boy Scout. But I didn't really take it seriously. I know how to do a reef knot, Timeless. You do? And, oh, neat. Yeah. Yeah, right? That's literally the only skill I have, Timeless. <laughs> <laughs> like, I might have made a terrible mistake with these trees. I probably should have planted them somewhere else. Well, someone has to die in season one. Might as well be you, Timeless. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> 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 well, someone's gonna die. Okay. I don't really have time tomorrow because I just... Keisha, am I right? I just have to leave my house every morning early. Is that is that what I have to do? You think I could be the guy who keeps track of food and how much we have? I don't think so. I used to be an accountant. Also, I've kind of forgotten my accounting skills. So you think I must be that guy? That guy will never live, though. Timeless, you've eaten three apples this week. Chat will save you. There won't be a chat because the internet will be down. I learned the hard way not to gamble here. I can never predict the outcomes of the shenanigans. It's fine. I have some massive knitting needles and I can cook. That's all you need. I actually only have one thing going for me, right? No one is useless. Body okay. shield is a good thing after all. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I have a very good plan for surviving the zombie apocalypse. Whenever you see the zombie apocalypse, you always see people like they always have this like crappy like makeshift armor junk, you know? And it's always useless because they're wearing like paintball armor and then like the joints and stuff are exposed. I used to ride around on a motorcycle. So motorcycle gear, motorcycle pants, motorcycle top timey. That stuff is literally designed for if you come off your motorcycle and you roll along on the um on the dirt, that the gravel and stuff doesn't go in your skin. So it doesn't it doesn't rip. And I'm telling you for free, I don't care. No human teeth can get through that stuff. They would have to gnaw on you for ages and ages and ages to get through motorcycle armor. So I don't know why people don't wear like just like motorcycle gear in the zombie apocalypse. Um so I, I have a pair of pants and a top thumbs. So that's the only thing I've got going for me that they won't be able to gnaw through. And gloves. <laughs> so I'll be like, and you'll be like, so yeah, that's 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 all I've got going for me. Nick is exposed. Nice. Yeah, no, Nick, Nick, Nick in here. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do some some work with Jeebs for sure, for sure. But you, but it still is an advantage, you know. It's normally the arms that get bitten. So that's so that's it. Food will be the new currency. You'll be fine. So what do you think? I'll be like so in zombie apocalypse things. I always have people like Negan and all these like overlords that are like super strict and powerful but i'll be like oh no no what happens in this colony you know it's run by the accountant and that's that's what we do we balance the the egg rolls and our apple supply it's gonna be fantastic still cap boots yeah you ever notice how 98 percent of survival games only have men characters so i guess women will automatically die I, I i don't understand why they do that a lot of the time hey i've played a few games where you can only play as men pretty some silly miss stuff uh, how close to marriage is it manatheria not very close. I have one more cutscene to get with Shane. Um, I didn't realize I'd been mean to Shane and not done his cutscenes. Go to sleep for the night. Yeah, might as well. Okay, is this going to work? Get out of here before 6.30. <gasps> hey, young star. Hey, Shane. Uh, so I got two tickets to the Tunnelers game tonight. What sport do we think the Tunnelers are in, Tommy? If you want to come, okay. meet me at the bus stop around 5 p.m. I guess... Oh, this is really bad sport? because today's a fishing day. No, Shane. He knows it's the annual trout derby, Thomas. I feel like he doesn't... I feel like he doesn't care about my needs, you know? <laughs> all, he, all, he, all he thinks about is his needs. Wait, what are his needs? Uh, to go watch sports ball and drink beer. Ah. Or, and or sparkling water. Love you. Anyone else think this sounds like that song? Love you all the time. I'm just a fool. A fool in love with Stardew Valley. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry. Guess what, Timeless? What? Believe it or not, we actually need more fridges. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Oh, I mean, or we could just cook more dishes. Okay, 5 p.m. You don't know what song uh, that is? You don't know that song? That's fair. It's old. Mm, row I don't need. Okay, Dish of the Sea seems pretty powerful. Wait, diamonds only sell for 750? What the heck? Um, okay, I probably don't need to carry this beer around. I slipped away to get breakfast and a fresh coffee. Did we get the cutscene? Uh, we're gonna go get it at 5 p.m. today. Um, you're not wrong, yeah. Uh, my favorite band is the Beatles. I know old music. Yeah, that one's a big hit. Uh, but old music still, I mean, I say it's less likely, you know, than new music. Um, but maybe like newer music. I'm surprised you don't know it then, dude. My darling dear. It does sound like that, Buckling. Could be that. I'm just a fool. Does everyone else know the song that I sing? Did you know the song, Tammy? I sounds familiar. I'm trying to place it. Um, sounds right. So, so, could be that one, Buckling. Does have Darling in it. Three Jack, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Wow, 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 wow. I know the song. It says, Wow, um, I know the song, but I'm old. It says, Cosmatos, how you doing? Does not mean uh, we wouldn't survive, but would not be out and about as much at first? It's from Greece. Was it in Greece? It's a pretty famous song. Yeah, like I said, it's a really famous old song. It's from back. I feel like it's been in lots of things, peeps. I, I know it because it plays in a lot of things. Um, so yeah, it was in Back to the Future as well. Yeah, as I say, most people should know it. I'm not saying I did a great rendition of it, so I don't blame anyone for not understanding what it was. Uh, Jeeves, I don't know the name. Maybe it's the one Buckling said. Just right. I'm just a fool, a fool in love with you. Like that. Which is pretty much Timeless's backstory, huh? Are you in love with me, That's Thomas? not my backstory. No. <laughs> Everyone else in the valley is. Why not you? Oh, Earth Angel. <laughs> Earth Angel. Yes, that's what it's called. Will you be mine, my darling dear? Starred you all the time. I'm just a fool. A fool in love. There we go. Thank you. That's, that's what it is. Earth Angel. So basically, Timeless, of all the elements she could have wielded, she doesn't wield fire, air, or water. She wields earth. That's what it's about. That's obviously what the song is about. It's about an OP carry. You don't think that's what it's about? You don't understand no. music, Timeless. <laughs> earth Angel, I choose you. Earthquake. No? Okay, nah. Whoopsie. Dude sang it in Greece, but it came out a while before that. The cover. I love all these. I grew up listening to my mother playing them in the car. Yes, I grew up at my grandparents' house as well. As why as well. So I um obviously know like my mum's music and my grandparents' music. And then my father's like a very, very into like old I'm gonna say metal rock. He likes his black sabbaths and his Led Zeppelins and his deep purples and his Metallicas. I mean, the metallic is obviously a lot of, you know, from being newer, but yeah, all, all that stuff. Let Kasia in their bucket hat. Oh, Akasia, come to me. Come to me, Akasia. Come to me. Akasia, to me. Unless you've already eaten Dish of the Sea. Um, I've forgotten. There we go. Eh. Okay. Kind of curious if this should boost us beyond... Like max level, whatever they can have too. Yeah, I remember asking that, but I can't. Oh, no, I actually know a way to check now. Okay, so that should give you fishing plus three. Yeah, it does, Thomas. Look at that. Fish level 13. Heck yeah. Oh, damn. Fishing machines. Cat's guys on a 15 stream streak. Thank you, Cat's guys. Mighty appreciated. Any weddings yet? Soon. Soon. I have I have to go to a rock concert today at 5 p.m. and then I can get married. That's what we're going to do. Now let's see a dream lover by my namesake. My mother was a screamer for him. A dream lover? I might know it, Darren, but I don't know it by the title, hey? Hmm. Mom, I'm some Led Zeppelin LPs. 
I used to listen to. Yep, there you go. My father's got all sorts of LPs. Unfortunately, um, okay, and Jeebs, you did know it. Yeah, as I say, I probably just sung it like crap. Um, when I go back to the place, you can decide if you think it sounds similar. Uh, so yeah, sorry, my father's got a huge LP collection. The unfortunate thing is here in South Africa, I don't really know how it works, but all the LPs, they're not, they're like original LPs. You bought them in like, you know, the 70s and the 80s or whatever, but you, they're not actually original. They, I want to say they're like reprints or something. I don't know how LPs work. But yeah, we basically got like... LPs, like let's plays. No, no, so like record players, dude. But the problem is here, all the LPs that you got weren't original LPs. They were like redistributed here under like a separate label or whatever the, it was, you know? So long yeah, story short, yeah. they're not really collector's items. Everyone can be like, oh, yes. Was this, you know, a Led Zeppelin album from 1980? Is it mint condition? Yes. Is it a... The right type of one that you want to collect? No, because it comes from South Africa. That's basically it. I don't really no, understand. We had that. We had we had that with comics as well. I think. Yeah, comics. Yeah, like the mint. Yeah, uh, no one wants you X Men number the... one. that has got ads for South African Coca Cola. That's just stupid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know the you know the worst thing was when we used to get like the ads for stuff that we can't get because the comic is in the wrong country. Ooh, a Dorado. Yep, it's a problem. Vinyl records, that's it. Big Boss, what's going good, dude? How you doing, my friend? By the way, did those did those x-ray glasses from those magazines ever work? Yes, did anyone <laughs> ever get that? No, you know what? I want to know what ever worked. Did you ever see that cool contraption? Did any of you get built on this thing? I don't know if you remember in cartoon, uh, in comics, Thomas, there used to be an ad for this thing, and it was like this elastic band, and it always used to have the strongest guy. You basically, like, it would have two rings that you'd stick your feet in, and then you'd grab the two handles, and you'd, like, pull it like this. And then, but like, it was like, you could do so many exercises because then you can also put like the one in your foot and then you can use your arm to put it like this. And it was like over like 457 different exercises can be done with the, I think it was called the Atlas something. <laughs> Does anyone have any idea what I'm talking thing. about? No. <laughs> Does anyone know what that thing's, I want to say it was called the, I want to, hold on, I can find this thing. I used to get this thing in comic books. Resistance bands? No, but it was like a, it had all four of them at the same time. Atlas, exercise. And I, I, I don't know, like a, I'm just going to say at this exercise machine. I mean, look how built that guy is down this. <laughs> what the heck? At this exercise machine. No, there's a brand now. At this exercise. So it technically was resistance bands, but it was very old school and it had like, Four of them in one. So it was like your feet. So both your feet and both your arms could go into the same time. So think of it as kind of like an X. And then you're like, your feet go into the one and your hands go into the other. And then you can literally do this thing where you're like lying down and doing this. And oh, wait, the one with the springs was something else. Holly, I know that thing that you're talking about that you could pull like that. That, that. That's a whole different thing. That one I never saw in comic books, but I know the one you're talking about. My grandfather had one of those. You could do so many cool exercises. Did you hear about the solar clips tomorrow? I did, but we don't have it, huh? It's really sad. Um, we don't have it. And, um, BCM, my astronomer friend, was saying that most of the areas are gonna be, um, cloud-covered anyway, which really sucks. I guess you'll just see it get oh, dark that and that'll be it. Yeah. Uh, this is about the comics and records. Just has me think about Russia trade of submarines and other ships to Pepsi, or Pepsi products, which had Pepsi end up with the sixth largest navy in the world at one point. Wait, what? That's nuts. Wait, what? <laughs> Your stationary bike rides tomorrow? Good, good stuff. All right, get all the exercise in. I prefer stationary bikes, Thomas. I never figured out how the gears on the bicycle work properly. Did you? What and gears? I'd always oh. know, like you'd have the gears on the bicycle, and then you'd be like, "Oh my god, I've done this poorly." No, I was actually, I was actually really good on the bike when I was younger. I could like turn corners with my hands. No, but was that like a BMX or did it have gears, Tommy? I did have gears, yeah. Oh, damn, dude. Fancy. Yeah. Fancy, fancy. We had a really good view of the eclipse last October. Yeah, we don't get it, hey? We're not getting it. All you peeps up north are getting it. So that sucks. Timey fancy is so fancy. But yeah, all of you must enjoy the eclipse. That's really cool. So, so it's tomorrow during the day, huh? We're literally not going to see anything. I literally think we're going to see absolutely nothing. It's apparently a thing they wanted Coca-Cola, but settled for Pepsi. Oh crap. Sorry, this fish. This fish doesn't want me reading 
story. I think it was a Dorado. The Dorado did not want me reading that story. I misunderstood the power of the fish. You're really good at riding my bike until I took an arrow to the knee, yeah. Also, Thomas, every single kid thought <laughs> no, that, dude. Really was. Me and my no, mate used to ride could, around on no, our roller skates, and I'm telling you, no one was better at roller skating than us. No, no, no. I could, I could literally do tricks. I like, I could ride. And you have the sample wheel. size. Could, you have the I sample could, size of like you I and could, your mate. I could, conf I could conf confidently ride my bike without even touching the. You know, I mean, take corners and everything without touching the. Uh, what's it? The handlebars. I was pretty good. Check, I, I broke Willie. So, I wasn't too bad on the bike. I'm in Willie's spot. <laughs> That's Willie's spot. I'll just move then, Willie. That <laughs> Willie is fighting you on this. You'll see a partial eclipse for 2 hours and 28 minutes. 78.6% of the sun will be obscured by the moon. That's cool. Hey, Dev, how's it going, dude? Reach streamer first. When is the eclipse? I live in Tennessee. Ah, uh, there's all sorts of stuff on a Drakian. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you specifically to state and stuff. I think, I think there's loads and loads and loads of stuff. On the internet just a reminder peeps do not use your naked eyes to look at the eclipse go buy yourself some proper glasses uh, otherwise you will damage your eyes that's all i know for free i have seen eclipses in my time never never one that actually obscured the sun just one where you could kind of see like the the dark of the moon going over it but yeah just don't don't look with your bare eyes you like lunar eclipses better you can actually look at those I mean, a total eclipse is cool. I mean, if it actually goes dark, that's like its own thing, you know? You're not my supervisor. Look at the eclipse hour, please. All right, Jeebs, well, then you will... Well, actually, I can already see why Jeebs will do that, Thomas. Look at the icon next to Jeebs is his name. Jeebs already can't see. <laughs> Jeebs, that's fine. You'll continue to listen to the stream. That's fine with me. That's okay. You weren't watching anyway. Mm. Thanks, Miss Bell. Uh, Tennessee will be able to see it. That's cool. I could ride a BMX bike good when I was a kid, went to 10 speed and had to put it back to default because I couldn't figure the gears out. But I could ride that 10 speed bike with no hands, that's awesome. NASA has a website to put a zip code in, thank you Grex. My mother has um, us tie red bands and uh, rags to plants and the cats, and I have no idea why. I have no idea, Soul Bishop. Red bands and rags. This is just a podcast for me. Yeah, exactly. I will share on Discord. The shadows will look different in the eclipse. Ooh. I've also got clear skies predicted for tomorrow. Well, then I'm coming to visit, Holly. That's what's happening. I want to see the eclipse. I don't think I'll be able to get there in time, though. Oh, well. That's been a really cool thing. Obviously, you know, you always see those Mayan things with the eclipse and whatnot. Be fun. Let's catch my fish. Okay, peeps, I've got till 5 p.m. There's something to do with the eclipse, but I don't know. All right. Maybe the shadows are the reason? You can watch it live on internet streams from several space agencies around the world. Yeah, but that's... You know, the whole point of the eclipse to me is it has to be... Like, oh my god, we're in darkness. Like, that's cool, you know? <laughs> that's awesome. What? There was brightness and now there's only darkness in my life, you know? That's That's the point. It's gonna be raining here, so the zombie apocalypse will start elsewhere. Okay, there's definitely conspiracy theories going around though, right? I haven't heard any myself, but is anyone is is the world ending tomorrow time? Is that a thing? There's gotta no, be. Has I anyone has anyone read so. any of those? Jenny Moon, good morning, morning, morning. So turn the lights off, it'll be nighttime for you, then you can watch it. <laughs> it's not quite the same. Okay, can someone come partially turn my lights off? I'm gonna need someone to get like a paper plate and like hold it over my lights. <gasps> Let's in actual fact, you've all just come up with a funny... Let's do it, Thomas. Thomas, create a TikTok for us, dude. Because we don't get the solar... like, we, So we need really bad AI voice. Because there is no mm -hmm. solar eclipse in Southern Hemisphere. Oh. Okay. Done. <laughs> Internet video. Tens of views, Thomas, will be ours. <laughs> you best get married? I am going to get married today, peeps. I've got a rock concert to go to at 5 p.m. and then we're all going to vote. For anyone who doesn't know, it's going to be a reality contest. You're all going to vote for who I'm going to marry. It's going to be the greatest moment ever. It's going to be fantastic. You're all invited to the wedding. As long as I have enough money by then. Is 24,000 gold enough to cater for all the people, Thomas? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be plenty. <laughs> I hope so. I really do hope so. Can we have solar clips? We can have solar clips at home. Yeah, that's exactly it, PK. 
There are always people who say just about any natural thing is the end of the world. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone's actually got this. Any doomsday preppers? Whatever happened to doomsday sayers? They're around. Not like I mean, I mean like the original guys who used to like stand in the street with like a sign over their head going, oh, "The end is coming." Um, they're still there. Did you really? ever see any in real life, timeless? We don't really no, have I soapbox didn't. prophets around here. You gotta go to you gotta go to New York for that, Tommy. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I saw one in New York. Well, I don't know if he was doomsday, oh but he was definitely preaching from a soapbox. And I say unto you, you and I, yeah, he was, he was going full like that. I was like, ah, oh, there you go. It was probably just an act, but uh, he was there. <laughs> uh, I hadn't opened bar like, my wedding, like and it didn't cost that much. Saying that I have very few friends, so that mount would be the death of them. Um, no, my my friends would drink a free bar dry in no time. Now, Alex, how are you doing? How's it going? Remember, you need to be there before five. You said around five, Ferret, but thank you for that. Um, the Pentagon released something about a, a suspected alien mothership back in March. So my conspiracy I'm going to start, if not out there already, is it's a cover for an alien invasion. That's true, hey? Because the aliens need to pass the sun to get to the other hemisphere so they can start abducting people. Oh, crap, that means it's our turn time. It's like going to start abducting people in the southern hemisphere. That's why they need to block out the sun. No, it's like, it's like I've said for... If you look at any sort of disaster film, aliens, natural disasters, or whatever, um, there's always a part of, the, of this film where they show you a map of the world with all the disaster areas marked. Like, oh, we're look, always, now what you're going to say. We're literally always safe. Yeah. Like, we're for anyone who doesn't safe. know, the, um, the movie 2012, <laughs> literally, like, at the end of the movie 2012, they tell everyone to come here. They're like, the Drakensberg Mountains in KwaZulu Natal is now the highest point. <laughs> On planet Earth, and it was like, "Well, we'll go to South Africa then." And you're like, "Well, yeah, okay." <laughs> I can't, I can't remember what other movie it was, but there was like a movie where like tornadoes and earthquakes were ripping apart the world, and the map they showed, they were like, "Look, see, the entire world is covered in it," and they show the whole world getting covered with all the like symbols and such. But then I noticed that this, none of the symbols were touching South Africa. <laughs> We were safe. <laughs> it's, it's true. Tangled Raven, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be okay. Uh, so for anyone who doesn't know, when I'm in the menus, the clock pauses. I just need to get there just after five. So I'm going to bolt now. Thank you, though. Tangled Raven is my is my clock. What's the flat earth take on this? The world just flipped over. No, it's the aliens, obviously. It's it's the aliens going over the sun. Some of them were given the help they were needed. They're in bunkers thinking the world ended, maybe. And that's true. In fact, someone's in a bunker somewhere believing that there's something outside, Toby. You should probably go now. I'll be there now. District 9 comes to life. That's it. Drakensberg, yeah, that's exactly it. That was actually a pretty good movie. Yeah, but we get there. You're not even on the map, poor New Zealand. Yeah, we, we've normally got that. I mean, Independence Day did our continent a dirty, Timeless. No, yeah, I remember. We so like Independence Day 1. I loved Independence Day 1, okay? <laughs> I made my best friend. I took him on a bro date to Independence Day 1, right? So I was like, do you yeah. want to come watch a movie with me? And he said, okay. And then we became friends because I went to his house afterwards and he had video games. And I was like, well, there you go. Now we're friends for freaking life. I don't even know if we were old enough to watch the movie, but my mom didn't care about stuff like that. So we went to go watch the movie. And I remember, like for anyone who didn't watch, I'm sorry, if you don't want spoilers for Independence Day, the, you know, diver of old freaking Independence Day is now 30 year old movie, 20, I don't know, 50, how old is Independence Day? 95 year old movie. I don't know. It's old. Um, you can block your ears and I'll give you a thumbs up when you're done. But basically the way that you destroy the ships is... They've got this, like, thing that opens up at the bottom, and then they shoot this really powerful laser. And one of them discovers that as the aliens open up the bottom, one guy flies his ship into where the laser originates from, bypasses their shield, and that blows up the alien spacecraft. And it takes, like, the entire of, like, whatever's left of the United States forces to just manage to get him to go, <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then, like, even the, the, the missile won't shoot, and then the one guy has to give his life. It's a whole, it's a whole insane thing, and <laughs> blows up. And then they're all like, get everyone on Morse code. We know how to take these suckers down. And then it just proceeds to look like it was an incredibly easy task because all you see is just like motherships from these things just literally going down. And the one that's from my continent is literally a bunch of dudes up like in Kenya with spears <laughs> going, ah, <laughs> just like flaming aircraft down. You're like, what? Like the one guy took his ass a guy and he was like, Whoosh. like it just, I don't know what. I don't know yeah, what they were I'm implying sorry. up in there. Like, it's oh, so honey, 
Hollywood, I hate to break it to you, but we have fighter jets. We actually have them here. <laughs> no, but not there. Not at that scene. There's a bunch of like dudes in like traditional gear <laughs> just being like, yeah. And we're like, okay. <laughs> And again, it's not an really easy thing to do. It's not like all of them are going to be like, well, open up, come inside, come inside. That's <laughs> not, 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 not good. Uh, Lunar Sky, that's exactly it. Wasn't Randy Quaid? It was. Don't forget the virus oh. part. Though. Oh, yes. Okay. After that, uploaded the virus. Sorry, that's very, that's very true. Once they've uploaded the virus and they know that that's the weak spot, because even though they'd uploaded the virus, because remember, that's the way you take out aliens. You upload a computer, a human computer virus. From, I mean, what did we have back there? The 486. The 486 is in their computer viruses. <laughs> but even at a skull, it goes, ah, 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 ah. Like, yes! <laughs> oh, man. That kind of missed. No, I didn't miss anything, kids. I know that movie back to front. I watched that movie like a hundred times. Go watch the end. It's there. I do kind of like the thought of like this guy with like an arm built like a freaking tank just throwing his spear. <laughs> Yeah, he gave it a cold. Yes, that's exactly right. He gave it a cold. I remember the guy's father-in-law said the word shlemiel, which I um, I learned from my Jewish mates is means certain things. You're a shlemiel, timeless. I look it's like a shlemiel. shlemiel. That's what he said at one point. Ah. It's an unkempt person, timeless. So it's the craziest <laughs> that finished the job, though. Yeah, you love that movie. Listen, that was one of my favorite movies of all time. Like yeah, I was young cool. when that movie came out. That movie was amazing when I watched it. And, and as I say, that is exactly what happened. Kit, I promise you, I didn't miss any part of the movie. That's what they say. Get, get the, everyone on the Morse code. We know how to take these suckers down. And you're like, <laughs> and then it's just so easy. It's, it's even like the United States, the most powerful military was struggling. Even once the virus was up, a couple of missiles and it just wasn't there. Jude Hirsch was that, is that the actor's name? Judd Hirsch. Could be. How old were you, Dunk? I was young. I can't say my exact age because my age is a bit of a meme in this channel. People don't know. Every year on my birthday, you get to guess how old I am, and I will tell you if you're right. So the whole channel votes for one age, and I will tell you on that day if I am that age. So it's become a I bit of a noticed, meme now. Sh yeah. Shane has Aftershadow. What the hell's Aftershadow? I feel uh, like you've combined Aftershave with Eyeshadow. No, no. The, the, is there the, something the... called Aftershadow? Is it after sh It's not after shadow. The 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 the, the, the like light uh, hair on his chin. Five o'clock shadow. Is it five o'clock shadow? Oh yeah. <laughs> after shadow, five o'clock shadow, whatever. Uh, LinkedIn Discord. It took D around to find uh, that says aliens versus no aliens. And I think I'll have to take a look. See you later. You said Shlemian. I thought of Laverne and Shirley. I've only heard it from Independence Day. I feel like Goop is a fountain of youth. Says Miss Bell. I don't know. I'm of a age. I might have watched it when I was six. I don't know. I was young. I told you, peeps. And I probably wasn't old enough to watch the movie. My mom used to let us watch the movie. So I could have been even younger. So there we go. There, there you go. I can tell you, like, I watched the Beavis and Butthead movie where I should not have been in there. I should not have been in there at all. They were like, mm, 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 mm. my mom's like, they can go. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's all right. After Shadows, the spray on version. It is the theme song from Laverne and Shirley. I've never seen that myself. I don't know what it is. Does Sandra Bullock have an aftershadow? <laughs> I'm older than most of you, it seems, says Faith. Uh, Faith, I don't necessarily think so. Um, we have a very broad array of ages in this channel. The oldest confirmed person that we've had in here was about 75. They're probably a bit older. Someone that most of you know, I won't dox them. Um, said the one time, they're mid-70s. I was like, that's cool. So yeah, we've got a nice eclectic uh, mix here of everyone from late teens all the way up to mid-70s. That's awesome. It's awesome. That's how you became so innocent. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey, there you are. I'm glad you decided to come. We should get going. I kind of thought I was the only person being invited. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, Gus is here! We're almost there. I think I have an idea how old you are after saying Davis and Butthead in theaters. <laughs> As I say, I was young. I should not have been in there. I just, we just knew it was supposed to be cool. I was not old enough to watch that movie. At all. So it's time you're going to be your best man, says Luna Sky. 
Uh, Tommy is a lady, though, so you can be my uh, maiden of honor at my wedding. <clears throat> Pre-game nerves. Now, I like Davis. I like Davis, Ira. I like Davis. Shane hasn't yeah, grown enough cool. blue chickens yet to rent the whole bus for just you two. Again, you peeps can, you can guess now. I won't tell you what age you think. You're welcome to put your guesses there now of how old I am. But again, I won't say anything until my um, birthday. You will get to guess one age. Oh, damn. Look at all these cool NPCs we've never met before, Timeless. No. I like bald guy with handlebar moustache and the blood red eyes. Look at this dude. This dude has... What the hell makes your eyes that red, Tommy? Look at this guy. <laughs> mm, I don't even know oh where I am. God. I don't even know where I am. Look how red this dude's eyes are. Holy freaking moly. Also, is his head concave? <laughs> I, I, I... I mean, he's got a bit of a code. Oh, God, and he has his twin brother. Oh, and there as well. Okay, he's all over the show, this, this, this particular guy. <laughs> pink eye. There's a lot of pink eye going around. Uh, thankfully, they've separated all the people from pink eye and put them next to the people who don't have pink eye. Don't look 75. He must be getting up there. 36, 438. He's 300 years old. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. There are at least eight of them in that audience, at least. Okay, so peeps, we're here to watch the tunnelers. What sport do we think this is? Looks like a foot... No, nope, that's a beer. Yeah, here's the... Here's Gus. We couldn't even get seats together. You see Alex? Where's Alex? Did you just drink a bottle of mayonnaise? I just drank a beer at time. That's not a bottle of mayonnaise. Uh, not all drinks are mayonnaise. <laughs> hey, I've been meaning to say... <laughs> thanks for sticking with me through everything. My anxiety, depression... You know... You've been a really good friend to me. You're welcome, dude. Anyway, it's your first grid ball game, huh? Grid ball? Hey, grid ball. Well, what do you think? Noisy? It makes me appreciate how peaceful it is back home. Fun. Pelican Town seems very boring. What do we think the answer is to, to here? What do we think? I only see Gus. You can kind of see, like, the better sort of fidelity of the, um, the NPCs. Mortal Kombat, but in teams. Yeah, I was kind of also thinking that this is a little bit like, um... Roller... Ball. What was that? Rosa, roller Blade, or... Remember, you always used to get those, like, old-school movies, Thomas. It was, like, insanely oh, yeah, dangerous. Ro roller Blade, but, but with real blades. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> I love those movies. Oh, there's Alex over there. Yeah, okay, I see him. There's Alex. Uh, and this is, like, Haley, Haley Ripoff. One, three, two, two. He was like two, one, one. I don't know if he wants it to be boring or exciting. I don't actually know which one he'll like. Is it a frisbee game? Thanks, I see him there, Rowan. Uh, it's a frisbee golf game. Bunch of green frisbees in the crowd. Could be. Roller derby? Yeah. You mean ice skating? <laughs> Fun. One, one, one. All right, noisy. It makes me appreciate how uh, peaceful it is back home. Oh, yeah? I guess that makes sense. Me, I get bored with Pelican Town sometimes. Yeah, I think two was sort of his thing, but it's fine. But I like that you're different. We balance each other out. <gasps> ah, look, the Tunnelers are on the attack. Goal! Goal? Now I think it works like football, soccer. <gasps> <laughs> um, sorry I got carried away there. M m maybe I had one too many. Jumbotron moment? Yeah. <gasps> Look at me go. Look at me go. I would have thought that would be a moment where they should ask you what you thought, you know? <laughs> That's fine. That, that, that can be taken from me. I mean, my goal is to get them all to 10 out of 10 anyway. Well, there we go, peeps. There is the last relationship that I need to knock down to 10 out of 10 level. Now we can have the reality show. We can see I'm going to marry. Well, that was definitely a good game. Awesome. I'm shipping you and Shay now. Oh, yeah, and we won too. We won the game, peeps. Everyone, exclamation mark. Um, be slightly happy-ish. The tunnel is oh. won. <laughs> okay. Sweet, so I have all the ladies now love me, all the men now love me, everything is coming up me, everyone scored, everyone scored, <laughs> last year and you approved, 
Uh, now this girl, boyfriend's turn. No, I don't think so. Hey, I think I think I'm good. So there we go. I got ten out of ten. So that's it. Perfect in every way, shape, and form. Anything else I need to do? I think I think that's it. I think I've got everyone. Imagine having a patient's life completely in your hands and failing to keep them alive. That's something that will haunt you forever. Still need to buy Shane a beer. Um, I've got him to ten hearts though. So it should be fine. But I can buy him I one. I mean, does he still drink beer? I buy him pizza now. Yeah. I think that's where I'm going to hop off. Uh, good luck with your battle royale. Thank you, Tammy. Between the boy or boyfriends and girlfriends. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want to get involved with love? I understand. Love is the <laughs> only game. This sounds like a tagline for one of those like really crappy rom-coms. Timeless underscore EXE. Love is the only game he wouldn't play. Bye. <laughs> Bye. The only love I need are my minds and my mayor. <laughs> Bye. Cheers, everyone. All that's left is marrying Shane. You're going to ship Shane. Going past eight hearts with bachelor bachelorettes means like steady girlfriend, boyfriend. So yeah, that kiss on taken. I mean, Zor, sometimes I get it. Something in the saloon. Okay, I think you peeps are fooling me now. I knew it. Not again. Not again! Why would you people do this to me? Never thought you'd find all your boyfriends in one room. Huh, Dunk Star? Why would you people let this happen to me twice? Why? Why would you do this? Mm. Player! So for anyone who doesn't know, this exact thing has happened to me with the ladies. Um, and they wouldn't talk to me for the longest time, but they did forgive me. So hopefully the men will forgive me as well. Called it? It's terrible. You just said it's awful. Player gets played? Not cool, bro. Ugh. You tricked all of us into thinking we loved you. Thank you, Tyne. Oh my god, this sounds pretty intense. The last shred of hope I had left is completely destroyed. Thanks, Dunkstar. Are you happy now? Oh, that's that. that I'm not lying. That one kind of stings, uh, particularly because I've just sort of lifted this guy up from despair. Oh my God, Kuro, this is not a good time. Can't wait to see this YouTube video scandal. No, I don't think we'll put this. How did Akasia know? I don't know. Akasia has a front row seat. Akasia's just here to watch. Dunkstar, I thought uh, I thought we were one of a kind. But you were just using me? For once, I'm at a loss for words. Well, I'm not gonna put up with your abuse any longer. That's right! Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Guys, calm down, I can explain. I doubt it. You were all too pushy with me. You made it difficult to say no. Peer pressured me. He wanted to sell more bouquets. <laughs> Start crying. Oh my god. I like the peer pressure. Peeps, it's the peer pressure. Should I just start crying? Should I just start crying? Should I do that? Good morning, everyone. ACM. How's it going? All right, let's get a quick one minute poll. They were all pushy. They made it difficult to say no. You know, it's not my fault. Peer pressured me, wanted to sell more bouquets. Like, that's a problem as well. Or uh, just start crying. Cry your eyes out. So, uh, guessing uh, not getting married today. We'll get married today. We can still do the competition, assuming they forgive me. Assuming they forgive me. Okay, mm. can someone put up a poll? Peer pressure or peer pressure? It's the same thing. Start boiling. <laughs> Alright, peeps, one, two, or three. Number one is you were all too pushy with me. You made it difficult to say no. Peer pressured me. <laughs> I quite like the pun in that one. Peeps, it's a very quick poll. You gotta get it in. Peer pressured me. Want me to sell more bouquets or start crying? Get your votes in. Get your votes in. Go, 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 go. Peer pressured me. You wanted to sell more bouquets. It's, peer, it's all Peer's fault. If anyone doesn't know, Peer's the guy who runs the sort of like local grocery store. Hmm. 
Can I marry the woman if I win? Yes, yes I can. Okay. Man, oh man. Just cry. Fair vote for crying if that's what you want me to do. Get your votes in. Also remember that you actually are trying to get me off the hook here. <clears throat> Does anyone know how to make tears? You don't seem too heartbroken? I am. Um, <laughs> I can't explain. <laughs> That's not going to work. You won't be preying on our sympathies this time. <laughs> I'll assume this is just another act. <laughs> You need to take responsibility for what you've done. <laughs> I think we've come to a decision. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> what are they jumping for? What are they doing? We're all giving you the cold shoulder! Cold shoulder, bros! Assemble! <laughs> Cold shoulder Sam! Cold shoulder Alex! Cold sh shoulder Elliot! Shampooman! I can just see it now. No! Not the cold shoulder! Not again! You dicks! Quit playing games with my heart. Aww. You better get Shane back. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Ah, oh, Pam, how simple life would have been with you. Uh, have the one with the 1v1 showdowns? No, we're going to do them now, Sim. First, I had to make all the men hate me, apparently. Acacia celebrating? I don't think Acacia cares for this one. Acacia wants Abigail. You should have lured them in with some stretches, says Kuro. Have you kissed all the boys now? Seashells, I've kissed everyone. What are we going to do now, though, folks? Who would like to? I'm going to go for a stretch break. And then when I come back... We're going to do 1v1 competitions. I lost all my girlfriends and all my boyfriends, but I'm going to figure out which one is the one now. We're going to do 1v1 competitions. For anyone who doesn't know, I went onto the internet and I found a survey. There was had 7,000 Stardew players um, asked about their sort of uh, interactions in the game. And I have a list of the most dated people in the game. I did say this earlier. For anyone who doesn't know, here was the list. So I've basically seeded everyone for the competition, much like you would for a tennis tournament. So, anyone that doesn't know, guess who the least most popular person is to marry? I'm actually shocked by this. Absolutely shocked. The least most married person in all of Stardew. It's insane. It's insane. Okay, no, no, but of people that you can marry, so you can't marry Pam. Dunkstar. <laughs> Sam, Luna Sky, Sam is second last. Sam is the second least. Soul Bishop has it right. It is Maru. Maru is the least married person, then Sam, then Alex, then Emily, then Haley. That's quite low for Haley. Seventh last, we have Harvey, the doctor. In sixth place, we have Penny. That's kind of low for Penny. Penny's only sixth. Uh, in fifth place, we have Shane. In fourth place, we have Elliot Shampooman. And then the top three are Abigail. In number three, Leia in number two, and the most dated person in the whole game is Sebastian. Sebastian. Maru is an overprotective dad who dunks on dunk. It's true. It's true. Maybe everyone... Do you actually think Maru's the least um, married because everyone actually listened to what Demetrius had to say? Do you think I've just gone the opposite with this? So for anyone who doesn't know Maru, who's the least married person, his dad actually goes, don't mess with my baby girl. Don't you mess with my baby girl. Maru just gives me child vibes. She's so smart. I just, I'm scared I'd have to be like her trophy husband, you know? All right. I'm going to go for a stretch break. When I come back, we're going to do the battle rail. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go do the battle rail, and we're going to decide. The upcoming matchups are Sebastian versus Harvey. The Doctor versus the Emo. Then we've got Leia versus Emily. Uh, both of them nature lovers. Both of them sweet, kind, lovely ladies. Then we've got Shane versus Haley. 
We've got Elliot versus Maru. We have Sam versus Abby. And we've got Alex versus Penny. You're not going to want to miss this, peeps. It's going to be messy, but fun. Marry Maru. Make your own IRL mecha anime as she makes the mechs for you. That'd be really cool, right? It'd be like living in an anime. What's up, Death Dealer? How's it going? Shane, peeps. We'll do that the moment I return. Stay tuned. For Love on the Dunkstar Show here in Stardew Valley. If you, aren't drop, if you haven't followed, please do follow if you do like the stream and would uh, like to see you again sometime. I'll see you in just a moment. From the gates of madness into your heart. Ah! <laughs> Go back to the first crystal. Oh, well, Go I'm back to the first crystal. Oh, what are you? It starts. Melee was a terrible choice in this game. Like a really bad choice. Ah, no! Oh no! Why is there an elevator shaft there? Uh oh. No one sent the elevator back up. I'm taking a shortcut. Ah! It was further down than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not going down here. This is the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, timers. Goodbye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's how that feels. Revenge. <laughs> so there's these little green things on the floor, right? That kind of makes sense. Avoid the little green things on the floor, right? Yeah. Oh, no! I'm down. I did it again. Thomas, I think that that's a platforming puzzle over there. I want to try this. Did you bring your telescope? Fool! No! Oh well. No! There's an invisible <laughs> wall there! Impossible, right? No, yeah, yeah, there was... Sorry, peeps, I'm in the middle of an action scene. I don't know <gasps> where the teeth came. Bye, Timeless! Oh, I jumped off the edge. Dude! I don't know what we're looking at. Over there. Oh, over there. Bye. Hey, you're alive? Oh, sweet secret tunnel. How did you live, but I Alive. didn't? Can I jump this? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> You've done the same thing. You can't laugh at me. No, no, no. It's not a jump. Never mind. Ah! It was a jump. You lied. Oh my god, thanks. <laughs> you tricked me. I, I'm gonna try and make it. Friendly stop. Oh. Not even close. What was it? How much was it? And what happened? Oh, you made it. I did. Success. <laughs> <laughs> Hard success. Cool. Yeah, but, uh, let's put a guild. And I am in your guild. Ooh, look at me. My eyes are up here, Timeless. <laughs> stared, stared at my loins and then left. <laughs> That's pretty freaking rude, man. No, you, you want to see something cool, Timeless? <gasps> I would say when you caught it. <laughs> Acknowledge it and love it. So it. It kind of looks like it has a giant maggot uh, sucking its brains out. You just ruin everything, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little critter. Oh my god, now it really does look like a snake with a bunny in its mouth. Look at the snake. The vicious snake monster rise around. Yep, that's definitely a snake eating a rabbit, peeps. The anaconda worm will consume the rabbit, its entire corpse, into its body within minutes. Uh, it's got an empty skill. It's also waterproof. 10% decreased incoming water damage. Man, Thomas, can you imagine if every single time you bought like a watch that says waterproof? Like, oh, sweet dude, I got my waterproof watch. And you go dive in the pool and your watch gets completely in that. <laughs> and you're like, why? And it's like, no, waterproof. Asterisk. 10% decrease to incoming water damage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is very false advertising. Tommy, have you made this Pell Gear workbench thing? No, I think that was either Arcasia or Split. So that basically allows us to build stuff for our pals. Yeah, thanks. I can also read what the thing says. <laughs> <laughs> Get me up, thanks. What are the magic words, Timeless? Hadouken! Oh my goodness. <laughs> this was a fool's errand, Timeless. <laughs> hey, look at that creature's enjoying it. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha 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 ha! You stop laughing at me like that! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! I killed you both! Ha ha ha! Tyrus, I hate this creature. 
Timeless, you need to crack the whip, dude. It says Kativa is taking a break. Uh, yeah, Kativa's a workaholic. It's the that mud thing that takes a lot of breaks. What mud thing? This <laughs> this, this little blob thing here apparently is incredibly lazy. Why? It, oh, it looks like it looks like such a diligent worker, Timeless. <laughs> This, this is definitely a picture you expect to see on employee of the month placard on the wall. Did you put it in? Yeah. Yeah, so it's better. It's the better creature's than... literally ready. It's better. The so creature's first action was to go to sleep. <laughs> no, it's better than the mud creature we had. Is it? It's literally its first day on the job and it's sleeping. <laughs> The mud creature's <laughs> working. It's spewing oh my God. dreams. Or what is it doing? Just, it's seeding the plants. Oh, it's actually working. Well, there you go. While your new creature slumbers, <laughs> mud creature works, Stylus. <laughs> nah, this thing's a dud, dude. Send it back. Oh my God, Timeless, I think the creature's actually choking now. Oh, give, give it a Heimlich, Timeless. Oh, give it a Heimlich. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Give it a Heimlich, Timeless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is Heimlich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's working. He's like, he's like, he looked drunk now. Oh God, tell him it's not. You should never have shown him where the food is. There's nothing left. Look at it. <laughs> Look. Oh my God. The it's eating us up. All right. I am back. Uh, you miss Pale World? Guess what? Guess what? Exclamation mark. G portal. We're doing a sponsored stream of Pale World at some point this week. So good for you. Bye. Everyone click that link if you haven't. It just basically is our server provider. We'd like us to show off the fact that they provide Hellworld service. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, it is a fun game. I will hop into it for, for a bit. Uh, Remnant 2, similar kind of situation. Got a DLC coming on. I'm in chats with the developers. They want us to do a Remnant 2 stream. So, yeah. If you peeps like those two games, I will probably hop into, well, yeah, those games in the near future. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Should be pretty awesome. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, none of that crap matters. Why? Stodgy Valley. Are you all ready for the most insane, intense relationship competition on the globe? We are doing Stodgy Romance. I don't think that that's a very good name. I think we need to come up with a better name. Starman's Dew. Dew Course. Love, love happens. Love, actually. No, that's taken. Hmm. Maybe you can marry someone there? I will, Major. I will marry them all. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to showcase. What's the best way to showcase these people? Might have to go to Google. Okay. Just so you can all know who you're voting for. So here's how it's going to work, right? I'm going to go and bring up the names. We're going to have like a little bit of a sales pitch for each other person. And you are going to vote for who you think should win. Okay. So first up, we have the person that is the most popular in all of Stardew Valley. We have Sebastian. Here is Sebastian. You can see some artwork done about Sebastian. Sebastian likes to smoke cigarettes. Sebastian is like super emo. Sebastian rides around on a motorcycle. Um, Sebastian likes to chill in his room and play video games and make his mom kind of worried about the fact that he has funny smelling ashtrays in there. Sebastian. That's, that's who it is. The Dunk Chiller. I like it. Star I do. Dunk Star, the star-crossed romance senator. I like it so. Love Island, the one people would actually watch. It's true. Love on the farm. Uh, hello, everyone. So happy I didn't miss the marriage fight off. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. Man, I hope Dunk has safe search on. Dev, I do safe search. Blur explicit images. Filter explicit images. Um, I mean, I don't see any blur. I think we're okay, huh? Brave using Google, not the wiki? You think so? You think we'd... I think we'd be fine, right? You know, I mean... I don't... He's a vampire? I don't... I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Romancing with the stars. Hey, Dr. Splinter, how you doing? <laughs> okay. You think I should look at the wiki? All right, I'm gonna do... All right, here's Sebastian, okay? This is boring, though. This is boring. No, no, that's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. So this is contestant number one. All right, so in the first battle off, I also did look. So it is Sebastian versus Harvey. That's what's happening here. Harvey is, in our particular playthrough, a serial killer. Harvey is also the doctor of the town. 
He likes to like listen in on air traffic controlling. Um, oh my God, look at this picture of him. Hello. I noticed you around. My goodness. My goodness. All right. We're going to do these though. We're going to take a bit of time with this though. So Sim or any of the other moderators, Sim's the first one I saw. Let's put up a poll. Who wins round number one? Sebastian or Harvey? Harvey is the doctor. Harvey, Harvey is the serial killer in our particular playthrough. Um, and Sebastian is this young gentleman who likes to be super cool and hardcore, ride around on motorcycles and smoke cigarettes and just be pretty awesome. And we're going to make these polls long, hey? So I'll play the game in between so that everyone gets a vote. So let's make it like a 10 minute long poll. There it is. Okay, peeps, get your votes in. I've showed them off. Harvey versus Sebastian. Half Bastion. In fact, let's quickly do this so we can cut between the two. I should have had two tabs open. Harvey Stardew. We'll hop into these every now and then. Harvey Stardew Valley. Okay. Shouldn't bring up too many terrible things. Okay, there's Sebastian for anyone who doesn't know. Okay, sorry, peeps. The poll was canceled. Starting it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're restarting because it was because it was too short. That's all. Sure, it's exciting. This is like when they announced the wrong winner at that Miss Universe pageant. Um, that's it. No, 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 no. It's still going on. It's still going on. It's literally just starting now. All right, peeps. If you did vote, make sure that you vote again. Number one, we've got Sebastian over here. Emo, emo, cool motorcycle rider, cigarette smoker. Here we've got Harvey, the doctor, said or killer. Aviation lover. Harvey. Apparently, according to someone, Pedro Pascal is what he looks like. Um, I can kind of see it. Now, in this particular picture, I can kind of see it. But uh, who knows? All right. So, get your votes in. Get your votes in. Serial killer, yeah. An immediate number for Harvey. That's it. Peeps, get your votes in. Go around town. Now, okay, the only problem is I don't think any of the men are currently talking to me. Um, I was a little bit of a dick in that I dated all of them. Each and every single one of the men, and they found out. So let's see if they'll talk to me. If it's anything like the ladies, there was a bug where they forgave me before they gave me the cold shoulder. I don't understand you. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, Shane has a glazed look in his eye. He won't speak to you. Okay. Not a not a good way to start my day. I don't I don't think. All right. Go talk to Harvey and Sebastian. I will have to wait till nine a.m. though. Oh wait, sorry, it's seven thirty p.m. Sorry, I thought it was seven thirty a.m. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh good, the boys found out about your philandering ways. I'm not a philanderer. Okay. I just think it's funny because you took Emily from me, and now no one will date you. Ha ha ha! Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, I did Clint block. I did Clint block, and um, I did take Emily from him. Uh, sorry about that, Clint. Sorry, dude. You can have a beer. This is a fun gift. Thanks. You're welcome, dude. Hmm. All right, peeps. Currently, Harvey is beating Sebastian. Sebastian is the single most. This would be a huge upset. Sebastian is literally the single most uh, married person in the entirety of this game. That's pretty crazy stuff, if that's the case. Holy moly. Holy moly. Sebastian is a smoker. And that's gross. Can you imagine if that's what cost him, right? I smoke cigarettes and Kit doesn't like that. But what about Harvey, Kit? Harvey literally chops people into small pieces on our playthrough. He enjoys seeing the inside of the person. I judge them by the inside, not the outside. Harvey is lovely, says Kit. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine, says Ryan. Okay. Chat just wants you to marry a serial killer. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, our next matchup is going to be Leia versus Emily. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty intense in and of itself, huh? Uh, moderators, can we please make a... Well, I don't know if the pin would get in the way. No, I think just leave it. I think just leave it. I was going to say put a pin there. We're doing votes and stuff, but who knows? All right, this day is a bit of a mulligan. It's, um, I'm going to pick some crops. I, no, actually, Arcasia must do this because they got better farming, I suppose. Although then I'll never get better farming. So, I don't actually know what to say. I'll, I'll pick some sunflowers. If I don't pick them, I'll never learn, huh? 
Inventory full. Wait, can sunflowers only stack? Check occasion coming to deal with business. Pick up the corn. Okay, apparently my inventory is still very full from the fishing competition. I did uh, rush out after that was done. Pick the hops. Oh, I can make beer for Pam finally. Yeah, so we're going to do all these votes and then we're just going to land up going for Pam anyway, huh? Love you all the time, my darling dear. It's not quite there. There's subtle tones in there. Who's next on the poll? Um, it's going to be Leia Emily. I just basically did seeding like you would kind of in like a tennis tournament. But, but, but Penny, she's so sweet and... Tammy, you can vote for Penny. Penny's in there. So this is the first vote. For anyone who doesn't know, this is literally... This is round one. It's literally the first round. Kaja's offering you her hops. Will you accept it? Thank you for your hops. Okay, I'm gonna make Pam some pale ale. Eat hops. No, no, no. That's not what I was trying to do. Teach your title to add, you decide. After who should I marry? Thank you, Sim. Sim, I don't know. Maybe I've got too much. What is it currently? Entire Valley fights for my love. Who should I marry? You, like, let me just take, maybe I'll just take out the whole first bit, huh? I'll do it, I'll do it like that. Who should I marry? You decide. Or you decide who should I marry. Titles. Now, now moderator, moderator's got me thinking. That's good, that's good. Damn it, I deleted my wedding ring. Now I have to start again. There's no point in having a title that doesn't have a wedding ring in it. Okay. I got it. I got it. Some. Eh. Done. Done. Wedding Battle Royale. I mean, I like all of them. We can get all these good titles happening here. Not sure I can stay for all the votes. It's almost 12 a.m. and I work in the morning. Tammy? I understand. Who do you want to win the entire thing, though, Tammy? I feel like everyone already kind of knows who they want to win. Uh, we might be able to do slightly shorter votes. You just, you never know. You know, people coming in. If anyone has just joined, uh, there is a poll that's up. Do make sure that you get your votes in for who you would like me to wed. Hello, Acacia. Some did it better. Why did you edit? No, because just because it's too long, you know? It was it was a pretty long title. Um, and people probably wouldn't have even read Sims part. This is the internet. Everyone's basically like, you have four characters with which to convince me. Go! Uh, you've already lost. You've already lost the game of the internet. That's how that works. Penny, but it's okay if I can't stay. I'll see you tomorrow wins. Samantha Source, I don't know if you heard, but I did show that everyone's overall popularity. Did you know that Penny is number six? The sixth most wed person in this game. They did a survey of 7,000 people who played the game, which I think is a pretty good sample size. Penny is number six. I actually honestly thought she'd be higher. Poor Penny. Poor Penny, right? All right, I don't know if anyone's going to be, I don't know if Sebastian's going to be able to make a comeback for this. Harvey is currently wrecking face here. He's cutting through Sebastian with surgical precision. That'd be pretty insane if Sebastian doesn't even make it to round two, particularly because he's the favorite. He, the bookies had him as number one. What's a bookies, you ask? That's the people that do gambling. Now Sebastian can come back? You never know. Some people wait just to tie the polls at the end, you know? Marry the murderer? Listen, this murderer is getting through to the final six. Bum, 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 bum. Penny and Dunk would make cute babies. You reckon? I must think of this. Okay, so after we go from 12, we go down to 6. Then we need like an extra... To 4. Okay. So what we're going to do... Moderators, can you do me a favor? Can you see who the people are that got the most votes for them? So, like, if you look there, it shows that Harvey's got 38 votes. It shows that Sebastian's got 25. Whoever has the most votes, those two people are going to get a buy in the next round. The most votes overall. I know I know it's not quite fair because they are because otherwise, you know, odd numbers, it never works out. Unfortunately, the game just hasn't given us. So that's what we'll do. 
We'll keep a list. Okay, so it's just how many votes they get. So just the winner's sim. So like, yeah, so Harvey's currently on 38 votes. Um, if someone gets like 44 votes, then they can do it. I know I know it's not quite fair because, you know, Harvey was up against Sebastian. Some, but I mean, it is all kind of seeded. So it should technically be kind of fair. Little, 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 little. Should have had the seeds play against the ones more rated closely together um, to work up to the top two. Uh, not really, Brother Wolf. So, so what they normally do um, is if you seed it like that, then the problem is you already get the main matchup. So I've more done it with tennis. So tennis doesn't... I mean, sometimes they do it literally the first place plays the last seed. Um, so I've done a slightly different approach to that, but basically you don't want the top two competing too soon. Otherwise, that's what it is. So you basically build up, you keep the two top people as far away from each other as possible. That's what you do because you want the final to be the best final that it can be. Not like some sort of like half final, you know? So it kind of makes sense like this. Everyone's kind of fighting like um, just a few places off, you know? Hello, farmer. Vote Shane, says Ira. Ira, are you campaigning? It's the first person that, that's the first person we've actually seen that has someone actively campaigning, campaigning for them. <laughs> Hundred pieces of bugs. Sure, why not? I could use the fishing bait. And yet, this method will probably dump your top one out in the first round. Uh, that is actually, I mean, if you think about it, that is actually um, better off. I mean, that's called an upset, but I mean, if the top one gets dumped out by number seven, that's pretty insane. So that's actually, uh, like I say, is actually a better system. That means the people definitely win there. All right. Harvey has taken number one. Sebastian is gone. Sorry, Sebastian. Let's go see him right now. I mean, everyone has to go. Everyone has to go through all the rounds anyway. Don't forget. So it's not like in tennis, like the number one seed doesn't ever get dumped out by like some sort of obscure wild card. It happens. That's uh, number one. Just didn't didn't rise to the occasion. All right. So some forty votes for Harvey. Okay, peeps. Harvey. Round two. Oh wait, wait, wait. Round two's already up. All right, peeps. Leia versus Emily. Is right. Okay, no, no, sorry. Can we please cancel it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I think that's probably Big Boss who was asking before. I know you're being super duper duper efficient, but you're actually too efficient because I haven't actually done the, I haven't, I haven't done the sales pitch yet. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do the sales pitch. All right, Harvey, through to the next round. Leia versus Emily. Sorry, because the mod, when, when the mods are too powerful, you know, they're, 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 they're too powerful. Okay, this is round two. Now, first up. We've got Emily here. Emily is basically like the Earth Child of our playthrough. She's like, she's all spiritual, and she she really like she thinks like the plants have like super duper cool energy, and like she has like dreams, and she like knows about the like future a little bit. And green tea knows, so she's actually she's not green tea tea lady, but she's the one that had like a dream, like this dream scene where I saw her. I managed to like come into her dreams, and I think. This is the only person in the entirety of Stardew Valley who I actually, um, what's the word? The only person I've actually, I don't know. I spent a night in a tent, in a tent with her. There was a bear outside and the tent was vibrating like this. So she's the only person that I've actually potentially, yeah, I've hugged her. She's the only person I've potentially got past like, you know, eighth base with. Eighth base is obviously a kiss on the cheek. So she's the only person, so she, I've probably gone further with her than anyone else. Had an intimate moment with, yeah. So there's Emily, okay, spiritual, and I will definitely say for free, she is the best dancer in the valley. She likes to like shake her, her booty. Um, okay, Emily is number one. However, poor Emily has very, very, very stiff competition. Le Emily is up against Leia. Now, if anyone doesn't know Leia, Leia is a single lady. She had uh, problems with her ex-boyfriend. I punched her ex-boyfriend in the face. She is an artist. She likes to be a sculptor. She likes to make art and whatnot. And um, she loves nature and all things fresh. She is the only person that did not like my tortillas. She is the only person in the entirety of Stardew Valley that didn't like my tortillas. So that wasn't good. So this is, this is Leia, as I say. Very nice, sweet, kind. Well, mostly. Um outdoorsy kind of person who's gonna win emily or leia let's get your votes in that is emily that is leia and leia did like holly that is true she's also the only person in the valley that actually liked holly from chat the only person 
She created Dunk the Pig. Yes. I also did try to kiss this lady. Sorry, how could I forget that? I tried to kiss this lady and um, she wasn't having any of it. So she attacked me with a hammer. So yeah, Leia, Leia did attack me with a hammer after I tried to kiss her too, too early. I also see she's got a lot of fan art done. Most of it terrible. Um, I don't, I don't know what this person is into a very specific type of Leia. Uh, we don't judge. We don't judge here. Okay. Let's get the, the thing up. Round two, peeps. Leia, this is Leia versus Emily. Leia versus Emily. Get your votes in. In theory, Leia should be the favorite here based on sort of generic things. But don't forget that our playthrough is unique to us. So you never know. Ooh, pretty close. Leia's edging Emily. Get those votes in. Oh, wait, this is not where Sebastian is. Why am I here? Oh, Dunk, will you draw the winner? We love your art. Oh, my God. No, you don't, see him. No, you don't. Clearly strong enough to stand up to you. I mean, that's true. But, I mean, it, well, it was the whole channel. They all said I must kiss her. We can't marry Leia. She hated your tortillas, which were amazing. Farm fresh tortillas and hit you with a hammer. It's true, kid. Well, then vote for Emily. That's what, she, that's what we do. That's what we can do. She made you a poo statue? That is true. She made me a statue of poo. If anyone wants to see what Leia did, Leia legitimately made me a sculpture of poo. It's over here. I can show it to you. Keisha, I hope you can keep the farm kind of ticking along. I feel like during this competition, I might not get up to all the farm business that I'm supposed to. But yeah, Leia made me a sta like a legitimate statue of poo. Oh, here's Harvey who won the last round. I want you back in my life, Dunkstar. I'm willing to forget what happened. Okay, no, no, but that is not actually what he thinks. I'm busy with my work. I can't speak to you. Remember, the men are kind of giving me the, shol the cold shoulder. I almost said the shoulder colder. A picture of you with the love of your life. It says Sam. <laughs> oh my god, this poll is really close. Holy moly. Holy moly. So yes, yeah, so Emily took my star duinity and Leia made me this poo statue. Yeah, Leia, so this is the type of art that she does. She she made me a statue of poo. Um it's also not even unique because she she made another one. Just just so we know. So Leia Leia did make a poo statue for me. That's a thing. Oof! Peeps already I'm I, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to say something, but I need none of you to judge me for what I'm about to say. Can, can, can we do that? Can, 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 can we make that a thing? I wonder, Emily, she has taste and it's hard to woo. Here you go. My fish statue above my bed, because I'm a fisher person. She made your poo statue, she's a keeper for sure, yeah. Uh, probably not judging. Is it normal? Like, I actually, like, this is all happening, like, a bit too fast to me. I'm actually, like, kind of feeling sad that, like, some people are already getting eliminated. Like, I mean, this particular matchup, I mean, like, I don't, I don't want either of them gone. This is, this is, this is sad, peeps. You don't actually understand how hard it is being an eligible bachelor. Like, this is, this is harder for me than for the people fighting for me, you know, in, in many ways. That's, that, that's what's happening. So, like, I really, I mean, like, oof, to think, to think that Emily could be gone now, or Leia could be gone. <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like it. Folks, for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, check out the votes. You're voting for who I'm going to marry between Emily and Leia. The, this is not the final competition. This is only round two. Sure. Cliche reality show drama. No. No, I speak from the heart. Yeah, dog. Look at my tear. Maggie. Hello, Maggie. How you doing? Don't be cross. Hey, Maggie. I see you. She took her time and made effort in something for you. That's really endearing. It is true, except she does have multiple of them. It's literally she like grinds those up. Midnight token, nice to see her. I need the poly mod? Maybe. <laughs> All right, here's Sam. He's probably not talking to me either. All right, I'm done with the cold shoulder. Like, let's just forget what happened. Okay, that's, again, it's a bug. So it's not supposed to do anything. He just gives me ellipses. Okay, here's Leia right here. I found some wild fruits this morning. So this is the person who's currently winning. They're all about that wild fruit. And then this is the person that they're beating. Oh, she's probably at work already. 6 p.m. Technically, they both took time to make you something. It is true. I mean, um, Emily, like, made me, like, clothes that I'd enjoy, you know? <clears throat> Here's Emily. Eating healthy is very important to me. 
I want to live a long and active life. Okay, this could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> they could keep me on my toes. Make me healthy and stuff. <clears throat> or... Um, I'm just going to have to eat like kale and drink like um, kom kombucha and stuff. I'm going to be drinking a lot of kombucha. And I reckon she knows a lot of like healing foods as well. This one's just like really good for your aura, you know? Here, drink, drink this blended up banana peel and you're like, oh, 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 oh my God. By one vote, by one vote, Leia, sorry, Emily, just like not meant to be together. Sorry. Emily is out. I'm sad now. Peeps, that means that I'm always going to be someone who committed the the do act with more than one person, you know? It's not, it's not, I'm never going to be like a one person, you know what I'm saying? I lost my innocence to this lady. I'll always remember you, Emily, in the way that you shake your behind. Wow, that was close. That was super duper duper close. Holy moly. All right. Well, Emily, my love. All right. Next matchup, we have... Okay, this one is might be tough. Okay, first up, we have Shane. This is Shane from Stardew Valley. Shane is a pretty real character. Shane is, drinks too much. Shane is um, a bit of a dick to people he doesn't know. Uh, Shane, super, super, super depressed, tried to throw himself off a mountain. Um, so there's a lot to take on you. So that kind of endear endears a lot of you to Shane. Because Shane has like a lot of like baggage going on there. But also to a lot of you, like, oh my god, like that's like a lot of maintenance going into Shane here. Okay, so we've got oh, I'm gonna that Stardew. And then next up we've got Haley, who is basically I mean someone I don't really know. I hope this isn't an offensive term. But someone referred to her as a valley girl? I don't know. So it's Shane versus Haley. So Haley uh, started off like really snobbish and terrible to me and just like, I'm too cool for you, like, kind of thing. But then since then, she's like trying to show that she's really good. She rode a cow for me. She rode a cow for me and she landed in cow poo. And she didn't even get upset or anything, you know? And there, she's the type of person, she's like totally like when she lives on my farm, she's going to be taking like selfies. Like in front of the corn and stuff, you know? So that's it. Contestant number one, Haley over here. I think she's meant to be like your sort of stereotypical um, best looking prom queen kind of of the valley. And then here we've got like the deeply troubled Shane. That's it. Round three, Shane versus Haley. Shaley. Kaupu girl. I mean, she did laugh it off, right? Okay. Ba -bum 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 -ba -da -dum. Okay, I think you should know the difference here. This is Haley. This is Shane. Get your votes in. For anyone who doesn't know what we're doing, we're busy doing a romance competition and start you here to see who's going to be my ultimate love. Who's it going to be? Which one of these? Shaley. Okay, here's Shane right over here. Shane's not really talking to me right now. Shane has a glazed look in his eye. He won't speak to you. This is because he found out that I had numerous lovers. Uh, but he'll forgive me. He'll forgive me before the week is up. He's just sitting here drinking. Drinking, drinking, drinking. I hate to say it, but sometimes I'm glad my father forced me to be a blacksmith. At least I have a profession. Clint, you're a cool dude. You're a, you're a, you're a cool dude, Clint. I will give you uh, one of these things. Oh, okay. He did not like that. All right, that's that's fine. All right, peeps, get your vote in. Oh, Haley is currently shading Shane. Holy moly. Exciting times. Get your votes in, peeps, if you haven't. The vote is up. Rip Shane. Ira, you don't know that. That's really close. Poor Shane. Listen, I do get from a Shane perspective. Um, like, on one hand, Shane's like probably like the most real, deep kind of character in the entirety of the game. But, like, also, you know, that's also... I don't... I mean, I don't know if I can fix him, you know. It's, it's, it's a lot. I mean, he does seem like he was getting a lot better. He seemed like he was getting a lot better. He took me to the game and, you know... He seems like he's happy and he's breeding his chickens now, so I think he's going to be okay. Almost missed the vote. Rockstar's happening right now. Get your votes in, peeps. Haley versus Shane. Therapy will help too, says Ryaka. For sure, for sure. Okay, should probably help Arcasia pick some stuff. I haven't counted any crows yet. Nope. 
Haley likes sunflowers. So it's good that I have lots. Up, up, up. Another closey. Yeah, they really are kind of close, huh? Ira, Ira was Team Shane right from the beginning. Ira, are you all your dreams crumbling before your eyes here? We shall see. Make sure you get your votes in, folks. Okay, we can also even go adventuring tomorrow if you like, Keja. Do you want to go with bombs and stuff to the valley? If we can get Timey's sword. Or do I have to get it? Do I, do I have to grab Timey's timey sword for you? Otherwise, we can just go in the old mines. I do need bug meat. I'm not crying, you are. It's still really close, peeps. Get your votes in. It's really, really close. You would bring blue chickens to the farm. That's true. Maru too smart, Shane too messed up. Penny too boring, says Miss Bell. Oh, is that why the people... I mean, Shane is still the fifth. So Shane is the fifth most popular of all the bachelors. Um, And... Sorry, who's the other one there? Penny. Penny sixth. So Shane's five, Penny six. So that's not too bad. But yeah, Maru is literally stone last. I feel really bad for Maru. Probably Maru is the least popular lover. Or wife. Pretty insane. I'm as two as you. Okay, so Jenny, I'll quickly show you. So this is who we're voting for. You're voting for Shane, who's basically like a quite depro, um, drinks a lot, um, but is pulling himself together. So here's like the cutscene from earlier. Like he's like learned to like find love in his chickens and stuff. So he's like starting his like own like little chicken farm and stuff and he's getting all that. But yeah, kind of a deeply troubled guy who does seem to be pulling himself towards himself. And then we've got Haley over here, who's like a popular so i think i think this image over here pretty much sums up Haley. Haley's the type of person who'll be taking like selfies in front of my cornfields and going omg i can't believe it um that's that that's Haley for you so these these are the two but Haley's also like the prom queen kind of style you know i want shane to be happy well then shane can find happiness you know i'm not the only thing that makes people happy there's, there's plenty more fish in the sea, and this is this is coming from a fisherman. Because I, I am a fisherman. Okay, let's pop this frozen geode. Haley would do some amazing PR work for the farm, that is true. Haley doesn't like anything healthy or chores, so she won't help you. That's true. Haley, Haley's definitely not gonna help around the farm. I'm like, so like, what's for dinner? She's gonna wake up at like 6 p.m. and be like, what's going on? Ah, uh, that could be my wife one day. We'll see. We'll see. Currently, she's looking like she's doing pretty well. I don't know if Haley can spell PR since time. <laughs> Listen, you went for Alex. But you're not an ocean man. I am an ocean man. I can catch a fish. Okay, Keja. All right, I'm going to go to the normal caves tomorrow while we do this. Haley would always know the new Twitch meta. That is true. Haley could help me with my new um, Twitch channel. Hey guys, I'm here busy streaming with my boo, Dunkstar. Look at him. He's a farmer, but he wants to become an influencer and you should all like go drop him a follow. And then I'll have literally like 37 times more follows than I would have if I stream myself for the rest of my, my life. So there you go. She's got almost as many votes as Harvey. That's how it is, Sam. She doesn't have to spell it, she just has to look good posting selfies and getting the best lighting on the farm behind her. That's exactly it. Damn, peeps. I, also th I actually thought this one would be closer. Like, for realsies, for realsies. Haley's pulling ahead big time. What can we say, hey? Who doesn't, who doesn't like people taking selfies? Haley is gross, says Kit. Kit, it's only the first round. We'll see what happens to Haley. Okay, so the next round is six. All right. There is one other system. I'm going to need all of you to think about this. Okay. Either we're going to do this. We're going to take the most popular two people and they're going to get a buy in the next round, okay? So that the, the vote will work. Or... We can say the people that were in the closest, closest poll come back for a bonus round, i.e. the wild card system. So you technically could, which means like that means like someone like so. So Emily was really close. 
Um, so which system would you like? Would you like the wild card system? We bring two people back who were really close. Or would we like the two most popular people get a buy? Because, yeah, the problem is with, yeah, with 12 people, you have to do one of those systems. Would the wild cards face each other? Sure, the wild cards can face each other. Sounds fine. Bring Emily back, wild card. Would they face each other? Buy, reckon, Zan. Hmm. Wild card, then. Okay. We've got three for wild card, one for buy. Everyone else's opinions on the matter? Eh. Buy, okay, no, two, three, two. All right, close, close, close. All right, let's do this, folks. If you think that I should do a wild card system, write one. If you think that I should do a buy system, write down two. One, two. One, 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 two. Okay, it's looking like wild card. Probably taking this quite a bit. I sort of go with the original one. Okay, there's quite a few for buys here, though. Those are hard. There's one that's got one and two. This is sometimes duplicates. I don't want to have to do another poll for the thing. <laughs> I'll make that a shorter vote as well. There's a three in there. We could do a poll. Yeah, but we've got that. We have to do a poll about polls. Uh, okay. I think I think the wild card is one. I think I think there's more ones there. I, I've drawn a thing over there. Alright, we're gonna do wild card. That means that Emily Emily only lost by one. So that's gonna be like you can't actually get any closer than that unless there's like a tie. So Emily would definitely be coming back. Um so far Sebastian would come back. Uh because that's closer than this one. So it would be Sebastian and the thing, but we'll see how the rest of them kind of go. Could do a poll about whether or not we should do a poll. Yep, that's it. He deserves it, says Syro. I mean, peeps, the chance of a wild card winning, I mean, it technically would only be like a... I mean, they've already been defeated. But it can be sometimes one person beats one person, but they don't beat another. So I guess it could kind of show the sort of... I mean, I quite like the system, if you think about it. It's pretty cool. It means like, oh, you know, Emily couldn't beat Leia, but Emily could beat someone else, maybe. So who knows? But also everyone loves an underdog, that is true. So it could be like, yeah, now that they're back. All right, so we're, we're owning this system now. Okay, I must first go give Pam, my beloved, a pale ale. Wonderful. Okay, some sunflowers. Sorry, peeps, the sorting system is an absolute travesty. Um, with good reason though, let's say. I don't think these sunflowers can grow in time. Eight days. How, how, how good does Fosgrow work? Okay, no, it's all full anyway. Keisha, if you think it can work, I am putting in the third chest here, I am putting some sunflower seeds um, in here. All right, peeps, by quite a crazy margin, Shane is out of the running, and Haley is through to the next round. Holy moly. Holy moly. All right, this next round is going to be interesting. I think. Who's ready for round four? Probably the most insane of all the rounds we've had so far. I think. Okay, Shane, I'm sorry, dude. You're out. In round four, we have Elliot Shampooman. Look at him. The sexiest of all the hairstyles in here. Elliot Shampooman. Look at his luscious long locks. Someone has even turned him into a mer person. That's kind of weird. But, um... You know, oh my god, is this what he looks like? <laughs> it's, no one ever let Elliot see this. It's literally his worst nightmare. Elliot Shampooman. There it is. So you can have Elliot Shampooman. Elliot Shampooman is quite suave. He's an author. But he also has this face that he pulls. I must be honest, I do have to... He pulls this face sometimes. And in awkward moments. I don't quite understand it. He like looks at you and he goes... So that is a thing. Um... This does have to be mentioned, I must be honest. Like, it's a bit weird, like, it kind of be like, hey, but he does this, like, almost unprovoked. So that is something that does need to, to go in. And Elliot Shampooman is up against Maru. Now, here's Maru. Maru is the smartest person in Stardew Valley. Maru has built a mech. Maru is incredibly intelligent. My fear with Maru is Maru might be too intelligent. I would just be, like, a trophy husband to her. That's all I would be to her. I'd talk to all of her 
um, Nobel winning colleagues and all this stuff. And she would be like, yeah, I don't know. So we've got Elliot Shampooman over here versus Maru. Get your votes in. Get your votes in for who you think would be better. Elliot Shampooman also got me on a boat and um, in the middle of nowhere and, you know, kind of abandoned me. Oh my, yeah. You would be a trophy husband? I could. I also kind of do feel bad for Maru, just because Maru is literally the least popular of all the romance choices in, in the entire game. She doesn't kind of feel deserved, but you know. So we'll see. All right, Maru's off to an incredibly strong start versus Elliot Shampooman. I must be honest, Elliot Shampooman, to me, he's a little bit like he's like a very, like he's like a Fabio type. He's a bit more like, oh, hello. How are you? I, I do feel like he loves himself more than he loves me, but he does have really nice hair. Counterpoint, he has the best hair. Absolute best hair in the valley, you know? So there is that. Maru is killing it. Maru does seem to be killing it. A lot of people seem that they want Dunk to just be a trophy husband. Maru can just be all smart and like eradicate world hunger and stuff. And I can just be, yeah. Did you get Pamela Ale? I didn't. I rushed off to the bar. Damn it. What's up, dude? You can have a piece of something I just pick up in the middle of nowhere. Um, I think the way you've played the characters will sway the poll. Definitely. But I mean, that is 100% appropriate since, you know, it's my it's my spouse and this particular playthrough spouse, you know? So if someone's a serial killer, then that's what we have to embrace. So most certainly. So this is, this is not about like who everyone thinks would be the best person in Stargy. There's already been a huge survey for that. Yeah, like I say, Sebastian number one, Leia number two. This is this is uh, this is the dunk playthrough. That's what it is. Now uh, you think it's great? Awesome. Yeah, as I say, this is obviously gonna be incredibly unique to us. Pam is the hair, best hair. Okay, look, Pam's got amazing hair, but Shampooman, Shampooman's hair doesn't smell of cigarettes and vodka, but it's pretty nice. Maru's also the least married in the valley. Maru is the least married in the valley. Boom, boom, boom. Don't go after marrying Maru. I'm just Ken. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, we have to get bug guts. I don't know if there are bugs that live deep in the mines. Bad. Bad creature. Don't gonna marry a nerd. <laughs> Maybe. You say Elliot's here is the best, but that's just because you haven't seen Magnus. Who the hell's Magnus? Who the hell's Magnus? Folks, for anyone who's just joining, there's a poll that's up. We're deciding who I'm going to marry in the valley. Get your votes in. Bugs are only on the first levels. Oh, well, then that's a crappy... Not an ideal um, quest, is it? i sort of come here to Hades. I mean, I can do it. Eradicate bugs, I guess. Bug guts are flying through the rock beetles. Yeah, okay. I have to go back up. Get them. It's VV easy. Bug guts are flying things in the rock beetles. Yeah, I think I just have to come to the early stages, huh? Also, remember buckling whose stream you're watching. Is anything ever VV easy for me? VV easy. There's a pop, which is why Dunks look so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, there's some bugs. Hello, my fine buggy friends. Also, bug meat's what I turn into my fishing bait, so that's pretty good, you know? Bugs and slime and stuff. You can get bug guts in the sewers. Uh, Violet, how do I do that? Educate me. Did not know that. Next, I think you should marry Buckling. No, Buckling's too good for me. Okay, Maru's absolutely killing this. Um... I'm almost going to say, I mean, if anyone's holding back on Elliot Shampooman, I suppose the poll's almost closed. But holy moly. There's a doorway left of the statue. Wait, in the sewers? Wait, sorry, the sewers like their own dungeon. Have I been missing that this entire... I thought the sewers were just like a, a place that you could get, um, Krobus. All right, Maru so far is absolutely killing this. Super supporter. Brian, the gent. Good day. Good day to you, sir. Fine gentleman that you are. Time flies. 
that Twitch split, good sir. Brian, thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you so much for the good humor, all the laughs, all the amazingness. Holy moly, Brian. You've come in just in time to watch Elliot Shampooman is out of the running. Holy moly. Holy moly, Elliot Shampooman. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Brian, that was not... That was for the poll and that. Maru, good taking. Increases attack by 10%. Oh, I quite like that. Slightly increase your rate in that. Screw that. I like this thing. Okay, yeah, peeps, let's get some hype for Brian the Gent. Everyone, well, it's not hype. Brian is refined. Everyone, everyone, let's do a how do you do. No hype, just a how do, how, how do you do. A monocle, maybe. And you see Maru versus Harvey in the end game. Could be, could be a thing. Okay. Who's ready for round four? I'm gonna go see the sewers. How do you do? There you go. How do you do? How do you do? That's correct. All right, who would like to get into the next round here? We're flying through this, folks. Absolutely flying through this. Maru, absolutely killing it. Look at Maru. Elliot Champuman. Okay, I mean, I probably shouldn't have shown this picture of him, right? <laughs> Tips hat to Brian, tier that's correct. Two. Legend. Fire links, you tier two legend. Holy moly. Okay, I feel like I probably screwed over Elliot Champuman by showing his face. But he does pull this face. And he did pull it in like weird points. Oh my god. Look at him when he's got weird... This is like... You know, sometimes... It's normally like... Um, obviously someone with long hair comes back and they cut their hair short. I mean, imagine he comes home one day and he goes... Hello. And you're like, what have you done to your hair? And he's like... It's, don't, don't you like it? Don't you like it? And you know, you're like... I, 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 I do. I do. I've just... Uh, it's, 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 it's a lot. It's a change. It's a change. <laughs> Alright. Elliot Shampooman is gone. So. Next up we have... Sam. Now Sam is basically like a Super Saiyan. Sam is the second least most liked person in all of Stardew for people to marry. Sam is just a typical kid. He plays in a band... He's super cool. He's the only person who tried to kiss me before we were dating. He's like, hey, dude, can I have a kiss? Like, so that's Sam. Sam's like that. He's just a cool, rocking, innocent kind of dude. And he is fighting really, really, really tough competition. The third most popular person in Stardew, Abigail. Abigail, gamer girl. Abigail also eats diamonds and minerals and stuff. It's a bit of a meme. Um, she fights with swords. Oh my god. You can tell just by the sheer amount of fan art that there is here that Abigail is very well liked. On the thing though, Abigail is also who Arcasia wants to marry. So technically, if you vote for Abigail, you're also voting against poor Arcasia's love. But don't let that stop you. If you think that Abigail is the one for me, we'll make more friends. Arcasia, I'm sure, can find love somewhere else. This is Stardew Valley. You, you kind of have to do what you can. So there you go. Vote for Sam. I mean, I, honestly, if Sam beats Abigail, I'll be shocked. Sam is not a very popular character um, at all. I think this is going to be an easy poll. The poll is up, peeps. Get your votes in. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward. I think Abigail should, in theory, absolutely trounce Sam. I would imagine. But let's see. You never know. Goldie, you really are everywhere. Is that a um, Sin City reference there? Juice. You vote with Arcasia. Oh, sorry, no, no. Juice is actually talking to Goldie Snatch. So I don't know why. I thought we were doing a thing. The voice. Goldie does seem to be everywhere. Since 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 Goldie's been on my radar, I see Goldie everywhere I go as well. Ubiquitous Goldie. Goldie and you go way back to TwitchCon. Nice. I mean, Juice, is there anyone that you don't go way back to with TwitchCon? Wow, not even close. Yeah, this is a this is a wrecking. I don't even know if we... I mean, we'll leave it up for that, but yeah. Voting Sam for Acacia. Hmm. Golden juice? Golden juice, says Tyne. Yeah, man, it's only a matter of time. So yeah, I'm going to have to come see you at TwitchCon one day and you can get your, your hooks into me, Juice. Uh, thank you so much for the bits, Luna Sky. Young Pity voted uh, guy versus girl on a purpose, says Grex. Grex, I have no idea what you mean by that, dude. What are you saying? Some kind of force field blocking your path. How do you get in here? How do you get past this force field? 45 people that don't like me. No, Akeja, you can't go that route. <laughs> you can't go that route. 
Ugh. Some kind of force field blocking your path. Is there a way for me to get in there? Me voting for Sam, I've done my part. Starship Troopers meme. Okay, you should just be dunked to the punch. Yeah, there you go. Um, will not vote for it later. Don't worry, says Ryaka. We'll see. As I say, there's no ways they were going to ever beat, uh, I don't think Sam could ever beat Abigail. As I said, so she number three versus number 11. There's no, no, no chance here. Virtually no chance. Wasn't, wasn't going to happen. Oh, but she can, says Manathera. Go to the mountaintop where the pool is at. And then what? Sorry, I don't do, I don't do step-by-step -step instructions. Otherwise I go there and everyone goes, and then, and then, you know, sort of over. Check the statue of the puppy Buddha. Um, I don't know. Is there a... I don't think I've done this, peeps. I think this is the rock. That's it. Sam should have been versus Elliot? Why? Elliot was versus Harvey. Um, sorry, Sebastian was versus... Oh, no, sorry, Elliot. No, like I said, I just... I did seed it. I definitely didn't make it gender-based. I kind of find that sort of offensive. So I suppose making the guys versus the girls is a whole thing. Guy versus guy is better than versus girl. Um, I don't know, dude. I kind of mixed it up. So there's two, there's two. There's girl versus girl. And there was guy versus guy. The layer versus the uh, person. The Emily. And uh, the Sebastian versus the Harvey. Okay, it's with the wizard. There we go. Okay, so I don't think I've got the north. Hot enough. Yes, I didn't, I didn't do gender-based. I didn't want to. I don't think... I don't know. I don't think it really matters at the end of the day. So I don't quite understand the insinuations. I find them a little bit kind of almost offensive. So we won't go there. I think setting is so far favorites aren't versus other faves. Yep, that's, that's what it is. Not enough rep to start it. All right, holy moly. Abigail's absolutely trancing this. As I, said, I think Abigail's right up there for people who might vote for... I'd say other than Sebastian, I think Abigail's the person that most people have said they like. I'd probably then say Leia and then probably Penny. Doesn't matter in the end? Yeah, for sure. At receding, if you so you end up with the favorite ones anyway. Yeah, like I said, I just did it on a on a brief seeding thing. I actually wrote it like this on a piece of paper. You write all the people with their rankings, and then you basically just write them back down. Love our Twitch doesn't let me vote. Rinka talk are you on mobile on Android? Apparently there are problems that are going on. I'm sorry that you can't vote. I will tell you for free though that this particular round is extremely one-sided. Maru's going to win, you reckon? I don't know. It's going to be very exciting in the next round. Very, very, very exciting. Okay, I'm going to go through here. So, I think I must look at these things here. I need to kind of get a few of these. Pumpkins and corn, I think, are coming up soon. Then I can finish this. So, this is how I unlock next areas. I need one yam. I don't know when the hell we're going to get yams. I need either wool or goat's milk. I think we've got a goat now, so that should be pretty easy. Um, and then that's this whole thing done. Okay, then a walleye. I believe I've got to wait till next season for that. Okay, these are pretty easy once we get apples, which I think is next season. Um, sunflowers we've got now. Red cabbage and duck's feather. Okay, we've got own a duck though. So in theory, I don't know about the red cabbage. We'll see what happens there. So I think we're making... Okay, this doesn't look good. Pomegranate, rabbit's foot, wine, and oak resin. Uh-oh. Okay, this one's going to be tough. The oak resin I think is easy, but the rest of them... Honestly, honestly, no idea. This is how, so this is how we we'll unlock the new areas, yeah? Okay, I think that's that then. So we're pretty close, but also kind of far just on the one. I think the rest of them I should be able to get in fall. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, the interesting votes will be the winners of these rounds. Yeah, let's say round one will always be a bit of a throwaway. The thing I didn't want, and this is why, I, this is the reason why I seeded it, is you don't want like blowouts. I didn't, I didn't want like number one versus number two, and then it's super close, and then like literally just someone like wrecks all the way to the end. So that's basically the reason why I did it the way I did. The only reason I did it the way I did is just to, to try avoid that, you know? Um, it's close in the first round, and then it sucks. I'd rather have this kind of thing that happens now, where someone absolutely wrecks someone in the first round, and then at least the last rounds are close. 
Again, like I said, I'm doing it like they do tennis. I feel like the animal bundle should have been steak, chicken leg, duck, pancake, bacon. Sure. All right, peeps. The last of the first rounds is... I think this one's going to probably be pretty one-sided as well. It is sixth most favorite person in Stardew, Penny. Now, for anyone who doesn't know Penny, Penny is the sweetest, nicest person in the valley. The problem with Penny is Penny's kind of vanilla. Penny's really shy. Penny's kind of unsure of herself. She is Pam's daughter, so she does live in Pam's trailer. Um, she was the most sort of broken after I broke up with her. Um, but yeah, if there's anything sort of against Penny, it's kind of like Penny's just very sort of like reserved. And she'd just be like a really nice person. They would always treat you well and always, always be good to you. Um, but probably not, not, you know, huge amounts of fun to go out with on the town or anything like that. She never really does any of the pottering, diving endeavors or anything like that. And she is up against Alex who is the 10th most popular person in Stardew Valley, who is like the jock guy. Alex is the, he's always working out, and he's like, I'm going to be like the best football player in the world. And um, he does have a sad backstory. His mom did die. His dad was a, a dick. And because of that, he has, he has kind of uh, endeared himself to me a bit. But still, for the most part, as you can see by the fan art, he is the sort of sexy jock dude. So are we going to go for sweet kind penny or are we going to go for sexy super duper duper popular alex type character get your votes in as i do think this one will probably pretty one-sided as well but we shall see it would give you a lot of time near pam that is true penny would also give me a lot of time during to her mom you know hey sergeant striker how's it going how are you pam 2.0 oh no poor alex yeah i think alex might get trounced here Alex is the third least popular choice for anyone to marry in this game. The only unpopular choice it has so so far, if I look at it, the seeds actually it's been no, it's actually been quite even. So the seeds actually have you have had some people that you wouldn't expect to win, like Maru beating Elliot Champuman, is actually kind of unexpected. Other than that, um, and Harvey beating Sebastian is kind of rare. It's been good. Pam 2.0. Sure. Pam 2.0. Holy moly. Okay, this is a blowout of note. I do think Penny might be the favorite going into the entire thing. Maybe. I do, I do kind of get feelings like that. We'll see. All right. So the wild cards are going to be Emily and Sebastian. I can already tell where this one's going. So Sebastian and Emily are the two wild cards that are going to come in. Just so we can have a nice quarterfinals. Then we will have... Um, wow. It gets pretty, pretty insane here. So here's the people that are left. I must just figure out how to do this. So you have Harvey. So this is the, the, this is the quarterfinal. You've got Harvey. You've got Sebastian, who's wildcard. You've got Emily, who's wildcard. We've got Leia, we've got Haley, we've got Maru, Abigail, and Penny, unless something drastically changes here. So that's a that's a that's a pretty pretty insane spread there. I would say. I think people are heavily biased towards Penny because of Pam. <laughs> they could be. I mean she is Pam's daughter. You can't marry Harvey, they'll find you in this freezer. Brian the Gent, the problem is if I don't marry him, maybe they'll find me in this freezer. I feel like I'm I'm there. Sophia isn't in normal Stardew Valley. Who's Sophia? I think Maru had most uh, votes total. Uh, remember, we went more for who had closest to the next person. That's, that's what we went with. So the closest votes were Emily only lost by one, and Sebastian only lost by a few. I think six. So yeah, they're the closest. What about Shane? Shane's gone. Haley trounced Shane. Ellie Trout Shane, I'm afraid. No, no Shane for us. Okay, let's see. So we'll have two. I guess, I, I don't actually know if it matters anymore with the seeding. Just because I suppose we've got our own seeding in here. So we can kind of randomly do those ones. My favorites are Haley and Penny for this, not going to lie. We'll see. Haley, Haley's in there with a shout. 
Okay. Oof, I don't even know where to put you to put you against now. I mean, you got like, like I mean, you got like a Leia versus a Haley or a Leia versus an Abby or an Abby versus a Maru or a Penny versus a Harvey. It's insane. So it will be Sebastian versus Emily. Though that'll be the wild card round. I was hoping for Shane, but he's out. Yeah, Shane's gone. No more Shane for us. So who's won so far? Ferret, all the things. If you take a look at my message there at the top, I write, I wrote all of them. Uh, that's that's the final eight. That's the uh, quarterfinals. That's who it is. Yeah, I think Arcasia's AFK. For anyone who's just joined and doesn't know what's going on, we're busy voting for my love life in Stardew Valley. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to vote for my love life and see who is number one. Okay, have you also taken a look-see at these um, community centers? Have you also taken a look-see at some of these things? Sorry, I'm so... It's a bit late in the season for me to take a look-see. I kind of did drive it. I don't really know about all of them. I don't know if you've also sort of taken a look-see at what should go where. Jane deserves better than Dunk anyway. Oh, wow. I mean, maybe people are voting along those lines. Elliot Shampooman, is, his hair is far too good for Dunk's hair. I don't know. How many options can you put up? Yeah, but we're doing Battle Royale here. So you can put up five, but um, I'd hate to do it in one poll. I think, I think it's better to have the matchups here. You work on gold corn throughout the fall if needed. Okay, and the other things, you, like Yam, Yam's pretty damn hard. All right, Penny is absolutely trounced this. Okay. Oof, I don't even know who to match up here. Should I? Okay, here's the next thing. Do you put the wild cards up against one another? Or do you put them up against other people? What do we think's fair? Because if we put the wild cards up against each other, one of them is guaranteed to make it to the next round. Which is kind of... I don't know. It's the next season for Yams. It should all be random. Each other. Yes, wild cards play off each other. Okay, you can reseed based on original ranking. I mean, I've got the original rankings again, but... I mean, they didn't really hold true. So I don't know. Just names from a hat. Generally, they get seeded against other players, not other wild cards. Yeah, I'm also thinking like, because wild cards, otherwise it's sort of against each other. All right, I think, screw this. The fates will decide. We're going to get a dice. We're going to get an eight-sided dice. And I'm going to roll it till we get matchups, okay? That's what we're going to do. All right, first up we have number three. That is on my list, Emily. Emily versus number four, Leia. Leia versus Emily. Okay, don't 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 do the poll just yet. Can someone just write this down? One of the mods. Okay, and I gotta take a six-sided dice. Okay, so Emily versus Leia. That's a that's a tough one. Okay, then we have. Number one, that's Harvey. We got Harvey versus Sebastian. Okay, Harvey versus Sebastian. Four sided dice. Hey, these DD dice are really coming into, into their own. Uh -oh. Okay, we got the second one there. Is anyone else as excited as I am to know who who all is going to marry who? Okay, then we have Penny versus Haley, and then Maru versus Abby. That Maru versus Abby one feels feels real. That one feels pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. That one feels like. This is indeed great content. I don't know. This oof, that last one seems I feel I feel like that one that one's gonna that one's gonna dump someone hard. I'd, I'd say that's that that's two of the favorites up against each other right there. Alright. Okay, Leia versus Emily. For anyone who doesn't know who we're looking at, this is it. We're trying to get your streamer into a relationship here. So Emily versus Leia. So first up, we got Leia over here. For anyone who doesn't know Leia. Leia is just sweet, kind artist who um, does have a bit of a, a mean streak to her. She has attacked me with a hammer before. Um, she does like nature. She likes drawing. And yeah, very, very pretty. Then we have her versus Emily, who is 
sort of like an earth child, very spiritual. Um, she had like dreams about me. She like believes in like the healing energy of stones. And um, she thinks that plants can talk to her. And yeah, she, she is the person that I lost my star duinity to. So that's who you're voting for. Leia versus Emily. Hello. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Um, crystals. Yes. Crystals. All of that. So you're going to get your votes for, for anyone who doesn't know what's happening, you're voting for who I'm going to marry here. We have Leia versus Emily. This is going to be a tricky one. Holy moly. I would think, I would think that Leia would take this, but oof, it's actually closer than I thought. Holy moly. She's the witch of Stardew. Yes, she's got like a very like sort of spiritual energy to her. So if anyone who's just joined us, we have, um, I've basically whittled it down. I have romanced everyone in the valley. Um, I have had the girls all break up with me and then, um, give me the cold shoulder. I currently have all the boys giving me the cold shoulder as well. None of them want to know me anymore. So, so that's a thing. Um, not, not ideal. And, uh, we're busy pairing them off. And currently we have... Harvey, Sebastian, Emily, Leia, Haley, Maru, Abby, and Penny through to the final round. Who's it going to be? And we are playing them off sort of on the, the way that we've experienced them during this playthrough. This is horrifying. Ringatorth, how so? She's not the witch. Uh, she, the crystal Ezo girl asking for your birth sign. Huge red flag. As I say, you know, I don't, I don't judge. I mean, I, I, I think she's the only person I've, I've stardewed with, you know? I... I don't know what to say. I mean, I was in a tent with her and there was a bear outside. So I think I think she did take my star duinity. So there'll always be that. Emily will always have that going for her. You know? Raven, how's it going? Is there a clip of the boys' intervention? No, just today. They they literally still aren't talking to me. Okay, I'm supposed to be killing bugs while I'm doing this. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be multitasking. While I'm while we're looking for love, I'm supposed to be like obtaining bug meat. It's supposed to be a whole thing. Are you forgetting you snuggled with Sam in bed too? Yeah, but Sam, I don't know, Sam, Sam's just a class, Sam reminds me of like classic, like just dude. He's like, hey, can I have a kiss and come, like, I don't know, he did, it wasn't like sort of, uh, I don't know what happened there. I suppose maybe, maybe, I don't know. I feel like his mom was in the next room, I don't, I don't know what the heck we did there. I choose violence, chasing me around with a hammer. Yeah, Leia, Leia did chase me around with a hammer. Sam is too manly for Dunk. He's too typically manly for me. <laughs> That's all. Uh, or whatever people say there, you know. Okay. I've also forgotten to offload my crap, so I actually have too much stuff in my bag for the caves. Damn it. It's just too much, too much action going on with the dating competition. Okay. That should... I also don't need all this food. Um, pop you away, the fishing food. In fact, I'll keep some sashimi, nothing else. This, I will pop another day. I must just go put this in a river. Oh, damn it, you know, it's classic Stardew, right? There's always just something to do. I need to get this. Oh, man. Bloody Stardew. What did you do with the portable sail trunk? Um, it's around somewhere. It's in one of the chests. For sure. Okay, I'll that in there, I don't need that. Rice shoot. What's the first, second opinion of current poll since I'm not working on my mobile? Um, Leia's currently winning is number one and Emily's number two. Leia's winning with 57% to Emily's 43. Poor, poor, poor. Emily might be tumbling out for a second time. Emily is wild card. Managed to get uh, back in through that. Okay, you in there. Okay. Even this field snack, I can just eat it. Uh, oh, yes, here it is. There's the little sales box. Ooh, 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 wee, it's close, though. It's getting close. Emily's making a comeback. Peeps, do vote for who you think I should marry. So, yeah, so, so far we've done voices. So, so like, Emily's like this. Emily's like, hey, Dunkstar. Like, like, I dreamt about you last night. And, like, I really, like, just want you to know that we're, like, super spiritual and I think that you, like, don't dress appropriately. Like, like you should live, like, your real life. Like, you should dress like what you want to dress. Like, that's, like, your Emily style. And Leia's just kind of... Leia did attack me with a hammer. 
That did happen. I tried to kiss Leia because you people said I should, and she, atta she attacked me with a hammer. So we've got that as a history. I also did punch her boyfriend because you people told me to be aggressive. So, so that's what it is. Oh, Acacia, I actually rolled. Sorry, you're actually right. This matchup happened. Sorry, I actually forgot about that. I, um, we just rolled. We rolled the dice. It's completely random, Keja. So... Insane. But it actually looks like Leia's making sort of swifter work of her this time. Getting Duncan in a rush relationship? I wouldn't say that. I have been looking for love in the valley for a few stream days now. Yep, the dice have spoken. Yeah, I didn't even stop to think about that. But yeah, the dice, I mean, the, the fates have spoken. And I think Emily, more than anyone else, would agree with that. So, yeah. Oh, rough relationship. Okay. <laughs> what year is this? This is year two. I'm just busy collecting bug meat. D&D strikes fear in chat's hearts once again. It's true, right? Uh, thanks for the follows, folks. I appreciate them. And who's just joined? I know it's a bit of sort of a different kind of playthrough. Um, I mean, I have been playing it sort of... Ooh. Oh, no, no. This is what she needs. Um, but yeah, I just decided to do this reality show because I can't decide who to love. I can't, I can't do it. I'm outsourcing it. It's the way the internet should be. I'd like to live my life this way. I don't know if I should ever do a Twitch stream where all of you vote for what I should eat and what I should wear and what I should say. But that's what we're doing for my love life, right? Why not? And how are you, Aria? How's it going? Squishy, squishy bug meat. Who's your plan B? Oh my god. Big Boss, I think Acacia is going to try and lobby against that. Uh, where am I from? Uh, I'm from South Africa of all strange places. It's quite a difficult uh, accent to place. Because there are 11 official languages here. So, yeah, I've got a, I sound like a particular dialect of South African. Um, someone who might sound like me, uh, I guess kind of like Trevor Noah, the talk show host. He does like the daily show. I guess kind of has a similar accent to me. He is from here. You also speak Dutch, so I don't speak Dutch, but um, there is a derivative of Dutch called Afrikaans, which um, I speak, but I speak it terribly. Really, really terribly. Um, I can, I can, like, understand, like, quite a lot of Dutch, I guess. D Dutch is different to Afrikaans, though, so... I'll be able to, like, piece, like, words and stuff and say, Oh, yeah, that probably means this, 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 this. But, yeah, that's it. And sorry, peeps, that's not an invitation to put Dutch in the chat. Uh, my moderators can only moderate in English. So, yeah, they'll delete your message if it comes through. Not not because we don't think you're doing nice stuff, but you can imagine how the internet is. It could be something horrific. Someone goes, <laughs> This Dutch forgot now. All good, all good. So yeah, that's it. How are you gonna uh, woo someone to marrying you if they all hate you? Um, they are going to forgive me. The ladies forgave me, so I'm assuming the men are gonna forgive me, right? I hope so. Polls almost over, peeps. It's really close. Get your votes in if you haven't. It does look like Leia's gonna shade this one though. It looks like Leia is going through to the next round. Sorry, Emily. And yeah, beaten by Leia again. That kind of does make sense. Um. But man, it was, only, it was only one vote difference last time, so I guess people have solidified their opinions. What if they don't? Well, you know, then I can always move in. Apparently my backup plan, if no one will have me, is um, I can apparently move in with like a shadow man. His name's Krobus. He like lives in the sewers and he's a man made of shadow. He absolutely stinks because, again, he lives in the sewer. But yeah, if, if no one will have me, I will go be a sewer dweller. I'll go live with the Ninja Turtles and Krobus. So yeah. That's 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 what we'll do. Krobus, Krobus is the sort of bachelor backup. We'll just be like bachelor bros and you know, we'll play PlayStation and drink shadow beer and eat void mayonnaise. It's gonna it's gonna be fantastic. Krobus is the only one left who hasn't tried to roommate with you. I mean I I think Krobus is zero hearts out of me. I only got him later on, so I know I know he loves this mayonnaise I've got, so that's that's all I have going for me. Nothing wrong with the mean age turd and teetle needles. It's true. Okay, let's see how this quest is looking. 11 out of 100 bugs in five days. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. I might have got distracted with all my, my wooage, you know? All, all my love finding. 
Mad Mike, dude. How are you? I can... Mad Mike, this is no way to make a comeback. Mad Mike. <laughs> Mad Mike's like, I just have to get that out of my system. How are you, dude? How you been? I know it wasn't that long since we saw you, but it feels like forever. Because, you know, holy moly, Mad Mike. A staple in the channel. One for each day I missed. How are you, buddy? Holy moly, have you been okay? So good to see you. Peeps, it's Mad Mike. Mad Mike is here. Hey, Mike of the Mad? Yeah. Well, he is mad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Leia has defeated Emily for the second time. Sorry, Emily. It's just not for you. All right. Next up, I think I'm safe in this mine, and I think time is paused. Yeah. Okay. All right. Who's the next, who's the next person on the list there? Mods? All right. In our next matchup for Dunk's Heart, who, who does streamer marry? Let's see who it's going to be. Okay, I'm going to be honest now that she's gone for good. Emily, I like Emily. I bumped uglies with Emily or whatever the term is. Um, but Emily is probably not a good fit for me, you know? Like, I, you know, she. I'm sure she'd be very fun, but I can also imagine just her, like, sometimes I can imagine when things get serious and, you know, we're talking like, you know, like real life things like bills and just be like, dude, like, she's going to live your life. And I'll be like, I kind of need to pay the bills. Emily, and she'll be like, no, it's okay, it's okay, we can live off my kombucha, and I'll be like, ah, so, yeah, probably, probably not, um, probably not for me, you know, is this the second rematch of the same two together, yeah, I did dice, I did, um, she was a wild card, and I did dice it randomly, so, they just came up against one another, all right, wait a second, wait, Harvey and Sebastian are again, wait, both of them, <laughs> well, they were the closest matchups, Okay, I mean, peeps, the dice have spoken. The dice, the dice. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that was happening. Well, peeps, I mean, the dice have spoken, right? What can we do? All right, crashing dead. Just chill out, Dunk. Let's just go to the tent. Yeah, yeah, peeps, the dice have spoken. Holy moly, I didn't even realize that was it. Peeps will blame the dice. These bloody Dungeons and Dragons dice. It's it's a thing. No, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. The dice are stalling. I mean, we kind of, listen, all that this actually does is it does actually, um, allow us to, uh, be able to do a proper quarterfinal. So, you know, that, that's what it is. So technically, it just, yeah, it just, it, it gave the buy, it gave a buy then to the two people, which technically is fine as well, since they did it. You know the results of these matches from the first time? I know, but what do you want me to say? Sometimes people come back. I mean, you know, you say that, Brother Wolf, but think about sport, dude. Think about sport. Sometimes a team beats another team, and then they verse each other, and then they win again. So who knows? I'm almost... Okay, I mean, let's do it. I almost feel like we want Sebastian to beat Harvey now, just because it'll show the naysayers that the dice know what they're doing, you know? All right. So here's the matchup for the, the first time since the first time. Uh, we've got Sebastian, who is the number one dated person in all of Stardew. He is the single most popular person that there is in Stardew. And he's emo, he smokes cigarettes, he rides around on a motorcycle, and he's just kind of like a cool dude who chills in his room. And then we've got Harvey, who in our particular playthrough we have decided is a serial killer. He sits there and he listens for aircraft, like so. And uh, as you can see, he's, he's quite dashing, and he often says that he has patient's lives in his hands. You don't know what it's like having a mortal life between, beneath your fingers. That's Harvey. Harvey's a serial killer. And he really likes coffee. I managed to find my way into his heart using coffee. So there it is. Get the pole up. So who's it going to be? It's going to be Emo Sam. Sam, I smoke cigarettes. I like to ride around my motorcycle. I like to play games and all that. Or is it going to be Harvey? Harvey the doctor, you see. Quite suave and sophisticated. Cool. Cool? And again, the single most popular person in all of Stardew. So who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Uh, Harvey has already beaten Sebastian. I'm sorry, peeps. The dice are the dice. You peeps can sigh all you want and be as disappointed as you want. The gods have spoken. Fates have decided. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. They did it. Luck, luck said this is the way it is. Luck be a lady. Holy moly. All right, I don't think Sebastian's going to be defeating Harvey this day. Unless, Harvey's much cooler imagined as a serial killer, 
Do you believe that, so kind? I would like to turn you into a form of chowder. Delicious. Harvey looks like the character from Metal Gear Solid. Otacon! Otacon didn't have a moustache, though. Get Kratos on the line? Boy! What, are you saying, like, defy the fates? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Honestly, like, if you people don't like, like, the, the odds and stuff, I'm with occasion. Like, this is literally, like, a Kratos-level intervention. Like, you literally have to challenge, like, the fates themselves. I can't. I, I just rolled the dice. It was what it was. You know? Harvey looks like Harvey from Stargy Valley. Apparently, he looks like... So, we've actually got a viewer in here. And Harvey apparently looks exactly like her husband. And um, since I made him a serial killer, she's like, Oh, my God! But apparently she said her husband does the same creepy voice. So she's like, no, this is too weird. He just goes, hello, Rickster. How are you? Tries to, like, freak her out sometimes. So, yeah, it's like a double a double freak out that we've done that. Mad Mike, you're welcome, dude. I'm, I always got your back, dude. The heck is going on? Harvey being seven a pole? Lady Safine, I don't know what to tell you, hey? It's it's basically, it's it's this playthrough specific. So, Lady Safine, you are right. Um, I did actually look up a survey of who the most popular lovers are in Stardew Valley. It was a survey of 7,000 Stardew players, which I think is a pretty good sample. And uh, Sebastian is apparently the single most dated person, followed by Leia, followed by Abigail. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's how that works. How are you doing, Lady Safine? Nice to see ya. So, yeah. Uh, get your votes in if you haven't, peeps. Manage my love life. This looks like a pretty one-sided poll so far. Harvey Stardew's Dexter. Yes, for my particular playthrough, he totally is. Can't believe that we got the same matchups, though. It's pretty insane. Pretty, pretty, pretty insane. But again, I don't think... You know, ultimately, it shouldn't... None of this should actually matter. It should just be the person who's going to win is going to win. Who does everyone think is going to win? Type the name that you think is going to win overall. What's my favorite color? Uh, historically, always purple, huh? Because, But that's just because Donatello was my favorite Ninja Turtle, so... You know. But now that I'm older, Donatello is no longer my favorite Ninja Turtle. And... I don't know. I don't know if I should betray my prior new color or my prior favorite color or come up with something new. You think Maru, Maru, Penny? Um... Track's about right. We chose the crazy lady with the hammer and the town killer for our streamer. Brian, you have been auto-modded for that message. Just so you know. I see it, though. You say, Michelangelo, we're done. <laughs> what? I would never. Purple's nice. My favorite's... Uh, oh, for now. No, no. Honestly, older dunk. It's just because I'm old now and I'm, like, responsible and... Like, honestly, he, he he's the most level and he fights the best. So, like, I changed from Donatella to Leonardo. Leonardo's the best now, obviously. He's got cool swords, like dual-wielding katanas. Like, what the hell was Young Dunk thinking about going for a guy with a bow? But what the heck, man? So, yeah, no, I, I switched to Team Leonardo. What can, what can I say? He, he, he more sort of echoes where I am in life, you know? <laughs> Should I put Arcasia versus Timeless? Listen, we can, but then we... i I not even going to bother with that, because then I know who's going to win. None of the poor NPCs stand a chance. Dunks likes the rough ones. Eh. Raph is the best fighter depending on the shot. Yeah, I know, but uh, Leonardo can defeat him. Like, those two are the best two fighters, right? And Raph is just like brute force, but Leonardo can like, you know, out, like he can be calmer in the fight and defeat him through some sort of mechanism like that. You, you see what I'm saying? He could be like, no, dude, you, you, you exerted your energy too fast. And he'd be like, oh, you know. Are the votes over? No, it's defense. We're still going on. It's currently Harvey versus Sebastian again. The wild cards came back in and the um, the gods basically <laughs> put them up against one another. So that's it. So yeah, the quarterfinals. It's currently the quarterfinals for Streamer Heart. Okay, this is not 23 bugs. Five days. I actually think I can do this. I just have to work really hard. Keisha, are you going to help kill... I suppose you don't... If you've got other things to do, this doesn't really matter if we fail this, huh? I guess. All right, I think... I mean, unless someone wants to, like, get poor Sebastian. I think he's out again. I think Sebastian's on his butt again. I've got five gold corn for you to complete the bundle. Cool. I like that, Keisha. 
you can help. I mean, you don't have to, it's fine. I mean, it's just kind of like a bit of a mundane quest. Oh, let's come, little bees. If I stay here, do they arrive? I don't even think those grubs count. Yeah, I don't think those grubs count, eh? Or the bee didn't. Actually, I don't know. That'll be Timey that it win, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure Timus would just win. And if not, Timus in Arcasia. Also, I'd really like the... I think I'd prefer, like, cutscenes, if that makes any sense. Uh-oh. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Home time, I guess. I'm tired. Bees can drop meat. Okay, so the bees can't drop. They just don't necessarily. Okay. Sorry, it's the meat that counts, not the kill. I actually wasn't paying attention. Alrighty. Um, I think... I think this... I think this poor one's done... I think poor Sebastian is ride the track. Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. It's it's fine. I'm taking a midnight stroll. I'm getting my step count up, you know? Sometimes you gotta take the longer road. It's better. Just end it. Um I mean we can leave. I guess I'm probably gonna go for a stretch break now anyway, so we I suppose let's just leave it. Alright. When we are back, though, I'm going to go for a quick stretch break. If you are enjoying yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do think about dropping a follow. Um, who's up next, mods? Who's going to be after this matchup? Okay, so through to the semifinals is Leia. Leia is through to the semifinals. Leia's into the final four. Okay. Can we ban dice for the redos? Uh, no, because it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine as this, there, there can't be any duplicates because everyone's won except for these two. Okay, next up is Penny versus Haley. It's going to be a tough one. Haley absolutely cleaned up house before. We're going to have to wait and see. Okay, seems like Seabass is probably out. Okay, folks, I'm going to go for a stretch break, though. Uh, maybe Sebastian could make a comeback. I don't know. Maybe I come back and everyone's like, oh, my God, you missed it. It was a raid and the, all the people that were on the raid, it was literally like a raid of Sebastian lovers. And they're all like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, Sebastian's losing. And Sebastian landed up winning by 10,000 votes. So there we go. All right, peeps, I'll be back in just a moment. I'll show off the two contestants and we'll get voted. Stay tuned. <laughs> yes. Oh, success. Faster. I can run. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. I think I'll get there faster by walking, I'm afraid. <laughs> we'll see. I found the bad guy! I found the bad guy, Timeless! Oh, I see him too! Oh, what a hero! Go and let her! Take him out! <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you had two people on that ship, you'd have access to missiles. I was gonna turn around, I was gonna turn around. I was obviously gonna come back for you, Timeless. It was all, it was all part of an elaborate joke. Somehow I feel like I don't believe you. <laughs> it was all part of an elaborate joke, Timeless. Go, Ladder! I'm rooting for Ladder. His name's Ladder! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting a ladder. Oh, I see a missile coming for you. <laughs> Did he hit Another me? Missile. Another missile. <laughs> All day, dude. Light up the sky. <laughs> How many missiles does he have? <laughs> well, if he has as many missiles as us, lots. I'm actually sorry. Some of you might need to move on to other channels after hearing what I'm about to say, but I'm a bad boy now. I know a lot of you already knew that this was the case, but I'm officially a bad boy now. People look at me and they think that man is dangerous. That man has what it takes to be hardcore. That man is a bad, bad boy. Man. Oh. Almost jumped into the bed. <laughs> Do you know the new code? You know, I, I got, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. Oh, 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 one. Oh. Hold on, we're gonna wait for it. Oh, 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 two. 
How many more combinations do you think? Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Okay, last time my leg was broken, but I mean, I can tell you for free, I just could not make this jump last time. You just run straight forward, aim for the ledge, um, jump. There we go. <laughs> 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 that pleases you, does it? It does. Who laughs at another man's blunder? All right, thanks. Uh, hold still. I'm on sixty-two percent. No, man, I'm I'm not a ninny. I sixty-two percent. I walk it off, dude. When I'm on thirty <laughs> percent. No, we're doing this. Come towards me. I want an injection, peeps. I really don't like needles. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to look. Just All stick right. it in. Just stick it I in. Can't put it. I'm trying to put it in, but. It not going in. Just get it in, timeless. Oh, there. Okay, it's in. Oh! It didn't heal me at all. Wait, what? It didn't work. You stabbed me with an empty pen. You <laughs> sack <of> crap. <laughs> all right. No, I'm going to hit the cliff again. Ah! It's so annoying! <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we can start again, Timeless. I only have 20 credits, so I can buy roast chicken bar. That's it. All right, here we go. Wait, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Stupid bloody machine. This will be the thing I will miss the least from prison. <laughs> no! I don't mind. I, you know what? I don't mind being incarcerated. I don't even mind the beatings. This particular machine, though. This, this is this is what gets me. I will have my roast chicken bar. They're all there. They're all. Remember, timeless. Nah. I need you to put money into this machine for me, timeless. <laughs> <laughs> put money in the machine now. Hey, welcome to prison, where even the vending machines are criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on, I got on. this. I got it. I got this this time. Okay, roast chicken bar by Hey, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I have literally out of money, dude. I, I I can't have another chicken bar. I am so full right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry folks. Um do I look moist? I had to go outside, it was dripping with rain, um, delivery lady was here, I had to go get a package. Um, I mean it's good timing from the brakes perspective, but yeah, um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit wet, I don't know if you can see on the shirt, there are little water droplets all over me. Um, you do not? Okay, I mean I kind of like towel dried my hair a little bit, it seems, it seems okay. Delivery girl made you moist? No. <laughs> How is she? It was a different... It's not the same person. For anyone who doesn't know, there's a meme that apparently I'm dating a delivery girl. Um, it's just a delivery lady. Yeah, a delivery girl's back. It was a different thing. And Mad Mike, thank you for the gifted sub showing that you like me to be away. Everyone says I look young. Playthrough of what? What's everyone talking about? It is pouring. Yeah, it's wet, peeps. I'm wet and cold. Ooh. Did you get a package? I did get a package. Amazon lady making it onto pole for dunks to marry. <laughs> Believe it or not, Brian, we don't get Amazon where I am. It should be coming this year. That's uh, no Amazon. Can you believe it? No, no, no Jeff Bezos in these parts. Twitch is the best you get. Think of a star citizen? Ah, gotcha. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, I assume that Harvey won, huh? Is that is that right? I'm, I'm assuming that Harvey is the winner. So for anyone who's just joined or anyone who doesn't know what we're doing... We are busy voting for who I am going to marry in Stardew Valley. It's very exciting. It's very um, invigorating. And um, I don't know. I'm putting my love life in all of your hands. So next up is a toughie. Both of these people absolutely tranced their prior opponents. First up, we have Haley. Now, Haley is sort of like the popular girl in the valley. She's probably... Um, the prom queen in the valley she did win some sort of competition she said she is the type of person that takes selfies and she's all like oh my god um but she has kind of come out of her shell a little bit and uh, as an example she like asked me to like take her to the farm 
and she rode a cow and the cow like bucked her off and she landed in cow poo and instead of like freaking out she was cool with it i think this image more than any other pretty much shows what Haley will probably be like as a wife Haley is obviously beautiful uh but she would be one of those people who'd be like selfieing by the cornfields nothing wrong against that lots of people take selfies so that's that that's pretty much Haley in a nutshell here's Haley in the game Haley is up against sweet girl penny now penny is very reserved penny is very sweet and kind and she's a school teacher and she's very nice and she's always there reading her books and teaching the kids and doing all that stuff there's her in the game um she also seemed the most sad of all the girls when i was dating everyone uh she seemed the most heartbroken however the downsides of penny and i'm trying to i'm trying to be like even here the downsides of penny is penny is probably quite vanilla penny i'm probably not gonna have the most fun with or anything penny would be like really sweet and kind and would be on the farm and would help out with the chores and stuff but she's also kind of like quite shy and quite reserved and you know i don't know i don't know that with a chatty with a chatty person like me i don't know so Haley could potentially be more fun but Haley could also Haley's also kind of lazy so Haley's going to be one of those she doesn't do chores and stuff so Haley will be like oh and i'll be like working the farm single-handedly well i'd be single-handedly telling occasion what to do you know what i'm saying so like Haley won't even be there to tell occasion what to do with me you know she won't delegate with me so that's that's it so you can't have it all yeah you can't so those are the two options i think this is going to be a close one unless it isn't <laughs> i think it's either going to be neck and neck or i think one of them might trans the other one let's get it on let's get it on the quarterfinal number two Haley versus penny who's it gonna be who's it gonna be holy moly hey stegzy how's it going okay this is very very exciting who's gonna win all right it is kind of going in what i thought option b would be which it's not so close and it's quite one-sided um i didn't want to say which person i thought of but i think you all could have guessed uh holy moly okay although although maybe all the people that like Haley or the people who are kind of tardy they're like yeah i'll vote at the end of the poll you know like i don't want to vote at the beginning of the poll like i'll vote at the end you know i think i can do that maybe maybe that's how it works i don't know how are you today i'm doing good stigs i'm just a bit cold though i was just literally standing in the rain uh i had to go get a package so <laughs> you peeps see your streamer like shaking a little bit i actually am pretty cold now <laughs> uh but with penny pam will visit you more that is true penny is also the daughter of my the lady that i originally wanted who is pam so yeah okay uh, you did it uh last few days before your wedding yeah big day soon stagsy nice 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 very exciting i hope you got all your planning done i figured penny would dominate i still went with Haley though i figure no second class pams fair enough okay this is looking pretty one-sided folks get your votes in if you haven't uh penny is trouncing for Haley at the moment who would have thunk it huh who would have thunk very very exciting the next matchup for anyone who doesn't know which is going to be pretty insane is now who was it it was leia oh they're already through who am i missing here who's through one two one two three but i muck it up is it only maru versus abby sorry one winner two winner oh yes three winner okay then it'll be number four so maru yeah sorry maru versus abby this is gonna be a tough one maru versus abigail yeah sorry that's the fourth spot maru versus abigail that's gonna be pretty 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 insane holy crap um i wouldn't want to bet on that one who does everyone think is gonna win in that particular poll holy moly holy moly gingers are your fave can't we just build a penny a very nice house and call her done i mean we could <laughs> Okay, uh, Keisha, where's these things you want me to hand in? Where should I get them? Half my keyboard are missing their letters. It's a problem. I uh, said my WASD keys have uh, come off. You clearly just... I don't ever type, you know? Well, not a lot. You know, I don't do like work levels of typing, which you do. 
I'm I am gamer, so WASD keys are worn. The rest of them are like fine. That's what it is. All right, peeps. If you have any love for Haley, now's the time to vote. Get in your votes to see who you think is going to to win this, or who you would like to see me marry. Otherwise, it looks like Penny's pretty much got this one. It does make a lot of sense. Kasia, where were these things that you? Okay, I don't know if Kasia's around. Kasia wanted me to finish the community bundle. Maybe I'll stick around here. Sergeant Striker married Haley, so Sergeant Striker's voting for Penny because they're like, stay away from my Haley. Sergeant Striker, are you happy? Are you happy there? I'm missing Zabalabaloik. Did you know what those things were before you, you clicked them? Alright, so if anyone who doesn't know, Ferret is a cow. Kath is a cow. So Uncle's a chicken. Chessie's a chicken. Kershi's the goat. Ooh, goat milk. Yeah. Bah! I will accept this with love. Bim, bum, bum. Okay, Keiji, you might have to give me all this corn, hey? I think corn might be better to put in a box, eh? Hey? Or is it only five? I think because it's the golden corn, it might only be five. Keiji, your corn is attracting chickens and goats. Thank you, Keiji. Man, this music's a bop, huh? Sim, do, do the emote. My numbers weren't aware of those since they're not printed on either. She never look on the keyboard when I type. There we go. Well, Kit, that's good. I I mean, I've been typing my whole life. I really should be better at it, you'd think. There you go. Sergeant Striker, Tyne. <laughs> not that emote, Sim. Your doggo that you always put. Not that big. Oh my god. Alright, for anyone who missed it, I had an intervention. Uh, none of the women were talking to me. And then none of the men were talking to me. It's the problem when you date everyone in the valley. Oh my goodness, see him. That's not correct. Not correct. You know what you're doing. Hmm. Mm. And inside that mystery box was two more mystery boxes. This is making my problem worse, Clint. <laughs> it's like the Russian nesting dolls of mystery boxes. Ooh, this is actually something that needs to go into the community center. It was one of the rare ones. Ooh. Okay, no more hardwood, dude. I need... Give me some more rare stuff. Bubbling. Bubbling. Okay, mountain warp tool. I don't know if I'm ever actually going to use those things. My parents made me do a typing class, hated. Nah, uh, they were right. Yeah, I think, I mean, honestly, like typing is a serious skill. I probably should have done a typing course myself. I mean, I kind of know where the, everything is on the keyboard, but I still look at the keyboard and I'm not particularly quick. So yeah, I think, I think that might have been a good idea. All right, peeps. Holy moly. Penny, for anyone who's just joined, there is a poll that's up. You need to vote for who I am going to marry. It is currently the uh, third of the quarterfinals. Holy moly. Uh, Sakura says, dunk a word. I must say, as I'm sure others have said, your stream, your chat community, and yes, even Timmy or Tammy. Serious note, I don't say it often to too many streamers or at all, as sometimes it can be quite cringe. Yeah, this is the most welcome stream and honesty, one of the best communities around, and yourself, an amazing dude. Keep what you're doing. Thank you, buddy. Honestly, um, I know what you're saying with the stereotypicalness of it. I really do appreciate the kind words, and um, I'm very glad that you say that. I honestly, 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 I don't want to sound like a, a fool, but it is my greatest, greatest, greatest times of my life being on the stream, hanging out with all you peeps, and thank you so much for allowing me to do it. I don't know if you saw the thing. I had a stream the other day with the CEO from Twitch. And I explained my life before streaming. Um, it's it's absolutely incredible. Thank you all so much for honestly allowing me to to do what I absolutely enjoy and love to my core. And I'm just a far sort of m more well-rounded, happier human being. Far poorer, but I really don't care. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure streaming with all of you. So thank you for the kind words. And I do agree with what you're saying about the community. When I first started streaming, I must be honest, it does take a while to sort of get a community that resonates with you and um 
yeah, I mean, for a little while, it took us a while to really find our people. But once we did, seriously, these people all really reinforcing. They all popped on and, yeah, all, all the people that really fit in come and stay and it's absolutely fantastic. Really, really incredible. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Yeah, all, all, all the love to you, buddy. So thought on the typos. Louis Lamar wrote over 100 novels and 250 short stories, but always had uh, used the hunt and peck way to type. Manithir, I hear you that, but I mean, Louis L'Amour could have written 500 novels and 2,500 short stories had he been quicker. Who knows how much, uh, how many stories he had left in his head by the time he died. He's like, only I could... Uh, you make us richer with your streams, says Lunas. Honestly, peeps, you're, you're all amazing. Thank you for that. I, I do appreciate it. I promise I won't let it go to my head. Um, also, as I say to you, peeps, a stream is actually a scheme. It really is. I actually am just a conduit. I just read out all your messages out loud and filter them to everyone else. Much love to Yeah, all of you. Incredible. Thank you for that. And I mean it, you know. That's the other thing I like about this place. You know, I, Twitch to me is I don't, like, I always say this. If you go on, like, Twitch's website or their Twitter, this is the good thing about the, the website, but I feel like we are a very niche kind of group. Like, when I look at, like, the main marketing and stuff... I don't gel with most of the people. I'm not the yeet poggies, let's go boys kind of culture. And um, again, I understand that's the more popular culture that appeals to most people. And that's fantastic. Like, you know, they, they have those places on Twitch where they can do that. But um, yeah, this is to me a really awesome place that I, fit, I think fits most of our deals and the things that we like to talk about and the way we like to do things. And yeah, I think it's really, really awesome that that, that happens. And it, it is it is a special thing. To, to be able to have people find us in this corner of the internet, uh, especially people who have so much in common and are so awesome. All right, Penny has defeated Haley. Sorry, Haley. Sorry, Haley. You tried hard. She really did. You're honestly one of the best streamers I've come across. I'm glad to be as much as I can be and be able to enjoy all the laughs together. Thank you. That's cool. And also, whatever people get you. So some people call this, like, so some people don't even know that the stream's meant to be funny. <laughs> I always love that. It's because my humor's quite dry. So often I say something, but I don't, I don't know. I don't laugh at it. So some people don't know. But I, I, I do try to make it humorous from time to time. Uh, but the dry, the, the, the dry nature, particularly people, you know, some people don't speak English first language. It's like, what? No, oh, man, that, what? Funny. No, never. That stream, no. No, not really. They're just more people. Doesn't mean it's popular. Uh, fair enough. Dunk was never the same after his pog got yeeted. It's true, Dan of Dan's. I struggled ever since that happened. You do try to be funny? Hmm, never noticed. No, but I don't, it's, it's, it's dry, so no one notices. That's, that's what makes it funny. It's not actually funny. It's just, someone says something and there's, there's no laugh track. It's, it's not funny. <laughs> Mark? It'll be tough. Okay. Now, folks, I think we are through to the crunch round now. This next one... I'm actually kind of nervous for this vote. Like, for reals. Mark, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, was that wink worth that? Okay, bye, Haley. Now, this next matchup, I am actually terrified for. I don't know what I want to have happen. I am very conflicted. Up till now, I'd say the votes have pretty much gone... Probably the way I would go for most of them. Um, but this next one, I honestly don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say to you. We have Maru versus Abigail. Holy freaking moly. So for anyone who doesn't know, we've got Gamer Girl Abby. Abby is a gamer. She also does enjoy eating minerals. That's a kind of strange thing. She often um, dines on diamonds. And for anyone who doesn't know, it's actually a bug in the game. You give her a gift like a diamond or a gemstone. She goes, hmm, this looks delicious. Thank you. So a lot of people have kind of done, like, fan on on it. So yeah, so she's a gamer girl, and um, she likes to practice her sword play, and obviously she's really cute, and I played video games with her, and that would, that would be wonderful. She does have a bit of a temper, though. She does have a bit of a temper. She was really angry with me. Let me show you her here. She was really angry with me when I had... Look at that face she pulls. Holy moly. Holy moly. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel, I feel, okay. So that's, that's, that's kind of like her downside. She does have a bit of a temper every now and then. Then we have Maru. Now Maru is the most intelligent person in the valley. 
by a country mile. Maru has literally built a working mech. A working mech that became sentient and flew away. I, I know it sounds like I'm making this up, but I'm not. The problem with Maru is Maru sweet and kind and seems really nice. I think Maru just might be too freaking smart for me. Like, I would be Mar Maru's trophy husband. I'd be at a dinner party and she would be there with all her colleagues and stuff and they would all be talking metaphysics and string theory and um, I don't even know other things, chemistry, physics, blah, 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 fancy word. And I would sit there going, so, you know, sports ball, huh? And I don't even really watch sports ball. So, hmm, I don't even know what to say. You know, I'll be like, is it true that the moon is made of cheese? And I'll be like, oh my God, Maru, your husband is <laughs> delightful in a sort of ape-like gorilla kind of way. she would be like, no, he's, he tries, he tries, he's sweet. So that's the downside of Maru. Maru may or may not be too intelligent for me. Um, do I want to be a trophy husband? I don't know. Let's get the votes up. Let's see what you people think. What do I do? What do I do? Maru can be sad as well, apparently. Maru or Abigail, get your votes in. Holy moly. Daddy said don't. Okay, sorry. I forgot that other thing. Brian brought up a very important point. I also really kind of want to marry Maru for one reason and one reason only. Her father was a dick to me. He came there the one and he said... My baby girl is going to grow up to be smart. Don't you get in that way. Don't you get in her way. You, 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 you stand back. And ever since that, I kind of really, really do want Maru. I'm kind of like very keen to, to be with Maru um, since that. Okay, peeps, this hype train thing. Sorry, peeps, the, 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 the poll has actually been up for this whole time. I don't think most of you can see it, though. Um, sorry, there's an almost hype train thing that's, that's blocking it. I'm most certainly not being... Um, Upset about the generosity. Thank you, Mad Mike. Um, and thank you, Mark. But uh, it's, 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 it's there. Oof. Oof. It's there, peeps. It's there. You should be able to click and go to the next one. On Twitch is blank. Um, are, you on, are you on mobile? The only thing is carried as a trophy with that unkempt hair. I'm a trophy husband. That's how it works. Your stepdad will be awful. Yeah, but I'll stick it to him. Every single time, he'll know. He'll know. So that's what it is, peeps. So Maru or Abigail? Maru Gale. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Playing Secret Santa. There's this one, and this one, and this one. I bet you can't guess who it is. I can't guess who it is. Anonymous, thank you so much, Sodorus. Get subbed. Okay, everyone, can you can you can you see it? You have to press view all. Yeah, folks. You have to press view all. Oh my god, the controversy. Maybe we need to redo this poll. Mods, I don't know. The the controversy that people can't vote, especially if it's close. Ha! <sighs> Panic clicking, almost missed it. Stupid work meeting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Peeps, get your votes in. Also, I see Maru's currently winning, but maybe... <laughs> no, I was going to make a joke. This doesn't mean that anyone's less intelligent, but maybe all the smart people who like Maru because they're smart, they could figure it out quicker than the Abigail people. They're just gamer, you know? I don't know. I'm just saying maybe Abigail's going to make like a huge comeback. Clicky the down button. Yeah, you peeps, you clicky, clicky the down button. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going to happen? What's, what, what's going to happen? Maru. 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 Rue, can't see on mobile? Yeah, is it um, Android? I think Android's got a broken problem at the moment. Uh, so who's it going to be? Holy crap. Holy crap. All right, peeps, also you must let me know when the poll goes up. Uh, otherwise, I'll say, I'll say when to put the poll up. Otherwise, it goes up a bit too early. This is very stressful. It's very stressful trying to find <clears throat> love in the valley. And apparently, choking my goop. Rigged election? Yeah, we like locked everyone out. Oh, my dog, Dunko voted Abby at the start. Enough to make clicky click and find Paul rude. Keeps get your votes in. All right, I think Maru... Oh, my God, Maru's going to beat Abigail? Arcasia's going to be absolutely thrilled. Arcasia's going to get married almost immediately. What? Maru's going to beat Abigail? What? What? Holy crap. Holy moly. Had to click that down button a few times. All right, 59%, 58%. I think, I think that statistic, I think it's fine. I'm sorry if anyone did miss it because of the stuff, but holy moly. Maru beat Abigail? What? Holy moly. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. Okay, she's so happy. Okay, so if anyone doesn't know, Acacia's going to be marrying Abigail now. So, I mean, that's something, you know. That could also be what Abigail, I don't know if that plays into it. 
But it could be. Could be why Abigail is off. <laughs> Holy moly. Admiral Krell, welcome on in. How you doing, dude? Let's get a shout out, peeps. So much, so much stuff going on. All right, now you people may hype. Now you may hype. <laughs> we had the trade. I think I think this is the most like underrated hype trade ever. Everyone's like, no, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Um, why is everyone hyping? It makes no sense. Hype train raid? Uh, it's a log. The, the hype train was actually, we were trying to like get rid of the hype train. We're like, <laughs> move. Uh, there was a vote that was up on who I'm going to marry and some people couldn't see it. So it was, it was, it was scandalous. It was scandalous. We will say that it was Maru who was the anonymous gifter who did it. Thank you for the generosity, peeps. Most certainly not against generosity. Thank you for that. Um, insane stuff. How was that? Skull and Bones. Was it Skull and Bones? I think it was. Uh, the Valley Supervillain origin story has been halted. <laughs> All right, peeps. We're through to the semifinals. For anyone who doesn't know what's going on, we are busy voting for who I am going to marry in Stardew Valley. And we are down to Leia, Harvey, Penny, and Maru. Oh, I don't even know what to say about this matchup. We're going to the dice. We're going to the dice, peeps. We're going to see who's going to make the semis and who's going to make the finals. Do I need to hold off a wildcard vote or something? No, no, no. Nothing like that. Okay, let's see. Arcasia's the biggest win in that vote. Leia's just a cheap rock of... Uh, yeah, I, I must be honest. If Robin was in here, we wouldn't even have to vote. Robin, Robin's pretty amazing. All right, we have... Okay, sorry. Let me just see. Okay, so Harvey, Leia, Maru, and Penny. Okay, we have Leia versus Maru, which means it's Penny versus Harvey. Woo Leia versus Maru. I don't know. I don't know. Celebrating Holy moly, that's a biggie. Come on, wait, that's wait. That, 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 that's a biggie. Mod and Penny versus here. Harvey. I mean, X maybe the serial killer can beat Penny. I don't know. Hype for the ungrateful streamer Dunk Woohoo. <laughs> Dunk Woohoo? The ungrateful streamer Dunk Woohoo. Fava beans for the win. We will see. Holy moly. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that once this hype train is calmed down. For now, I will, f I will fill up um, bundles. Of things here at my community center. We should wait for the hype train. We will wait for the hype train to finish. Thank you, Sim. Smart. Holy moly. Holy moly. As I say, Mad Mike, thank you for the generosity. This is the this this hype train. I imagine the hype train is like just just get it over and done with. This is gonna be the one that goes to like level a thousand. It's like we just need the hype train to pass. And it did not pass. For 67 days and 67 nights, the hype train did um Rage on. For anyone who doesn't know, you do get uh, rewards now for the higher level hype trains. All the way up to a level 100 hype train, you get a limited edition emote. Now, if that isn't worth, um, I don't know what it is, like 50,000 subs or 8 million bits, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. A level 100 hype train, you can get a limited edition emote. Imagine that. Eh? Wow. Wow. The rage train? Yeah, stop hyping, peeps. Just calm the hell down. Calm the heck down. Okay, Kasia, truffle, maple syrup, and poppy. It's pretty tough stuff. Truffle, maple syrup, and poppy. And then pomegranate, rabbit's foot, wine, and oak resin. Okay, oak resin. Sorry, oak resin I got there. Okay. You should have enough hay. Yeah, no, that one's easy. That one, this, this one, I'm, this one, we're just waiting for the apples. So that one's fine. It's these two that are going to be the hardest. Duck feather. So, okay, this one. No, this one should be easy. Assuming the duck feather's in there. So yeah, it's maple syrup, truffle, poppy, wine, rabbit's foot, pomegranate. If anyone has anything to say about these, I'm curious to look. I assume the wine you make in the barrel. I don't know. Hey, Life Coffee Gaming. How's it going? How you doing? Yeah, the sunflower. Yep. Yeah, so my, my hard items here are the rabbit's foot. Um, the pomegranate, the wine, I guess, the truffle and the poppy. I don't know when these things are from. I hope they're not from summer or spring. Hmm. Well, got you. Who won in the poll? Maru beat Abigail. By a fairly handy margin, I might add. 
Grapes in the keg. Okay, that one's fine then. Okay, and one yam. This room just needs one yam, that's all. Moody, moody. The money involved did bankrupt a small nation. Trick question. The small nation was already bankrupt. <laughs> you don't have fruit bats? Plant that pomegranate tree now. Fruits in fall. Um, Keisha, do you know if we have a pomegranate tree? I might have. I think I might have planted pomegranate sapling. I think I did. I think I did do it. Maybe. Sim, stop showing your bottom to Mad Mike. Mad Mike, what do you what do you think? You come into this channel and the moderator shows you their butthole. That emote needs to end. That's what needs to end. Cockadring, how's it going? How you doing? Maggie, none of that. Sup, nerd. I'm not sure. I haven't been great at looking after trees. Um no, I think I think I did. I think I bought a pomegranate sapling. Like, I'm like almost entirely sure I bought one here from Pierre. Oh god, let's see if this guy will talk to me. You've hurt me beyond measure, but I'm willing to leave the past behind us. Go away, I can't bear to see you. Okay. And tell you still a bit raw. Still a few things going on there. Um it's fine though, we don't have to marry him. Yeah, I'm sure I bought this, Keja. So sure I bought this. Like, I'm pretty pretty certain. I hope. I think I did. Takes trees an entire season ago. No, I think I planted it ages ago. I hope. I think. Maybe. I came at you talking about showing buttholes. Hey, El Sprout, how you doing? Nice to see ya. You got auto mod? Yeah, streamer says things that even you're not allowed to say. Uh, it's the emote. It's the emote of the cat butt. It's a... So for anyone who doesn't know, I got a whole bunch of new emotes. Um, They're not 100% unique to me, though. Like, I decided, like, let me just fill out the emote slots... Because uh, my emote artist is gone. My emote artist is missing. So I need to get a new emote artist. So I thought, let me try out like a few like cutesy wootsy subs. And see how people respond to them. Um, so I got subs. Uh, sorry, emotes that look a bit. I can't think. Ma Mad Mike. <laughs> Please, Mad Mike is huge on making this hype train never end. Mike, Mike, the hype train has to end so we can do the next vote. Sh surely. Oh my god, yeah, everyone, please, oh my god, Mike, stop being generous. Can you just, like, can you just stop it now for just a moment, Mike? Can you wait for four minutes and 40 seconds and then be generous afterwards? That goes for all of you. You're on a four, four minutes and 40 seconds generosity embargo. That's, that's what you're on. How are you doing, El? Nice to see you. Have you played the new arc? Sagicor, that's not what I said, Dev, Dev, that's not it. Can we just wait four minutes and 20 seconds and then be generous? Can we do that? How are you finding the new update on this game? So I must be honest, I have never played this game before, so I don't even know what the update has done. This is my first playthrough, it's been cool. It's been awesome, I'm really enjoying the game. Super fun. Okay, I need to give Pam her beer. So today we're busy doing like a, for anyone who's just joined, today we're doing like a reality show to see who I should get married to. I've been on the valley now for about 10 game days, and it's time for me to decide who I'm going to get married to. This is obviously my first choice, but you can't, you can't marry her. Give me that! Ah, yeah! That's the stuff! Yeah! Thanks, Pammy Like! Pammy Like! So I would have married Pam if I could have. She's a sweet, delicate flower, but unfortunately her love for vodka is stronger than her love for me. Boop! Ah, Pam, what could have been? What could have been, Pam? It's real nice and hoppy. Notes of citrus and pine, but with a robust body to keep it grounded. <laughs> Thanks, kid. This means a lot to me. I knew I could count on you. You're welcome, Pam. Sweet, wonderful Pam. Meg, Meggie, Meggie! That's not out. Oh my god. Manatheria. I mean, thank you all for the generosity, but, uh, you know. Celebrating good times. Come on. Wait, no, wait. Oh, well, in for a penny, in for a thousand bits. X1000 bits. Oh, well, in for a penny, in for a 1000 bits. Maggie, no, folks, can we just please, like, hold the generosity till the end? Can we do that? Another four minutes and 40 seconds so we can do the vote. Can we, can we do that? Can you all just calm down? Hmm. Was that a Windows turn? No, I didn't make a Windows turn. No, Maggie. None of that, Maggie. None of that. Holy moly. M Mail, sir. 
Got my mail, sir. Don't tell me what to do, peeps. We're just just four minutes and ten seconds. Just wait for four minutes and then do the generosity after that. That's that's all. And then we can do the vote. It's 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 simple. Please, please hold. It's like please hold your applause to the end. You know, I understand it's all very hype, but just just hold your applause to the end. Can, can we do that? It's a man to a girl. <sighs> Deadly kitten, what is what is going on? Desist! Desist! Oh my goodness. Garricus, that should actually trigger something. Oh. Disease. Internet trolls. These are just a taste of the events caused by Timeless. Remember, always hashtag blame timeless. I mean Garricus is right. Freaking timeless! Timeless! Can you just make the generosity stop for a little it's while, a please? Gift. Meggy, uh, thank you, Garricus, Meg, Tamanda, girl, deadly kitten. Thank you very, very much. Have you missed me, Dunk? I did miss you. I can't even joke about not missing you, because I did. Because I did. It's a true story. This is a funny struggle. Sephiron, I'm just really trying to figure out who to marry. I'm trying to make the single most important decision of my entire life, and the people, they will not let me. Folks, this is, this is my digital wife we're talking about. This is probably the most important thing that's ever happened to any of us. Not just to me, by all of you by proxy. Luna, Luna Sky, ma mail sir. Folks, please just, I'm just trying to get digitally married here. Can, can, can we do that? Can, can we have that in our life? I heard my name, what happens is Timeless. Uh, timeless, I need to get the next poll up, but the people won't stop gifting subs. And because of that, it's really screwing up the opportunity. Celebrating and someone did a blame Timeless, so that's what we did. Sim 76 cheered. X 1000 bits. I just want to find love in the valley. That's, that's, you, 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 you're halting this process. Thank you, Sim. There's the emote that you were supposed to do earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. No, I hated being away from stream too. I did look. Uh, I could while working. I appreciate you, Mike. Thanks for that. Inspiring speech about community. Entire community. Yes, exactly. Oh, the community is the best. Yep. <laughs> Man, that's exactly what they're doing here. Ugh. I'm just not going to say anything. It's fine. Let's put another another cheese maker there. All right, for anyone who's just joined and doesn't know what's going on, well, firstly, thank you to the ones who followed during all this madness. I, I appreciate the follows. Um, it's normally not quite as chaotic over here. Um, I'm busy deciding who I'm going to marry, and it's down to the final four. It is between Harvey, the town serial killer, the town creeper, Leia, the artist with a um. A kind heart, but also a checkered past. We have Penny, the sweetest, kindest person in the valley, albeit Mardi Vanilla, and Maru, smartest person in the valley. Who am I going to marry? Who's it going to be? It's very exciting. It's all been building up to this. Show yourself! You hide behind your anonymity, but I will find you. I will find you. I have a particular set of skills. of an eagle. The intellect of the chimpanzee. He is Dunkstar. Sim, his does that Jammies mean it was you? Only by his humility. Who, who was that? Who was Anonymous? Who was Anonymous? Who was Nanny Moose? Who did this? Nopers? Who was Nanny Moose? I see you hiding behind. Keyboard warrior, huh? Gifting five subs. Think, think you big stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Vlad. <laughs> Some filibuster. Yeah, why are we filibustering the vote, peeps? What's happening? We're all Nanny Moose. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, filibusting is basically like a term for people like like you delay a vote. And then like Congress shuts down for the day or whatever. You you filibust. You just you delay it. It is a gift. That's that's what you do. Stegzy, thank you for the bits. <sighs> Sergeant Striker, thank you for the gifted sub. Might as well throw in what I had left. There you have it. 
Oh, I got my food and back now so we can get to the vote. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. There, there, there you have it. Okay, can we all just calm down? 3 minutes, 37 seconds. It's not that hard. Mel, you're not even watching the stream, Mel. Mel, you don't even like Stardew Valley. You hate, you hate this. Mel! I like how Mel couldn't even... Mel couldn't resist the opportunity to troll. And I was like, yeah, it, 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 it prolongs the game you don't like, Mel. And I was like, I don't care. Did it for the lols. Did it for the lols, says Mel. <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't come in and out. I know you do, Mel. I know you're always there lurking. Oh my goodness. Celebrating good times. Come on. Wait, no, wait. Sim 76 cheered. X 1000 bits. You all grow tired soon. I will. Do we even remember who the next vote's supposed to be? I'm standing up. You fo it's literally been 40 minutes. It's been 40 minutes since I took my last break. I'm standing. And end of stream. <laughs> yeah, we'll get married tomorrow. <laughs> all the love, says Cat's guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mel still sub to you? Yeah. Mike still sub to you? Yeah. Needs all those feet emotes. He looks at them every day and goes, mmm, male feet. Okay. So, Leia versus Maru and Penny versus Harvey. Holy moly. Holy moly. It's, it's, it's exciting, though. Does everyone agree that this is super exciting? Who does everyone think is going to win? Leia, Maru, Penny, or Harvey? Who does everyone think is going to be going to go all the way to the end? Sure. Maru reckons, Dev. It'll be over very soon. Maru reckons, New Scout, Penny. Harvey, I think I'm going to get married to the serial killer. I think I'm going to get married to Penny. Good old Maru. Leia, could be Leia. Could be many people. Penny, Harvey, Timmy. No, not Timmy. Timmy's not an option. Ooh, Leia. Yeah, Leia's in there. Krobus, so Krobus is if, like, Krobus is if, like, this hype train never ends. Then I just move in with Krobus. I don't find love, I just, I go and live my own life out wherever I need to be. How do I make wine again? Peeps, grapes. Are they grapes? The things that look like grapes. Grape. There you go. That should make wine, huh? I think. Doctor girlfriend, for sure. Any fruit. Oh, okay, I used grapes. I feel like that's, that's better. Um, Penny seems to be the favorite, but she's just so bland, says Goldie Snatch. Yeah, but sometimes, I mean, she's, she's, she's wonderful, though, you know, she's kind, you know? Oh, deadly kitten. Oh, deadly kitten. What a time to gift your first gift sub in the channel. Deadly kitten! Thank you, deadly kitten. Alright, another four minutes and forty seconds. <laughs> I just want to find love. You know what you folks are? You're the ad break. You're the ad break in reality shows. That's what all of you are. We'll find out who Dunk's gonna romance right after this. 37 minute long hype train. That's what that is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go collect insect meat. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. Money over love. <laughs> What's that thing supposed to be? I've heard, I've heard apparently... Peeps, I can't say that I've ever tried this exact formula, but um, apparently, this is how marriage is supposed to work. The first time is for love, or for love. The second time is for money, and the third one is forever. So there you go. It's apparently that's the simple three marriage way to to find your way to success. First one's for love, the second one's for money, and the third one's forever. So yeah, that's uh, that's how we're gonna do it. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> Streamer died before he found out who was married. You people feel super guilty then. Yep, the rooster blocking friend, exactly. No wedding for me. I just want to get married. Yeah, that sounds expensive. Three, no, but the second one takes care of that, Mel. The one that's for money. Don't you worry about that. Rude dunk, so rude. I'm in the bathroom break, not the ad break. <laughs> I'm never getting married, says Mel. 
I don't know. I, I do find you Aussies use the word partner a lot. I don't really know what it's supposed to donate. Sim! Celebrating good times. Come on. Wait, no, wait. Sim wait, 76 no. cheered. X 4000 bits. Thank, thank you, Sim. Tips, you don't, don't do this to me. You, you know what you're actually doing? You're psychologically hurting me. Because what I'm doing is you're actually conditioning me to not like generosity. That's what's happening here. Very similar to when like someone gifts five subs. It makes like a bomb sound. I've been conditioned off. There's ever like a siren going off and a bomb happening. So 10, uh, 10 or five gifted subs. I will walk towards that with a smile. Willingly because I've conditioned myself to like the sound of explosions now. That's, that's what's happened. So now I'm just like, no, 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 none of that generosity. And soon I, you know, I'm just going to subconsciously land up. Being like, I don't, I, money sucks. Throw that stuff in the bin. Sadly, in that system, your third will be your spouse's second, says Dark Spider. <laughs> no, I think you both have to find the third at the end. It's the only way. You see? Sajikor. Sajikor, you're up late. You're meant to be sleeping. Sajikor is like, yeah, stay up late to do this. Thank, thank you, Sajikor. Thank, thank you, Sajikor. Level 8 annoyance train. <laughs> I should be in bed, but I gotta know who you marry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, then why are you cheering the bit, Sajikor? <laughs> well, then why are you gifting the subs? It's... You... It's, you didn't have to, and then you could have found out sooner. Oh my goodness, peeps. Sajikor will never rest. Must find out who I'll marry. It's too fun. <laughs> oh my god. You when you're tired tomorrow. Go, oh. Your kid's like, play dinosaurs with me. Play dinosaurs with me. And you're like, you shut your mouth, child. Tired. I'm tired. You know? That's, you, you will remember this moment as the turning point. When you could have got more sleep. Only 120 levels to beat the, the record. Let's go. Um, nice. No, so I need, unfortunately for this particular thing. I just need to kill insects for their meat. Delicious, delicious insect meat. That will for sure happen, yeah. <laughs> oh, but being an adult means you can make those mistakes, right? And own up to them. Or live up to them. Okay. Insect meat for me. This thing is immune to me. Being defended by that. Talking about the hype train levels, Dunk. Yeah, it's a thing. Manatheria is now barking at me. Little corgis. Cute little corgis. So for anyone who's just joined, um, I think... I can't remember a life before this... Does anyone remember life before this hype train happened? I can't. But uh, before this hype train started, I think... I think I was looking for loved ones. I can't be entirely sure. I think that's what we were doing. I think with... Finding someone I can marry, maybe? Honestly, can't remember. We'll figure it out when the, when the train's done. Sergeant Strike would like me to tell a joke. That is true. So, I do think that a joke would dampen their spirits. I'm going to look up train jokes. No one can ever hype after hearing one of these internet jokes. How's it going, Crystals? How you doing? Um, train joke. Okay, yeah, so for anyone who's just joined, I'm busy collecting bug meat and figuring out who I'm going to marry. All of you are going to help me vote in that if we ever get there. Just waiting for the hype train to end, and the moment the hype train is over, we are going to enter into the semi-finals. It's going to be super exciting. Oh my god. Alright, these are the exact things I need to take the hype out of your, your bodies. Hmm. <clears throat> what do you call a locomotive that keeps sneezing? Hachoo! Choo train! When a train is tired, it's called a slow commotive. Okay? Does anyone feel hype now? I don't think so. You brought this upon yourself. Went to a railway fancy dress party. Everyone was wearing platforms. See? I can literally feel the enthusiasm leaving all of your bodies. Has anyone ever watched the show What We Do in the Shadows? I'm basically Colin Robinson. For anyone who doesn't know, there's a thing called an energy vampire and they drain all your energy and they feed upon it. That's what I'm doing to you right now. I'm Colin Robinson you. Colin Robinson sending you. Mm. 
How do you make the locomotive Olympics? Train really hard. Heck yeah. The train conductor, this is the worst of them all. If any of you don't want to um, fall asleep, it's probably best you turn your... I've got the clap and I'm giving it to you. I've got the clap and I'm giving it to you. I've got the clap and I'm giving it to you. Who wants the clap? I do, I do. The train conductor worked hard and got offered a promotion. It was a tram endus opportunity. Tram being a smaller sort of version of a train, but not actually linked. Deadly kitten. There will come a day when I will repay you for this. You you will see. You you will see. That that day will come. And you will know. How's it, Nate? How's it going? Jen tells lies. Thank you, thank you for the gifted sub. He's gonna stop talking to us. <laughs> Someone clipped the- I was just doing the clap, peeps. I was just- I was just doing a clap and giving it to Deadly Kitten. This one isn't a bad sound alert. I do like the clap song. It's a very happy song. It's about being enthusiastic and applauding. Um, yeah, let's, um... Round of applause for Deadly Kitten. Deadly Kitten. Dunk has a specific set of skills, yes. <laughs> May as well change the title, yeah. Streamer can't find love. Did I wink for Vlad? I did wink for Vlad. I'll wink for Vlad again, oh, though. Vlad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jen, Mike. It's not an explosion. It is true. It's just a beautiful song about clapping hands. Folks, I am sorry for you, though, that the hype trains do get more and more expensive as they go up. I do have the cheapest hype trains you can get on the platform, but they do get sort of eventually to the point where you need to do like 40 subs just to get one level. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to win this game. I'm gonna win it. You'll all see. I'll get married. I'll get married today. You'll all be there at the wedding. Is Leia's list of loves? My dear, for perfect dinner would be salad, goat cheese, truffle, and wine. For dessert, I'd need a poppy seed muffin. So this is one of the people I might marry. If someone gave me one of those things, I'd melt. So I've just basically been feeding her a lot of salad. And she didn't melt, but she did start, like, sort of, like, disintegrating. Apparently, you can't only live on salad. So, yeah. You're going to have to, once she gets on the farm, I'm going to feed her a thing like beef burger. You know? How long has it been so far for the train? So every single level is like four, it's like five minutes. So this train has literally taken 45 minutes. Because you wait till the end of it. Most of the time. So not quite that much, but yeah, it's literally five minutes per level. So yeah, it's it's been 45 minutes minus like a few minutes. <laughs> Stop. It's been a 45 minute train! Oh my god, I didn't even stop to think about that. It's literally five minutes each level. 45 minute train! We are the best trolls, that is a lot of time. <laughs> you know, it didn't feel that long. 45 minute train! I've, I've had to just do busy work around the mines for 45 minutes. You can write- oh sorry, I actually- I don't even know what I'm- I've literally forgotten what I was doing now. That's how long it's been in the train, I'm supposed to be getting bug meat. Oh my god. Chat to Rails Dunk's plan to marry with a train, yeah. Run a, runaway Bride has a whole new thing, you know? Runaway Bride new good times. Come on. Wait, no, wait. We love your streams, Dunk, says Mailsa. Underscore cheered. X1000 bits. Thank you we for the We love your stream, Dunks. Thank you, Mailsa, for the thousand bits. I also love the streams. This particular stream is probably going to take quite long because I was supposed to get married today. And uh, there's, 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 there's a train that's been there for 45 minutes. I'm so happy this happened after the Abigail vote this occasion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dev! Thank you, Dev. Thank you. Alright, we've got one minute to go. We've got this. we got this this time. Level 9, you can see, is expensive, peeps. These things barely move that thing. It stays in place. That's what it does. It stays in place. It doesn't move. So that's good. Mad Mike has done it. Well, 11 subs might move it. Mm. 
Normally I'm a little bit more enthusiastic than this, but... Garakus, Manatheria. Garakus! Thank you for the 11 subs. Manatheria, thank you for the sub. Mad Mike, thank you for the sub. This is making my day and it's only 2 a.m. I just want to get married. I just want to find love. I just want to find love. Let me love. Love me, love me. Let the people love me. Train me, train me. They went on and trained me. So I cried and I begged for them to. This train just goes on and on. Catherine, welcome on in. Catherine, you're, 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 you're first time chatter. Don't you want to see who I marry more than this? You found love and it's with us, your community. I mean, that is kind of strangely beautiful, huh? And so it was that the streamer learned in the minds that he didn't need it's love. Your party and you'll cheer if you want to. Cheer if you want to. Cheer if you want to. You would cheer too if it happened to you. Ba -dum -bum, ba -da 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 -da. Sim 76 cheered. X 10,000 bits. Okay, hear me out though. Sim did it too soon though. So, so you really, we only, we only got like one minute there, you know, that's, 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 th th thank you, CM. Thank you, Sajikor, for the, no, actually, no, never thanks for Gremlin. Sorry, I almost got stuck with that. Holy moly, CM. It's a party. You're a beast. Oh. I've been outvoted every vote so far, so this just puts out my pain. I'm sorry. Well, soon, who knows. OMG. <laughs> I just want to see words I can sleep, says Wolf Death. I just want to go to bed. Well, peeps, I echo that sentiment. Uh, be better to wait for 30 seconds left. No, the problem is also you don't know the amount, though. I, f I feel like you don't... This is the problem. When the trains get like this, you don't know what the bits are going to do. The train gets expensive. Five gifted subs, you don't know how it's going to move it. Ten, you don't know. You don't know these things. Some had no idea. Some thought they'd put it at the end. Some was too generous. Take that, Sim. Too damn generous. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You're too kind. Hey, how does that make you feel? Too damn kind. That's what you are. Too damn kind. Hmm. I did it out of love. Oh. I mean, that's kind of ironic in a way, though. I did it out of love in order to delay love. Oh, <gasps> Sam, what are you saying? Hmm. 22 tier 1... So yeah, it gets, it gets really expensive, peeps. We've had it, so our record ever train here was, I think it was 50 subs per level. It gets rid, and, but bear in mind, for when people go to a level 100 train, how nuts that is. I think a level 100 train, I think, I swear the dude, I think he made like $100,000 or something. It's, it's insane. Absolutely insane. I don't, I don't actually know how it ramps up, but it gets like super insanely expensive. Uh, and this, and don't forget, I have the cheaper settings. So you do have streamers who sometimes make their hype trains more expensive. I guess a lot of the bigger streamers. So they might have actually done that. Um, so I have the cheapest. This is this is this is budget train. This is poor man's train, apparently. You know. So I'm sure that guy might have had his on the easiest. They might not have. Yeah. So I'll sprout. Someone got it over a level hundred hype train the other day. It just sounds like a scam. It was someone called Pirate Software, which sounds like a scheme. It sounds like someone who's going to steal your bank details. And oh my gosh, did they steal people's bank details? <laughs> And now Twitch has actually made it. So you peeps are going to get subs now for this. Uh, not subs. Uh, anyone who's contributed to the train, you're going to get emotes. So you get like limited edition emotes for level 5, level 10. I think it's level 50. And then they do have one for level 100 now. To try and sort of encourage the big streamers to be like, Who wants a limited edition emote? You can get one right now. All you got to do is take the train to level 100. Oh, well then shut up and take my life savings then, streamer. I mean, if for a train that ended up as a 40k that was donated all to Extra Life, that's cool. Uh, his advice is solid and he's just a decent guy. That's good. I'm glad I'm glad that he's a nice guy. Uh, is the name of his software company. Um, I mean, I am I am sort of jesting when I say it sounds like a like someone who's gonna steal your bank details. I don't know him personally, so no, no, no disrespect. Um, I hope he's a nice guy. Because often some of the people who break the records don't seem too nice. So I hope that the guy who's got the record is nice. I know the person who had the record before him is not a nice streamer. They literally had a whole bunch of things come out of them, which is awful. They're like, um, abuse, like, well, it was a whole thing. 
That it was a terrible like expose. They literally like bullied people to get to the top. It was awful, awful, awful. Still got the record, but they don't have it anymore. So that's at least good. Tasty, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Uh, Mad Mike and Luna Sky. All right, peeps, one minute to go. It's happening. We're finally going to get married. We should all be excited. Even though the train is going to come to a stop, uh, we can all be happy that we are about to enter the semi-finals of this. Oh, is a genuine dude? Also, he has ferrets. So I did hear this the other day that apparently all I have to do, apparently he's a guy though that used to have a high-pitched voice and then he made his voice deeper. He started putting on a deep voice and then uh, became successful. So apparently that means I must start streaming like this. That, that's one thing I was told about him. Apparently if I start streaming like this, I will be more successful apparently. This is Egg, thank you so much for the prime sub. I'm afraid the train is too powerful now though, peeps. Good attempts though. We are going to get married. It's going to happen. Yay. That's what's it. I can't do much, but I have to be a part of this, Kuro. Thank you for being a part of it. Deadly Kittens, smiling now. You know what you did. All right, it's happened. We're going to do it. We're going to the semifinals. This is exciting in itself. Who is the first round that we've got? Thank you for the generosity. Okay, now we can be thankful. Now, in retrospect, I realize it actually is kind of thoughtful-ish from you people to be, you know, generous, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Wow. Thank you so much for that. It literally took about 40 minutes or 45 minutes of my life away with that. Um, I'm sure some of you are holding generosity to the end, of course, you know? Uh, let me know, what emote did you peeps get? What emote did you get? Did you get the bleeding heart one? Is that, is that the, the thing that came out? What's, what's the limited edition cheer mode thing that you got? Is that it? You all, you all got a bleeding heart. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. There you have it. Well, you, you enjoy those limited edition emotes right there for being part of a level 10 plus hype train. Thank you so much for the generosity. Cheers. Maggie, you didn't get anything? Are you sure, Maggie? Refresh. You totally should have. You totally should have. Everyone else seems to get one. Are they bullying you, Meg? They're giving it to everyone but you. I feel bougie. Hmm. I didn't get the pop-up, but I'm able to use it. Yeah, Meg, you should have it there. Who's going to be your heart? Oh, yeah. All right, everyone who's got the heart, put it in chat while we put up the semi-final. The semi-final. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who's it? Harvey versus Leia, huh? Is that what it was? No, no, no. Harvey versus... I don't know. What was it? Sorry. Who, who was it? Let me know, and then we're going to look at this. So for anyone who doesn't know, we're about to enter. This is extremely exciting. The semi-final of the love-off. Only four people remain. One of them, I remember, was Harvey. Okay. So this is Harvey. For anyone who doesn't know, Harvey, in our particular playthrough, is a serial killer. This is what his voice sounds like. He looks like this. He is the town's doctor. This is what he looks like if they were to draw a fan mail of him. He likes aeroplanes. He likes to listen in to what is going on with the aeroplanes. He also looks like this. He's handsome, I suppose, in an unconventional sense. According to someone, he looks like Pedro Pascal. But I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. One bad thing about Harvey... Harvey does have one issue. I don't know if it'll change if I marry Harvey, but Harvey doesn't let me have free medicine, even though he's a doctor. So when I pass out, he still charges me a thousand gold, even though we were dating. So for that perspective, you know, what the hell, Harvey? What the hell, Harvey? Um, and Harvey is up against hugely stiff competition here. He's up against Penny. Sweet, kind, lovely Penny. Honestly, nothing bad to say about Penny. Penny is delightful. The only thing about Penny is maybe Penny is too delightful. Penny is just very, very vanilla. Penny, Penny doesn't, I've never seen Penny be really angry. Penny just kind of gets, um, you know, she gets mildly upset. She doesn't like having to clean her mom's trailer all the time. That's about, that's about as angry as she's got. She goes, oh, mom... Although she does have that look there. So, 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 so there you go. You did get it? Awesome. Awesome mail, sir. Um, so yeah, anyone, anyone who contributed to the train should have got it. No wedding while I was at work yet? No, Kath, we're through to the semifinals. All right, so. Harvey, the serial killer who doesn't give her free medicine. Or sweet and kind Penny. Wonderful, wonderful Penny. Always reading her books. 
always taking care of children. Super sweet, super nice. Penny. And Penny is also Pam's daughter. I see Penny here with different hairstyles. It's also Pam's daughter, so it's probably the closest thing you can get there. Get your votes in, peeps. Harvey versus Penny. Who's it going to be? I see the first vote goes to Harvey. Holy moly. Holy moly. Is Harvey going to beat Penny? What is happening? Holy moly. No, is Penny going to beat Harvey? What is happening? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is close. There we go. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? All right. No, never mind. Okay, Penny. Penny is now... Phew, that was close. Penny, Penny is now going up ahead. Okay, now, to be honest with you folks, I don't know, is it better or worse for me to marry the serial killer? Like, what is it that's more likely to get me killed? Because you peeps might get me murdered here. That is the, that is the issue. Remember, Harvey is also the last representative from Team Dude. There's Harvey over here. I'm busy with my work. I can't speak to you. Now he's saying that right now because um, none of the dudes are really speaking to me right now. Ah yes, the hidden murdered by a serial killer ending. Yes. I'm busy with my work. I'm there with my creations in my laboratory. You're his alibi. He's got to keep you intact. You see. Okay. Hmm. Penny, definitely. Layla Sims, get your vote in. So if anyone doesn't know, this is the semi-final. Oh, it's all becoming very real now, folks. I think I'm getting kind of nervous now. I have to get... I have to get married soon. Meeting will last 15 minutes. All right, Sim Sim. You have yourself a good meeting. Being Harvey's love would protect you. Everyone else can go missing, but not you. All right, so to vote for Harvey is to keep me safe from the town serial killer. Get the tux out. Oh, peeps, I don't know. It's all becoming very real now, hey? Maybe I don't want to get married. <laughs> Oof, the people we've lost, though, hey? So for anyone who doesn't know, it is Harvey, Penny, uh, Leia, and Maru that are left. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty intense stuff. Look at all the people we've lost. Elliot Shampooman, nowhere. Abigail, nowhere to be seen anymore. Haley, gone. Go Leia. We'll see. We'll see who wins. All right, I don't think I collected enough bug meat today. I kind of got that train distracted the crap out of me. Um, I blame all of you if I don't collect enough bug meat. That's that's okay. Actually, maybe. Two more days? Maybe. I think Acacia was working hard on that. Yeah, let's put all this stuff down. Haley would have spent your money faster than timey. That is probably true. I do think Haley might have been an expensive commodity. Uh, but you know, if you got to spend money for love, that's what you got to do. But it's not Haley. Haley is out. Okay, it looks like Penny is quite convincingly beating Harvey over here. Penny is definitely one of the favorites going into the competition. I, I did think from the beginning, Penny had a pretty damn good chance of getting through to the end. For anyone who doesn't know, I actually did check at who most gamers have chosen in the game. For those of you who didn't hear it, I'm sorry everyone who's hearing this for about the third time, but check this out. They did a survey of 7,000 Stardew players, alright? And the least popular, does anyone... And this, this is really shocking to me, because they're still in the competition. The least popular of all the people to romance in Stardew Valley is Maru. Maru! She's too smart, apparently, for most people. Maru is the least popular of all the people to romance. Have, did any of you ever romance Maru? Maru, I actually haven't heard anyone actually say that they did. Then it was Sam. Sam was second last. Then it was... Um, who did I have written here? Alex. Alex was there. Let's scratch them all out. Then it was Emily. Then it's Haley in number eight. Seven is Harvey. So the seventh worst is still in here with a shout. Uh, six is Penny, so this is actually six versus seven overall. Then, um, who was five? Five was Shane. Four was Elliot. Elliot Shampooman. You have to say his full name. Three was Abby. Two is Leia. And number one is Sebastian. Pretty insane, huh? Pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Maru requires such expensive things for gifts. Do you think that's all it was? People are cheapskates. I mean, I was giving Maru a lot of, like, Gold bars and stuff. Hmm. 
Manathera, that is actually a coincidence that that would happen. That's what that would be. You told us, thank you, realize we are contrarians, we'll vote for the opposite way. Um, not necessarily. I think you folks have voted for some of the more popular people and some of the less popular people. I think you're a pretty good mix up here. Pam isn't even ranked. Uh, yeah, no, because you can't marry Pam, remember, without the without mods. So Pam, Pam is uh, not there. Listen, who here thinks that if you could marry her, she would be right at the top? Robin. Okay, anyone, anyone agree with that sentiment? If, if Robin was an option to marry, I think a lot of people take Robin. Like, for realsies. I think there'd be a lot of love for Robin. And Jody, for that matter. Huh? Yep, yeah. On my first playthrough, I wanted to marry Robin, yeah. Oh yeah, Robin for sure, yeah. I think a lot of people dig Robin, huh? Robin's pretty cool. Robin's pretty nice. As I don't really like Jody. I'd say Jody's the most attractive person, to me, personally. But, um, I don't like Jody's personality. Jody's a bit of a, I don't know. She's kind of sort of materialistic and a bit of a gossip and yeah. Now I respect Kent too much to go after Jody. Says Deadly Kitten. No, Kent hates me because I had dinner with Jody. That's what happened. Caroline will be top. She needs a break from Pierre and his stash. What do you mean his stash? Cal Caroline's the one that wants to get high all the time. Did you know in Danish being married and poison Cheers. use the same word? No, I didn't. Manatheria? I feel like that just happened just the other day, but thank you so much for the tier 3 super support. Holy freaking freaking moly, dude. Thank you. I really, really, really do appreciate all the subs, peeps. They truly do help a tremendous load. Um, thank you, thank you for that. On course, on course to crush our goals here. Evelyn. Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn's Evelyn's the, the grandmother. Um, I mean I like Evelyn. I feel like she'd be quite sweet. Also, how much money does she have in her estate? Refreshing, because it give me a ton of pop-ups. Mad Mike's on 120 stream streak. Damn, dude, your break did not cost you. Marry something you take not to be? Crazy cockatrying. I had no idea about that. Being married and poison use the same word. In Danish. Must be honest, I did not learn a lot of Danish um, when I was in Denmark. When I was in Copenhagen, they didn't... All I did was steal a bicycle and have business meetings. That's my Danish legacy. I'm not going to tell the story again, peeps. I told the other day I accidentally stole a bicycle in Denmark. Accidentally. It was accidental. That happened. I also learned about how everyone keeps defacing that poor little mermaid. These are the things I remember of Denmark. Evelyn might be sugar mama. A couple of days ago, we had a minus 8 degrees Celsius in snow. Today it's sun and plus 15. Crazy April weather. Yeah, here today it's freezing and raining. The count of subs is not there, isn't it? What, like at the bottom, Dark Spider? Should be. I know they did change the whole thing. I might have to re-enable it because they did change uh, the whole way that it displays. They adjusted it to be the new number, so... That's weird. I'll take a look-see after stream. Been to Copenhagen a few times? Oh yeah, Denmark was lovely, hey? Um, really cool. I had, I had some good times in Copenhagen. Um... And I had a really, like, it was one of the most crazy, that was one of the most serendipitous things that's ever happened to me, ever. I had to go to Copenhagen for business. So I'm like, I'm going on a business trip or whatever. My sister lives in the UK. And I hadn't seen my sister for about two years, just because of traveling and stuff. And I was on the phone to her. She's like, oh, hey, how are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And literally, like, we hadn't spoken or anything. Her and her husband. Now, okay, they do travel of fair amount you know they'll go on like five trips around europe for the year so i mean it's not that rare for them but i think that this is like this is like serendipitous coincidence like you can't imagine she just says to me yeah um hey what you doing i said yeah i know what you're up to this weekend she says no me me and my husband we're going to copenhagen i said no you're not she said i am why i said i'm literally going on a business trip here thursday and so i literally got to be there with my sister straight after the business trip it was like I can't believe, I mean, of all the chances to us to go to the same country, I mean, I'd never been to Denmark ever before. Um, she'd never been to Denmark. They basically just decided Denmark because there was some sort of Euro special thing, whatever the case would be. It was like, I don't even know how that happened. It was just such a crazy coincidence. Absolutely insane. So at least, yeah, I did get to hang around with her in Denmark. It was very cool. Uh, if you can move, where, where would you move? Um, 
Oof, I don't know, hey? I'd have to check out places. Obviously, uh, you know, on the face of it, English first language speaking is a thing. But I mean, you know, I could always learn a new culture, but that, that's a biggie. All right, peeps, Penny is about to defeat Harvey. Penny has defeated Harvey. Easily, in fact. Holy moly. Sorry, Harvey. And so it was that the last of the gentlemen fell. Shooey. Only three wonderful ladies remain. I really wish I could live in one of the prime spots for viewing the eclipse tomorrow. Yeah, Bald Beaver, we were, ch we were chatting about that. I literally don't even have the eclipse here. Um, it would be really cool. For anyone who doesn't know, there's going to be a full eclipse. So you know when it goes dark and stuff? That's what's happening. That's what's happening tomorrow, but not where I live. It's Northern Hemisphere. Um, I only know about the states having it. Uh, I assume other places in the Northern Hemisphere, but I know it's been like a, a big hyped up thing in the United States. And I did hear that there is going to be, or is forecast to be quite a lot of cloud cover. So I'm really sorry if anyone has that. Uh, East Canada too? Yeah, sorry. I say the states, uh, yeah, North America. Um, sorry to forget uh, Canada. I've been, I've been to Canada as well, peeps. I've been to more of Canada than I have of America. Can't, can't forget Canada. Uh, it'll probably rain here because reason, says Grex. Harvey just needs to learn. It's not nice to murder people. Okay. <laughs> Get wrecked, Harvey, says Drew. Western Mexico across the US and up to Eastern Canada. Okay, so only that continent, huh? I suppose it'll be nighttime in Europe, so they won't see anything. I don't know about Asia, the other side. It's today, April the 8th. Yeah, sorry, peeps. Time zones. It was it was tomorrow, and now it's today. You're sad about Harvey? Sorry, Kit. Harvey's out. And sad about Shane? Shane's out. Visit New Zealand? I should. I always hear good things. I have a really good friend in New Zealand. Uh, at first, he lived in Tauranga, and now he lives in Auckland. So I must go, I must go visit. Pretty obvious who you're marrying? No, Buckling. What are you talking about? You have two of the favorites on the other side. You think it's obvious? Are you are you implying that Penny is going to win? I mean, you could be right, for all I know, but you could be wrong. Because I think the last two people in here are hugely popular. Okay. Peeps, the final semi-final before the final. Yep, that's how we're saying that. Is an absolute, absolute shocker here. Leia versus Maru. So for anyone who doesn't know, I'm sorry for everyone who's getting the speech for the hundredth time, but we got to kind of make sure that everyone knows. Um, Maru, in fact, peeps, I think we'll do this after a stretch break. I do need a, after all that hype train, <laughs> I should have stretched a little while ago, but um, we'll do this as I get back. But it's going to be Maru uh, versus Leia. I'll give the little rundown of their personalities the moment I'm back, and then you can all vote for it. Um, I'll tell you some anecdotes. Leia, for instance, has attacked me with a hammer before. Leia, Leia beat me up with a hammer before and did make me a statue of a poo. So, yeah, there's, there's that. It's happened. Leia, Leia did make me this poo statue over here. Be beautiful, huh? But I will give you all a full rundown. I'm just going to literally be two minutes, peeps. I'm just going to literally stand here on the side and reach down to my toes and reach up for the ceiling. Quickly get a straight break. Uh, choppers off to bed. Um, have a good one. Ferrets off to bed. Midnight Toker. Man, is this, we, we, we've taken as far as we can with a lot of people. Could have stretched four to five times. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm terrible at it. Peeps, I'll be back in just a little moment. If you are enjoying yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do think about dropping a follow. I'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. To sell the stuff. We've got about 150, but I, I honestly think because it's day zero, I think I don't think it matters. No, we do. Quickly. Uh, get there, Dunks. Type it. Once you have not met the prophet. I can't! I can't! I'm sure! I don't let you be the last day! No, 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 no! We have your stuff! We have your, we have your prophet! We have your prophet! Just let us go! Let us go! You didn't meet the prophet quota before the deadline. I'm gonna stay in the ship with the walkie talkie, and if you find a doorway, let me know, and I'm gonna try to open it. And I'll let so you know. Literally, what it looks you're like. gonna sit, stand here where it's safe. And if I find a door, you will may or may not open it for me. <laughs> yes. Am I understanding it. that correctly? That's correct. Okay. I'm All right. Back. Really? You already got a V8 engine? Back. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> we open the door, he instantly finds loot and leaves. <laughs> Alert, drop your metallics now, static charge is... Oh my god, it's lightning! <laughs> oh my god! 
Why, game? The game just refuses to give us any successes. Do you really think Tommy's gonna leave without oh, taking me. the loot? Okay, I think that was I it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I mean, this game is so cool. You're up. like, sweet. We're actually gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game refuses to give us anything. Ever. Why is Zor the cleaner? Uh, drop, drop the and grab the dustpan and then bring all the stuff back to the ship. Wow. <laughs> That's so rude. Oh, well, I can do it. Fine. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's all it's the wrong way. Yeah, I was about to say that's quite funny. That's, that's the wrong way as well. <laughs> I still believe you. You can do it. <laughs> oh, I mean. <laughs> okay, it's all. You're. It's all. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, there you are. Where's Dunks? Uh, I think he's dead. <laughs> there was a big piece of scrap that he dropped. If you're brave, I can show you where he was. Or can he change you? Oh, oh boy. Probably. I it was the ah! Ah, get on me! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy. Hey, <laughs> so it's just sore now. Which way is out? Which way is out? Which way is out? Well, that's unfortunate. Hey, Zor. Let's see what Zor's getting oh, up to. Yeah. Uh. yeah, I'm here. Can you see Dunks I, on the monitor? I think he's dead. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he hasn't moved for a long time. Maybe I fell asleep. Should we go out and try to find him? Nope. Five <laughs> bucks isn't worth it. Let's leave it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like zero hesitation. <laughs> Qualified success. Sorry, Dunks. <laughs> we'll share a brew with the spaceport for you. Yeah, so, um, quick question. Mm-hmm. Why are you a dick? <laughs> what? I heard how fast you noped. Everyone heard it. It was like, should we go like, <laughs> like nope? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Fake news. I've literally never, ever, <laughs> ever heard something come out of someone's mouth so quickly. <laughs> I have heard that a rattlesnake can bite a balloon twice before it pops, and even its bite is only one eighth the speed of your nope. All right, I am back. For anyone who's just joined us, honestly, this is probably the single most exciting stream that's ever happened anywhere, ever. We are making, or we are deciding today, who I am going to marry in the digital world, in this one particular game. Which is super exciting, right? Is there anything better than that? We are down to the final three contestants. We are through to semi-final number two. Who is ready for this? This is an epic showdown. I have no idea who's going to win this one. Who does everyone think is going to win here? It's between Leia and Maru. So this is Leia. Uh, the clips crack you up. Every time, peeps, if you like the clips, Zor is not innocent. If you like the clips, please do subscribe to the YouTube, exclamation mark YouTube. Uh, there's a whole bunch of clips. There are some Stardew Valley clips. You can see all my girlfriends dumping me. That's a thing. Um, you can see a fairy. It came in and gave us bubonic plague. Uh, you can see a whole bunch of things that happen over there. Um, do get your votes in. Do get your votes in. All right. So let me quickly give you all the rundown for anyone who doesn't know. A lot of you do know. This is Leia. Look at her. She's wonderful. She is very sweet and kind for the most part. However, we do have a little bit of history, Leia and I. We've gone through quite a bit. I um, was advised by you people in chat that I should try and kiss Leia when we only had um, six hearts. And Leia then attacked me with a hammer. So Leia has attacked me with a hammer before. There she is. She has attacked me by a hammer before uh, because I tried to kiss her. Um, I also might have punched her ex-boyfriend. She might have looked at me like that, all angry. Um, she was pretty upset with me when she found out that I had multiple boyfriends. Uh, girlfriends, sorry. She made me a statue of Pooh. There's the statue I, of Pooh right over there. She made this for me. That's, that, that's a Leia original. That little Pooh emoji right there. That she, she did that. But what talent she has. Why did she do that, you ask? Because she's an artist. So she's heavily into sculpture 
and painting or at least drawing anyway on the beach um and if i were to marry leia i would definitely be into sort of like the finer things in life you know she's she's all about like just hanging out in nature and picking like the perfectly ripe apple and just all that kind of stuff you know so that's that's leia all right there she is it'll just be a nice calm kind of life obviously she's very artistic doing all sorts of drawings this particular picture of her makes her look slightly more realistic than that uh if that's what appeals to you then um potentially that's what you're looking at this is maru unassuming maru maru is literally the oh my goodness cell thank you so much for the raid how's it going okay peeps we might have to do all of that all over again right now cell thank you so much for the raid that's mighty kind of you how was your time over in the valley this is fine super great take my berries it's your fate thank you for the berries cell mightly mightly kind of you. peeps if you don't know cell go check out cell cell was playing some stardew as well earlier i don't know how your stardew was going for anyone that's just joined um i am busy deciding who to marry i've been playing this game for one reason and one reason only it's not to have a farm which i do have i've got a farm i've been in the mines i've done all the community well most of the community center stuff but all i've been trying to do is find love 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 and i've narrowed it down now to three people it's been a bit checkered for me um at first i romanced all the ladies and then i won't say spoilers for sell but something happened and then i had to romance all the men and then something happened there but anyway long story short now i can marry whoever i want and um i'm busy deciding who to marry now who to marry now it's down to the final three and we're all busy voting on it it's delightfully addictive i'm glad that you had fun with it it's such a cool game um it's really really fun uh, the joy about it is it kind of gives you whatever you want. So if you want to play it as a dating simulator, it gives you that. If you want to play it as a farming game, it gives you that. If you want to just build up, it's awesome. If you want to go adventure, it's awesome. And the thing that I like the most about this game is the little events that happen the whole time are just awesome. So you're like, hey, it's everything kind of seems same, 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 same. And all of a sudden, like, there's an event, which is just really cool. And you're like, wait, what? That happens in spring? That happens in winter? What? This thing? So, yeah, it's just really cool. You've not romanced anyone yet? Take your time. That's what I've done. Dating simulator with farming minigame running in the background. Pixelated Greek, uh, a geek, I agree with you wholeheartedly on that. Folks, again, um, we did do a shout out. If you don't know Cell, go check out Cell. Go say hello. Plays all manner of games. Is currently busy playing some Stardew Valley right now. And thank you so much for thinking of us. Cell. I really do appreciate it. Mightly, mightly, mightly kind of you. For realsies. Same, same Harvest Festival. All of them. I wasted no time. Yeah, Sergeant Striker said, I want Haley. Went in there and married Haley. All right. So, peeps, here's the current vote. This is semi-final number two. Every single person that you can date in the game, every male, every female, was on the list. We are now down to the final three, which is Leia, Maru, and Penny are on the list. The rest of them have all been voted out, interestingly enough. So, I was just giving everyone a rundown of Leia. Uh, long story short, Leia is an artist. Leia likes to sculpt. Leia may or may not have assaulted me with a hammer once upon a time because I tried to kiss her. Um, Leia, right? Leia wears an apron out of the kitchen. How, how unusual. All right, Leia, that's it. And Leia likes Holly, of course. Also, okay, sorry, I didn't say the one bad part about Leia. Leia is the only person in the entirety of the valley who did not like my tortillas. For anyone who does know, I found the dream thing the one time. It's something that every single person likes. It was corn season and I was making tortillas and I was like hey have a tortilla have a tortilla have a tortilla it's how I got most of my hearts just handing out tortillas like they were nothing to everyone and everyone's like I like you thank you what a great gift that's what except for Leia Leia's the only person who didn't like my tortillas and I don't know if you can marry someone we'll see who doesn't like your tortillas you know one morning I'm like hey I'm making tortillas and she'll be like not for me thanks so I don't know that is her one dark side then there's maru now maru is super duper duper smart maru is the smartest person in the valley maru can literally create a sentient robot life she is really really smart and very awesome and she is kind and to be honest she's never really done anything out of turn she seems really sweet and awesome i see that she can have pictures like this of her as well apparently um so you know she, she she's multifaceted she 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 has the whole the whole works right but one problem with maru 
And I know this sounds like you're like, that's not a problem. Maybe Maru is too smart. Okay. I'm a little bit scared that like Maru's going to be there. Sorry for everyone who's heard the story 10 times, but I am scared of this. I'm going to be there and all Maru's colleagues are going to be there and they're going to be like, hey, um, do you think that this, you know, astronomy, chemistry, biology, science, you name it, they're all talking about it. I'm like, uh, so is it true that the moon is made of cheese? And they'll be like, oh, Maru, your husband truly is a interesting specimen. <sighs> I actually have a funny story about this, right? I shared that thing happened to me in real life. I was at someone's house once. Um, I was probably about, I don't know, 19. And I'd had a bit to drink. And I stumbled into this room. Now, my friend has, like, really intellectual parents. Like, super intellectual parents. Um, one of them is, like, a really, like, high-powered lawyer. The mom and the dad. I don't even know what he does. Anyway, long story short, the whole family is just, like, really intelligent really like intellectual and they're all sitting there and they're like oh no no come come speak with us and i had no idea what was going on i don't know if it's because i had had a bit too much to drink but i just sat there like what the freak is going on i have no idea and they're like oh what do you think the youth of today the blue blah, blah. And i was like i have no idea what's happening absolutely no idea and then at one point i even remember like one of them said to someone else it was like a thing like along the lines of one guy says something he's like I think that Nisha said it best. And then the one person says, I agree. And then this dude on the other side of the goes, ha, 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 I knew you'd like Jonathan. I knew it. I, I was like, I have, what? I did not pick up that subject. I have no idea what's going on. Absolutely no idea. It was literally like a comment like, I agree. And they just were like, ha, 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 I knew you'd like Jonathan. It was, it was weird. It was very strange. Um, anyway, long story short, that might happen to me with Maru. That very similar kind of situation and that's obviously the downside of Maru. The upside about Maru is her dad hates me and he was a dick to me. And because of that, obviously, I also do want to pursue her with the passion of like a thousand sons. Because quite frankly, you know, stuff that guy for getting in my way. So I wasn't even really that interested in her until he was like, hey, stay away from my daughter. And then I was like, well, now I cannot stay away. You have literally said the one thing that I can never stay away from. So that is the positive of Maru. So let's get the vote up. Maru versus Leia. Who's it going to be? Her parents argued over if tomorrow is a fruit or a vegetable. You'll be fine. Okay. Whether you marry Maru or don't, you will still believe the moon is cheese. That is true as well. Being friends with Maru means surviving on the winning side when Skynet takes over. Could be. Can't have the fragile male ego wooed by a smart girl. No, 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 no. Nothing like that, Fancy Drew. Nothing to do with males or females or anything like that. Just kind of like, you know, Maru, Maru is very intellectual and, you know, I'll just be running my farm and my stream. And uh, she's very intellectual. Like, extremely intellectual. That's, that's, that's the, the issue. Uh, I saw Maru as therapy to work through that moment. There you go. So the downside is Maru is that you're intimidated by your intellect. Well, as I say, it does come down to... I mean, I... I don't know. I wouldn't want to... I would hate to not to be able to hold my own intellect with someone. Like, you could use the word in intimidated if you'd like. But, I mean, imagine just knowing for free... That you can't stimulate your partner intellectually. That might be quite something, you know? You can be sweet and kind and funny, but, you know, they're often there, like, earning... Like, the Maru's going to win a Nobel Prize. Like, it's it's going to happen, you know? Peeps, the poll is up. Get your votes in. Holy moly, it's really close. Holy moly, super close. As a bit honest, tomatoes are berries, technically. There you go. You will not hold her back. She will lift you up, says Dav. I did hear the cutscene with Dimitri hits different if you're a female farmer. Really? Hmm. Um, okay, okay, I respect that self-reflection. That makes sense. Yeah, no, as I say, not, not, nothing nothing to do with males, nothing to do with females. Literally just to do with, you know, she's really, like, super smart. You know? Like, super duper smart, works in a lab, and she's literally just left school. She's also just a nurse as, like, a side job. She's, like, one of those characters from, like, a, from a TV show. She's, like, a pretender, you know? I just, I'm just a nurse in my spare time. No problem. One of the men have forgiven me. I'm busy with my work. I can't speak to you. Oh my god. Leia sculpts poo and hates to tears. Enough said, says so. <laughs> Holy moly, this is close, peeps. This is a super close vote. Get your votes in if you have it. As someone who literally did marry someone significantly smart, it does hurt the soul sometimes, not being able to keep up with her. There you go. I just, I, I don't know. 
And you know what the worst thing is? You people know me. I also, I don't know. The worst thing is I, I try, I try to be smart. That's the worst thing. I try to like keep up and then I would just sort of frustrate them and myself, you know, because I would want to be there and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I, I bothered to read this thing. I read that and they'd be like, oh my God, that's last season's opinion. No, no, but I really try to keep up. I promise I did. I did. My wife is super smart. I can relate to this dilemma. There you go. Vote is up. Clicky, clicky. Yep. Hit that stash. Peeps, get your votes in. It seems like Maru. Holy moly, I did. Uh, Maru's going through to the finals, maybe? Leia's in there with a shout, though. Ooh, ooh. Leia Best Bay. I know some people literally vote for other people in this because they don't actually know um, or they don't want me to date the person that they're dating. I love that this game could cause, like, possessiveness like that. That's fantastic. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> that's when you know that a game is working properly. You know? No, no, Doug, you can't have Haley. I've married Haley. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. It's wonderful. That's when you know a game's done it right. I don't know what that thing is. Got so lost in Doug's chatting, forgot to vote. Sorry, peeps, you must vote. You must vote. Oh my gosh, it seems like it's going to be... So far, if it stays as well, it's going to be Penny versus Maru. Holy moly. I agree, it was hilarious from that day one. People were like, so it's so number one, and don't take... Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, Abigail's the best. Don't you dare marry Abigail. But you said they were the, don't you marry Abigail. They are the best, and that's why you must never marry them. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I will, I won't. This sounds a bit conceited, but I'm a lot smarter than my wife. I think it's cute. It says tasty. As I say, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a gender role thing. It's just, it, it is quite something if someone is super duper intelligent. And I mean... I suppose, you know what the other thing is, though? I, I, I'm going to speak like a Dungeons & Dragons player, though. I guess there is always this, though, right? There's intelligence and there's wisdom. And uh, just because someone is intelligent doesn't mean that they are as wise as you. And that can kind of be uh, reflected into lots of different spheres. So I suppose she will never understand, you know, the, uh, the intricities of the dating dynamic in Stardew Valley. Because she'll be working in her lab while I'm at home playing video games, you know? So she'll never know that, you know? She might never know what for the horde means, you know? Th 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 things like that. And I, I can hold that. I can be like, ha-ha! You haven't... <laughs> you haven't watched as much Game of Thrones as I have. You have no idea what's going on. So maybe, maybe I can have those victories. Dunk speaks facts. I'm trying. Intelligence is knowing tomatoes are a fruit. Wisdom is not putting in a fruit salad. I have heard that one before, Pixelated Geek. I like it. Is Timey marrying anyone? Nah. Timey, Timey says his only love in this game is mayonnaise. He takes it to bed. I, I know that sounds weird, peeps, but it actually is true. Nerds need street smart partners to survive. There you go. That's true. And, you know, maybe it would be a good pairing because I am a farmer, you know? And by a farmer, I mean I'm someone who delegates all my farming duties to Arcasia. Do you think Arcasia will still farm for me when they marry to Abigail, though? She'll totally school you in a lot of geeky things and you'll learn and grow more. I hope so. We'll see. Cheat, cheat code. I'm smart. I read it and worked for HBO for 14 years and got to see Game of Thrones before it aired. <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, or, or you could work the farm while she's in her lab. I like that, but then she'll probably come in and say, did you remember to combine that strain with that strain? I'll be like, what are you talking about? I've been a farmer for 30 years. Like, yeah, but it's known. Oh, Okay. Hey, G-Max, how's it going? For anyone who's just joined, there's a vote up. Get your votes in. This is a crazy close vote. Who am I going to marry? Am I going to marry a um, wonderful artist and sculpture, Leia, who is very sweet and likes the outdoors, and a nice glass of wine and a bit of um, goat's cheese? Or am I going to be with Baru, who just has her nose in the books the whole time and is super smart, building robots and such? Get your votes in. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Am I going to be the trophy husband to Maru? If it's a tie break, do you not marry anyone and let a bestie Krobus move in? <laughs> I mean, maybe in the final. May, I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know when Krobus becomes the thing. I think if he'd got to level 50 hype trade, I think Krobus just would have become it. Vaughn would have only suffered if you married. Oh, uh, if you married Abigail. I understand. I've done zero work. Why am I so hooked? Riot here because this is very important. For anyone who's just joined, we're busy determining streamers' love life. It's fantastic and wonderful. And thank you so much for the follows, folks. Sorry, I didn't say thank you 
one by one. I do generally have the followers turned off, so I just do like a group. Thank you, thank you. Do you guys really vote against Leia and risk yourself the ire of a redhead? That is true. Um, also, folks, what, like, yeah, apparently the redheads all get to the end. Is that the way, is that the way it is? The redder your hair, the, the easier it is to get to the final round. We could have had Krobus at a level 50 trade. I mean, there must have come a point where I'm like, I just have to stop streaming and I'm never getting married, you know? Deadly Kitten, do you, do you, do you regret that now? Only stopping at 11. Not phoning your bank manager then and there. That's the way of the world. Red hair for the win. Uh, Elliot got eliminated though. Elliot's blonde. Elliot's blonde to me. Does, do you think Elliot is red? I think, I, sorry, I consider Elliot as blonde. Good old Elliot. Um, it's fine, her weakened immune system is no match for us tough non-rangers. There we go. Folks, this poll is really, really, really close. Now's the time to get your votes in. Don't wait till the end so you can make it a draw, as some of you I know do often. Uh, let's not make that a thing. Elliot is blonde or strawberry blonde at best. Yeah, that's what I would think. But no, that's super red. No, Elliot. No, Elliot's blonde. Elliot's... We think of the same person, instrument, though. Elliot. Hold on. Elliot. Elliot's blonde. Elliot. He's like Fabio. I left out two L's. I mean, I can see why you see it as... I just kind of always saw him as red. I mean, I see that this person thinks the same as you. Um, I don't know. I, I, I kind of saw him like this. It seems... Oh my god, peeps, is this... Is Elliot like the... Um, is Elliot the... The dress with the blue and white stripes versus the green and gold. I think this guy's blood. What does everyone think? Blonde or redhead? Elliot Gate, he's ginger. Elliot is strawberry blonde. I kind of thought of his Fabio, but I see a lot of people give him like reddish hair. Whoa, that makes him kind of different in my eyes now. Wait, this is what people think Elliot is? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't see him like that. I see it. This is Elliot to me. This is Elliot. See, there's Elliot. I've been writing a book. I can't believe it's not better. See? Elliot. Good old, good old Elliot. Right there. Holy moly. Okay, well, I, I honestly thought of him as blonde, but I guess I can kind of see what you're saying. Hmm. Oh my god, Maru has beaten Leia. Holy freaking moly. Peeps, we're through to the final. Darkish blondest. Those Fabio vibes, huge. Huge Fabio vibes. Yanni and Laurel. Um... New poll? Yeah, screw the relationship. What color is Elliot's hair? <laughs> Fabio never wrote any books, only posed for the covers. I'm not sure Fabio ever read a book. I actually think that's... Okay, now, Katrin, I... I don't think that he had this, but believe it or not, he actually did write some books. I don't know if he actually did, though. But that was kind of the thing that they did. Um, there are some of them that I believe were kind of authored. So there, he, he wrote Pirate here, you see. By Fabio Lanzini and Eugenia Riley. Now, I do probably believe... See, this one's only done to him. So, he actually apparently did write them. But again, would I think it was a scandal if someone's like, well, he actually didn't write it. Um, there was a ghost author and they just put him, maybe. But yeah, apparently he did write this book, some of these. So, he wasn't just on the cover. He did, he did author some, apparently. Maybe. So, so that's it. Dangerous by Fabio. Eh? Sad I never read this one. Separated forever from a reckless lover. Hmm. See, so yeah, so he, 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 he apparently again wrote it. See, he's the author. Fabio. And you can win the Fabio fantasy date just by getting this book? Wow, I wish I'd bought it when I knew that. Okay. <laughs> Flashbang! <laughs> Fabio's not dumb. I have no idea his intelligence. For all I know, Fabio's the smartest person in the world. All I know is that he can take out a duck with his face. Or a goose or whatever it was. Wrote, sadly, those are picture books. Yeah, again, I don't really know what's it. No, I mean, they're not picture books. They are... You know, I feel like if you go to, like, any page, there's probably at least one bosom heaving on each page. Her bosom heaved. Is strong, ox-like bottom, pulsated. You know, that, 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 that kind of book. I don't really know what any of that means, but that, that, that particular kind of 
tail. Mm. He took her in his big, bulging biceps, looked her in the eye. Her lip quivered. Uh, and yes, I can't believe it's not better. I think I'm misunderstanding the ad algorithms better with these five. Oh, yes, okay. That's true. For anyone who doesn't know, my ad algorithms do send me interesting things. It's the it's the topics of discussion we have here. Okay, Keisha, I don't think we're going to get these juicy bugs. I don't think it's for us. Do we not have bug meat? Collect a bunch of bug meat. Place it next to the bug meat in the barrel near Willie's house. Two days left. I don't think we're going to get this. Hmm... All right, folks, super duper duper exciting. How many of you thought it would be Penny versus Maru in the final? I didn't see that happening, if I'm honest. I I don't know, Leia was in there, Abigail was in there. Shane, you peeps were gunning for Shane hard. Obviously, old Harvey was in there. Sebastian, the number one, the number one most romance person in all the game, kicked out in the first round. Holy moly. Ride the minecart. Yes, I'm just going to go see if I can do anything here been a while since I've been here. Okay, I am not doing too well on any of these things. My girl's in the final! So you're going Team Penny, huh? Actually, I think I need the stuff for fish bait. I'm done working! Have we had a marriage? We're through to the final, Miss Bell. It's the final two. It's Maru versus Penny in the final. Much as I want to see you put a ring on my girl Penny, I have to get some sleep. Nighty night, Duncan. Have a great rest of your Fancy Drew. Always a pleasure seeing you. You have yourself the best night. Have a good one. All right, peeps, we're going to do it during the next day. I'm just quickly going to see if I can get these bugs. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere close to this bug meat I require. The big playoff, this is it, peeps. A nice long 10-minute poll. I want you to all think long and hard. Who do you want? We're going to look at a few pictures here. We're going to look at some fan art. We're going to have some best of moments. Someone won the prize? Kuro? No, we're through to the final. Okay. I don't know why I'm harvesting when there's a ladder right here. See, all I can think about is the wedding. No, I think this bug meat... You know, it's fine. I don't think we really need the cash. I think this bug meat quest is a bust. Okay, we're through to the final, folks. This is it. The moment we've been waiting not one day for, not two days for, freaking ten days in Stardew Valley. I said I was going to find true love, and now it is all happening. Down to the last two. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm going to do once I find true love. I suppose get married and um, plant a lot of crops and fill out this community center over the next season. Cue the montage of clips of you with each other. Yeah. I kind of wish that Leia one was in here in the final of Leia, like, um, beating me up with a hammer. You still haven't had breakfast? Good lord, Sim. Go get some. A secret wish Elliot made. I'm at work, you can only listen. Also, voting doesn't warn me for some reason. Can someone tell me who are the finest? Kershi, it is Penny and Maru. Oop, go Maru. Again, for anyone who doesn't, Maru is literally the least romanced person in all of Stardew. That's what it is. All right. Maru. Okay, this is Maru. This is what you peeps have got through to the final. I feel like this is Maru after an explosion. She's got like patchy patchy thing written over there. Here's Maru. 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 Okay, and... Penny, 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 what the heck's going on here? Penny with a Winchester M97 in Stardew Valley. Man, you gotta, you gotta love yourself some fan art, huh? Penny, 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 Penny. These are the two that we're going for. It's either Sweet Kind Penny, I'd honestly say Penny is probably... The sweetest, kindest person in here. She was the most sort of broken up after I um, dumped them or after they all found out I was cheating. She was the saddest. 
She literally couldn't talk to me. She was super sad. If there's a downside to Penny, Penny is too vanilla. I don't think Penny would be the most fun. I don't think she'd be the most exciting. But I do think that Penny has a very sweet side. I think she would make a wonderful, wonderful wife and mother as well. She looks after the kids. And um, or she, she, she is a teacher, so she's already got lots of experience there. Um, so yes, Penny, what's not to like, right? Sweet, lovely, caring, wonderful Penny. As I say, if anything's a downside, maybe too vanilla. Then we've got Maru. Maru is super duper duper smart. Maru is the smartest. But here's Maru and Penny. What's going on in here? Apparently, uh, maybe I'm the one that made it through to the final and they're the ones that need to decide. So this is Maru. Maru super smart. Maru can have like, uh, can build robots. Maru is a nurse. Maru is a scientist. Maru is just super intelligent. I don't know what's going on here. Maru can be in the clouds on a... Uh, just stick to the normal images. I don't, I don't know. Astronomer. Yep, she's an astronomer. Maru is just super duper duper smart. So Penny, Maru. I've said all the downsides and the upsides. You can decide. Obviously, Maru would really piss off her father if I married her. So that's that's a thing. That's why we're doing it. Penny comes with quite the mother. No, listen, I love Pam, hey? Pam's fantastic to Luda Fluff. Pam is amazing. Pam drinks a lot of vodka. She sounds like this. She's wonderful. Peeps, well, the final thing, let's put the maximum time on the vote there. Moderators, the final. Who is going to win? Penny versus Maru. Penny equals boring wife, Maru equals mech automated farm. No, but Penny's super sweet, hey? Sorry, I mean, I make it sound like Penny's boring. Penny is really nice. Penny is literally kind and wonderful. And like I say, would make um, a really, really good mother to prospective farm children and is caring. So Penny definitely does have a, a lot of upside as well. As I say, the downside would maybe be in there. Who is going to win, peeps? Get your votes in. Let yourself be heard there. Currently neck and neck. Currently neck and neck. This is very exciting. Who's it going to be, peeps? Petty versus Maru. Uh, Dunk is obviously trying to influence it. Obviously, no, I, um, I promote them both. I promote them both. I try to give the good sides and the bad sides. If you marry Maru, you also have Robin as mother-in-law, which is a plus. Oh. I don't know, huh? Imagine every day. As I say, if, if, if Robin was an option, I think Robin would probably be here in the finals. Robin, Robin's the real deal, huh? Robin, Robin's a goodie. I think I think if Robin was uh, to be a romance, they'd be right up there. Mannequin was trembling. Those mannequins are terrible. Holy crap, he just pole is nuts. This is my life. My life is being adjudicated by 50-50 poles. Someone else who uses coop huts for extra storage. Yeah, I've got a, a bit of a weird one. Holy moly, folks. For anyone who hasn't voted, this is really important. Get your votes in. <gasps> oh my god. All right. Maybe we should kind of... I mean, I feel... Okay, Penny, peeps. Again, sweet, kind, vanilla. Super intelligent. Pro probably too intelligent. I might just be their trophy husband. Um, might just be far too smart for me, Maru. But obviously, other than that, sweet, kind, often going to blow herself up, Maru, you know? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Is this meant to be the in real life Penny? Eh. Guess similar-ish looking. I thought this Penny do this, the back of the hair. Does she literally just take her hair and then roll it up like a, like a sleeping bag? How do you do that? Did the 33 for Maru? Oh, a tie, no. If Dunk gets married with Maru, they will call their son Romba like the robot vacuum cleaner god. Oh god. The Roomba. Okay. <laughs> okay. Penny. Maru. This is it. Peeps, I'm gonna get married. This is Maru's mother who everyone would go for. If uh, they could. Hey. Oh, hey, farmer. Hey, Maru. How you doing? Mm. Hey. 
I love how people go very different ways with these fan arts. Um, that's for sure. <laughs> the fan arts can go a very, very a different kind of directions, if you see what I'm saying. All sorts of different, different interpretations of what's happening here. Uh, we'll stick to the game images as our final images. We have to fight. This is it. It's literally, it's literally the final vote. It's currently uh, one vote. Maru's currently edging Penny by one vote. Who's it gonna be, folks? Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's currently a tie. Oh. Uh, kids, I wasn't laughing at anyone's art. I would never, ever, ever laugh at anyone's art. I laugh at the different interpretations of what people think the person looks like. And some of them obviously uh, meant to create humor. Uh, their top ones gets blurry further down, Dunk. <laughs> Let's help get the numbers for Romancing Maru up, says LCG. Keeps this... Oh my god. I mean, this is a final though, right? This is what you want the final to be like. Holy crap. Ooh. This is super close. Oh my god. Come on, Maru. Peeps, for anyone who doesn't know this, currently 50-50. 41 votes for Penny, 41 votes for Maru. I know anyone who's on Android cannot vote. So they're all sitting there going, what the heck? What the heck? Why can't I vote? I'm so sorry. Yep, Kershi's one of those. There we go, peeps. Maru's winning by one vote. Maru's winning by two votes. This is the furthest anyone's been, a been ahead. Maru's winning by three votes. Penny's coming back slightly. Penny, two votes. Holy moly. Penny's losing by one vote. Currently, it's currently 44-43 to Maru. It's now 45-43 to Maru. Oh my god, it's 44-45 to Penny. It's 46 to Penny. Oh my god, Penny just pulled it by head by one. Oh my god! Penny wins by one vote to Maru. Holy freaking moly. By one vote, Maru was ahead by like three votes, two votes, one vote, one vote, one vote. It was tight at Penny. Literally right at the end, peeps. I'm gonna marry sweet, lovely Penny. Sweet. No! No! Says lots of people. Livid! No! Peeps. What a stolen vote. Stop the count. Rigged. That is so close. Peeps, I honestly think if we do that vote like three times, we'll get different outcomes. That is... One of the closest polls I've ever seen, ever. Holy freaking moly. Boo this game. Morea's better for Tybee. No, you cannot do that, says Shadow Wolf. One vote with 51% of the vote, Penny, 49% Maru. I demand a recount. Oh, wow, that was nuts. I think Dunk voted last minute. I didn't vote last minute. I'm not voting. I don't know these people, says Eric. <laughs> That's why Maru is the least romanced character. Yeah, poor Maru is the least romanced. Yeah, Maru, we're not going to add one for that marriage thing there. Revote, says Ryaka. So marrying Diet Leia? Holy moly. What was your vote? No, I don't vote. I don't vote. That was a crazy roller coaster. That was a crazy roller coaster. Well, now we all need to trick Duncan. Just clicking the 10 heart. Diet Pam. Uh, I don't know. Holy moly. I'm going to go to bed and think about what's happened this night. Um, rigged again. Revote. I've never seen people call for revote. Peeps, one vote. I'm sorry. That is that is enough of a margin. That's how it works. People was... I mean, I could tell at the end it, like, jumped. A few people... I know what some of you were trying to do. I think Buckling was one of those. I think people try to, like, tie the votes. That's what they try to do. So, some of that would have been the chaos of people trying to balance it, but too many. Look, this was too close to call. With the whole Android shenanigan, I suggest we call this all null and void. And just take Krobus in, it's the only fair result. <laughs> what a terrible way to start this week, says Dev. Well. Let's get the mermaid pendant. I'm gonna go propose to Penny. I'm nervous now. Peeps, I can't actually believe that. That was super close. And I don't actually know who I preferred between those two. Really and truly, they um, they were neck and neck. I, I really didn't know which decision to make in this game. But that was crazy. I go to bed with this outcome, says Luna Sky. Final vote, Penny versus Krobus. 
No, we, we, we need love. Krobus is a cool roommate, but I need love. You know, Krobus is who I move in with if Penny and I get divorced. Thanks for messing with us. You forget that more people are happy than we're sad. More people voted for Penny. I'm so sorry. Wouldn't it be hilarious if you get rejected? Yeah, actually, I actually don't know if she's going to say yes. That <laughs> would be pretty insane. Does Maru not get the least loved handicap? I'd say like two extra votes. Oh, Maru. You need to win back the guys first and repent your choices. Listen, I do have a shell and I have a wedding ring. Holy moly, that was close. That that was... Folks, can you... So I've got the shell, which you give to someone that you want to marry. And I have this um, crafting item I can make called wedding ring. So... Yeah, wedding ring. So I don't know. Peeps, you know what's just so nice? We're taking, we're taking Penny out of her mom's trailer and we're helping her move to the farm. That's nice. Can she say no? I'm going to fall on my seat laughing if it happens. So don't you dare. <laughs> of course she can say no. She's an old woman. The wedding ring is only for marrying other players. Oh. No, oh, it's all good, dude. How's it going? Um, I hope you're all right. I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. Um, I'm glad that you're feeling better. And it's nice to see you, my friend. Wedding ring's another player, I see. I don't see all these uh, people happy for Penny. I think it was rigged. Folks, if you're happy for Penny, write to chat. Happy for Penny. I think everyone's just being gracious winners. I don't think they want to say, Suck it, Maru lovers. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Maruians. Hmm. You make a good point. I thought perhaps that's it. Boo. Boo. Penny sucks. Folks, this is my wife you're talking about. My freaking wife. You, 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 you honor my wife. I'm going to propose to her the last day of summer. I'm happy for Penny. No one's happy for Penny. Happy for Penny. There we go. Happy for Penny. There we go. Hey. There you have it. Happy for Penny. There we go. Peeps are happy for Penny. I feel sorry for Penny. Happy. See, see a lot of people happy for Penny. Reminds you of an old girlfriend. Nice. We're happy for Penny here, peeps. Hey, I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. So Pam has given me E. What the hell's E? Energy tonic. Oh yeah, that'll be great. Do you think I need to ask for her hand in marriage? What's this? Oh, the moonlight. Oh, peeps, we're going to propose to her on the Jelly Festival Day. This is super exciting. Hey, Penny can't see the fun in alcohol and just wants to pump out kids. Um, I mean, I hear that, but I mean, you know, Penny will, like, Penny will be great for the farm, I think. You know, Maru, Maru would have been great. I think we could have been... Like a really good pair. I think, you know, she would have worked on her science. I would have worked on my agriculture. And together we could have been, you know, like a nice sort of yin and yang kind of situation going on there. But um, with Penny over here, I think Penny will help out on the farm. I think Penny will um, be very thoughtful with me. We're going we're gonna to have to wait and see. I wish Maru was the one who picked because Penny has picked a lot more. But Penny is also really cool. So Penny is the sixth most picked person. For anyone who doesn't know, Maru is literally the least romance person in all the game. Literally the least. Poor Maru. Poor Maru. So if one of you want to get Stardew and go marry Maru, you can go get those up. For a second, I thought Pam had heard the news and was um, sending you ecstasy in the mail for the big night. Here you go, Pix, Lady Geek. I don't know what the E meant. It stands for energy. I'd have worked on my agriculture. Acacia's work totally dismissed. No, but I meant I would have delegated my, my agriculture, Anna. My work is obviously our manager, so I just tell Acacia what to do agriculturally. Maru's most unique event-wise, says Verdi. Verdi, I did not know how that works. So what, you're saying when you marry Maru, it gives you a lot of cool stuff that happens. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Look what you did. She could have been loved. I didn't do anything. You people voted. You people voted. And now you add it to the not marry Zamuru stats. Sad. I didn't add to anything. You folks voted. You you voted. I love the passion here though. Energy. I love the passion here though. This is fantastic. But well, I'm gonna marry Maru in my game. I couldn't decide between her and Abigail. Now I know. Says Zor. Well, there you go. My buddy Zor gonna marry Maru. Keeps me happy for Zor and Maru. Hey Penny. So, do you like to decorate your farmhouse? Oh, no. Not at all, but you can if you want to. <laughs> Only need six more bug meat? Oh, okay. I'm also going to marry Maru, says Dev. All right, hashtag marriages for Maru. 
All the cool Maru stuff is gone now. Now it's just petty and the definitely not cool stuff like beer cans appearing around the house after a while. Peeps were marrying Pam Jr. I mean, listen, I also am in love with her mom. It's happening. <laughs> Was what she said. <clears throat> I think I might have lost my voice. And remember that. Streamer literally destroys his voice live on stream. Can never speak again. <laughs> I will start a new game. And I will marry Maru. Remembering dunks hurt people hurt people. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Took long enough. Do you think she's going to say yes? That sounded painful. Well, how else do you make a three exclamation mark sound? Maru was robbed. I accept. I'll, I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? We're gonna have a full wedding. Uh, Dunkstar, I'm, I'm a little scared. This is such a big change. D don't worry, I'm, I'm really happy too. Hey? Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Dude, your daughter just got engaged, Pam. What do you think about that? He even gives me free beer on my birthday. I mean, we're saving Penny from this. <laughs> it's time to marry Maru and leave town. She was happy. Pam, um, yeah. Priorities. Married in three days. Cool. Wait, I thought we could make out behind the judge mod. No? Huh. Turn in bug parts to prepare for the wedding bliss. Okay, where do I take the bug parts? I must take them to... Willie's house. Oh, crap! I think I could take the bug me back at base. Wait until she stands somewhere. I hope, I hope this works. I think you have to collect and do it. Dunks, no, you didn't. Nah, I think it's fine. I think it's, I think it's fine, dearly kitten. I think, I think it's okay. I think so. I think, I think it's fine. I think it's cool because there's, that's why they have the collect and the dump off. Might have, like, auto-filled it. <laughs> Eric, it's fine. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Please say you didn't trash- No, no, I didn't trash it. I did- I did auto-stack it, though. That's the problem. I filled the stacks automatically. Pip, water? Oh, yeah, little Pip, would you like some water? Dad's getting married, Pip. What do you think? Hey, Pippin? What do you think of- Yeah, he likes Penny. Pip likes Penny. How many days left on the bug meat quest? Uh, today's the last day. Today is it. And then there is no more bug quest. She has a wedding plan. Okay, someone said... Okay, so what? Will Pam say something now that she's standing still? Hey, Pam. Nope. At least we know what Penny's going to look like when she's older, right? You look at the mom. Okay, I'm supposed to take the stuff... To Willa's house. Okay. Try starting at level 10 for bug meat. No zero. Um, not zero. Oh, 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 to get that. Thank you, Catherine. Okay, so sorry, I gotcha. Uh, okay, just doing. I meant when Penny stands still. Okay, I'm gonna go find Penny now. Well, it's 4 a.m. for me. We're staying up uh, to fight for Maru. <laughs> Zor, you stand up to 4 a.m. to fight for Maru. I am the Zor that would fight for Maru's honor. Hey, well, peeps, I know a lot of you. I've inspired a lot of you to go play the game, to go romance. Oh crap! Today's. Oh no, Kasia. Guess what? I think we've been. I think we've chosen poorly, Kasia. I don't even know if we can complete this quest, or Kasia, because the festival's being set up. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I honestly think that's actually not our fault. I think that's just really poor timing, accidental timing. Uh, yeah, have a great night, Zor. Snookered? Ah, oh, crap. That's some bad luck. Really not good. It's not good. But you know what is good, peeps? I'm engaged on the last day of... Summer. I'm gonna have a beautiful fall wedding. You'll see. Also, three days. That's pretty, pretty sudden. Hmm... Now, folks, this is not an option, but can you get divorced in this game? Just kind of curious. Is that is that a thing you can do? 
Well, carry the bug parts regardless, so you can try it. Yeah, I'll give it a go, but I think during most of those events, you can't actually whip out your inventory. Yes, Penny. There's my beloved. Yes, you can. Holy moly. Might be able to turn the evening. I think the festivals are... Nah, I think it's one of those festivals, unfortunately, where you can't use your items. Some of them you can, but I think this is the one where you can't. Where'd she go? Where's Penny, my beloved? Uh, uh, Penny. Where'd she go? Sure can get divorced. Oh, damn. Peeps. No, but it's not an option, hey? You can even turn your kids into doves if you're sick of them, too. <laughs> no, she's going to go tell Maru what... No! Hello. So these two are like best friends. Where, 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 where are you going? Oh my goodness. Someday I'm going to be a world-class inventor. This could have been my wife, this world-class inventor. But can you, uh, can you have a change of heart and remarry the person you divorced? That's a good question, if someone can answer that. You can sprinkle dust onto your pets and have them go on vacation as well. I'll never do that. You're lucky to be friends with me, says Maru. I'm just kidding. Oof. Um, well, er. You have to pay them uh, to have to forget you? <laughs> There's enough money now, go away. Okay, I will. Man, oh man. Wow, that was a tense poll though, huh? Is that family plan meeting? I don't know what's going on there. I think they're just good friends. Hey, they always hang out together. So I was always kind of in that circle, huh? Boom, boom, boom. Can't believe it. I can't believe I'm marrying Pam. What did everyone think? I mean, I always thought that Pam would be one of the favorites. I truly did. I didn't know she would win, though. That's quite something. Oh, sorry, Penny. Penny coming to tell Maru how close she was to marrying you? I wonder if Penny will ask Maru to be maid of honor. Oh God, definitely, actually. <laughs> They're like besties. Pam, yeah, sorry, Pam. Uh, listen, Pam was my first love, hey? I wish you could romance Pam. Pam, Pam's a delicate flower. Catherine, little, 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 little delicate flower. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. You aren't marrying Pam? I wish. Uh, I mean, I'm marrying the closest thing to Pam that I can. It's already begun. Oh my goodness. Do you think we have to look after Pam when she's old? Well, this is Penny's old house. This is Penny's old room. This is the pillow. Still smells like Penny. This is me rubbing myself. So now it smells like me. Marcy and the underground castle is what she reads. Probably should have done a bit more research. Teacher's guide. Okay, so she's a teacher. That's her profession. Could have guessed that one. Fairies, Junimos, and other fables. Okay, so she's into, like, fantasy stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This is where her mom sleeps. This is her mom, this green sludge that you see. Yeah, that's, that's her mom's vomit. That, that's what that is. That's pretty cool. What if I can... Oh, yeah, no, that's... Whoops. Shouldn't have sat in that. Did not mean to. These are the holes in the couch. So, yeah, we're taking her out of here. We're taking her to our beautiful farm. It'll be wonderful. Now that you're engaged, you can change that hobo-looking style. What are you talking about? My character looks fantastic. You don't think so? You think I need a haircut? Oh, sweet peas are in bloom right now. Look carefully, you'll find the door to the sax dungeon. Hmm. I still can't believe how close that pole was. I mean, I've seen close poles, but that one was super close. Wow. And I'm still just waiting for her mum to say something to me. Maybe when she's at the bar. I'm engaged, I'm engaged to your daughter. I can't take this anymore. Now you were meant to be mine. But you can't love vodka and me at the same time, Pam. Hmm. Hmm. I think Chad was trying to tie it. Foiled. Buckling, I think that might have been you. Be sure not to say Pam at the ceremony. <laughs> I might. I might. I might have to. I mean, what do all my other, like, prior engagements say? Sorry, does it actually say fiancé here? Penny, girlfriend, no. Hi, Dunkstar. We've become decent friends, haven't we? 
I'm glad that we can be friends. Um, ba -da -dum. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, well, what a stressful day, but peeps, we did it. We finally found the person I'm marrying. Um, I noticed that half of you are unhappy, but half of you are happy. So I guess that's okay, right? This channel makes 50% of people happy 50% of the time. That's, that's cool, right? Pam seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Oh yeah, that's true. She just got, she just got told the news. Okay. Sim, do you like this? I'm going to buy a blueberry tart. I'm going to try to give this to this lady. Thank you. Marnie's a really hard one to please. At least with the stuff I've tried to give her. The weird thing is that all your dates don't acknowledge your marriage or spouse will flirt with you. So you know what I think is a good game? If any of you are an aspiring game developer, I'm serious. Take the sections of this game that I've done and improve them. So I understand that this game has... um the farming and the caving and all of that and that's cool obviously like having the adventure sides if you can are awesome but take the relationship sides of this game and if you could make it more dynamic so people actually do react when you've got like another girlfriend as she does treat it like the whole town is talking the whole time um i don't know i mean like you know normally the like straight up dating simulator things are just kind of like really cheesy and you know obviously a, a totally different type of genre but if you do that for this game or this type of game, I think it could be something that people would enjoy. So, what do you like to do in the evenings? I like to wash dishes. So this is what my life, this is the, this is what the future holds for me, peeps. This is this is a, a nice little insight into what it'll be like. So Pam gets home at seven thirty and washes dishes till we'll see. Is the seat if you're dating all the girls or all the guys at once? Pixelated Geek, I have got both of those scenes. They were not good. Uh, if anyone would like to, if you subscribe to the YouTube, there's a short on the lady one. There's a game coming out this year that does that sunny side. Okay, that's cool. Um, Sims 4 is kind of like that. Nice. So if you send a vote, is everyone who didn't vote has to be happy with whatever? That is true. Remember, a lot of people couldn't vote because of mobile and Twitch. There's the YouTube link, peeps. Yeah, you can go see a look-see over there with what happened. Coral Island does the dating bit better, nice. Just don't let Penny cook and you'll be fine. Oh, okay, so she washes the dishes. And then Penny retires to her room. So we're just stalking her a little bit. And is in bed by 9.10. And is fast asleep by 9.20. Um, potentially we should have maybe stalked everyone before. You know, figure out what their habits were. I've never seen it. Who's you can get around if you're carrying a rabbit's foot? Yeah, if you would like to see it, it's on the YouTube. You can see what happened. Jellyfish time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jellyfish time. Sorry, I'm coming, I'm coming. Crap. Almost forgot about the jellyfish. Too busy stalking my future spouse. How responsible? She's super responsible. Oof. I don't know. Is this, is this an all of it? I'm, I'm getting cold feet. Do you ever get the urge to go exploring? Well, maybe we'll be neighbors someday. I think we both have similar weird tastes. Or maybe I could have gone exploring. Maybe I don't want to wash dishes till 10 o'clock at night and then go straight to bed. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe I, maybe I should have gone with Abigail. I could go exploring. You know, maybe I do want to explore. <sighs> Anyone else feel like there's a wall around them? No piano jig reminds me of the one scene from Red Dead 2 where Arthur's like, Lenny! We had some good times in Red Dead. I'm happy the jellies choose to visit... Us during their trip south. It's a magical moment. Indeed. In Sunnyside, some of the romance people have gender preferences and affect how they relate to you. Nice. Yeah, so this one obviously makes it that you can date everyone. I'm fine with them. Like, you know, if they do it like games where they're like, this person will only do one, this person will do the other, this person does both. I'm cool with that. When you stare into the ocean, there's a chance there's something there staring back at you. Summer is drawing her clothes. I'm going to miss the long days. Peeps, these are all the, all the lovers. That we didn't get with. The full moon will guide the jellies to our shore. Well, this one we couldn't get with. Hey, you got big plans for the fall? Not really. Oh, there's someone running around a cop? Yes, yes, sorry. Did you think that was just a weird NPC? That's Arcasia. How do the jellies know where to swim if they don't have eyes? I wonder how many will show up this year. I can't go any further on the dock. 
Sounds of creaking wood is causing me to tremble. It's okay, Marnie. I'll help you out, Marnie. Come, Marnie. It's all right. So for anyone who doesn't know Marnie, Marnie's from Australia. Big plans for fall, not really, just getting married. <laughs> Moonlight jellies possess a deep blue aura of mystery. Like, I didn't have time to put on makeup. Do you think anyone noticed in the dark? I noticed, Haley. It's grotesque. Ravens, Dunkster! As the evening sets in, the moonlight jellies draw closer to the shoreline. Once we set the candle bolt in its way, we'll gather around the docks. Hey, kid, you're a farmer, so tell me, can you make jelly out of these things? There's a different kind of jelly that anglers sometimes pull out of the water. Despite the name, they are very different in nature to the moonlight jellies. Every year I make sure to inspect the candle boat and patch any holes. With each passing second, my anticipation grows. Do you see a faint glow on the horizon? That must be them. I do see it, Maru. Alright, and then finally, my beloved. I would have bought us a pot of tea if I had known it would be this chilly. She's a provider, except that she didn't bring the tea. That's, other than that, I mean, she thought of providing. She thought of providing. That, that's pretty cool, huh? Can you turn in the bug parts now? No. I literally can't access my inventory. It's sad. Oh, yeah. More people on the shore. Boring, says Jen. Jen. The candlelight shimmering on the water is simply breathtaking. It looks like a painting. Coming to life. Can we please get... Okay, now that we're done with the marriage business, can we please get a poll? What color is this guy's hair? And peeps, I'm sorry, but strawberry blonde is not going to be on there because that's fence sitting. Blonde or redhead are the options. Can we please get like a, a two-minute poll? Is Elliot blonde or is Elliot redhead? And I know some of you are, oh, but straw if you say strawberry blonde, then you could say blonde, you know? Otherwise, I feel like strawberry blonde is just going to take it. So I always thought of him as being blonde, personally. That, that's what I did. But some of you said he's a redhead. So, I don't know. And a lot of the fan art people also made it redhead. Brown? Okay, we can put brown on there as well. Meg, I guess, if you want to have brown. Okay, no. no. What color is shampoo man's hair? Peeps, what I'm going to vote in this poll, because I think it's blonde. Ooh. What color is a strawberry? No, no, I know, but strawberry blonde is like its own thing, you know? It's a wig. Okay, so most people thought blonde so far, like me. Have any plans for the fall season? I need to decorate my house soon. Mm. Sun bleached. I may only have one good eye left, but I'm sure you'll be spotting these girls to look in the dark. I tapped out a really witty poll. I saw what color shampoo man's hair. It's wonderful. I love it. Sorry, you get blonde or red. Brunettes are not represented. <laughs> George and I. Or is this not your poll? I like shampoo men in there. Ah, oh, the fresh smell of the ocean never fails to satisfy. That's not yours? Well, what was yours then? I got too close to a wave and it soaked my foot. Oh no, Clint, that must be terrible for you. No, she didn't get hers. What did yours say, Sim? What did it say? I like sh I think this one's witty as no. What color is shampoo men's hair? What color is Elliot shampoo men? You can also look at him here. I mean, he does look a bit redder there. Peeps, the vote is up. Currently, more people say blonde than they say redhead. I think he looks blonde to me. So I had to Google it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the people seem to say red there, but to me, he looks blonde. He's blonde. But remember, some of the fan art, he was literally like completely ginger as well. Sam is blonde. I hear you, but there's different types of blondes, you know? Voting bluey. <laughs> okay, let's see the jellyfish come to life. Let's see what's up. Do 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 do. Haley's blonde? Yeah, they 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 sort of like butter blonde. He does have kind of a strawberry blonde, darkish blonde kind of color. Okay, yeah, fifty-seven percent of people reckon blonde. Hmm. Hmm. We are the jellies. Fine, you don't agree with me. I can't make you be right. It's all good, peeps. Differing opinions are fine. I'm just kind of curious, because, yeah, I felt like... A, I thought I was being an idiot, maybe. It just looked like blonde to me. Oh, man, I couldn't vote for the obvious correct choice, says Deadly Kitten. So much could have changed, Deadly Kitten. 
Man, I'm kind of curious if the mobile people could have gone in for the marriage, what would have happened? 20 of you are wrong, says Xenifer. <laughs> he obviously dies. <laughs> you can see his roots. Look at these beautiful jellies, peeps. Hey, and look, I'm actually standing next to Penny. He's light red head. I say most people agree he's blonde. This is where I get sleepy now. I Luna Sky. Now that Dunks is engaged, I am engaged. Dunks like to gaslight us? I don't like to gaslight you. The votes are the votes. Take a look, see, there it is. Maths was the loser. The village is missing a hip hairdresser with all those fancy dyes walking about. <laughs> um, I'm kind of curious with the moderators. I can like I will say that this game does have a lot of sort of um roots for better NPCs as well. I'm not saying the NPCs aren't great, but like different NPCs. Sorry, let me rather use the word different. So even if you want to go for like a lot of like stereotypical characters, there are a lot of people missing. So I could imagine a few mods adding like some interesting characters into the valley. It was fun being your baby girl, but I've been replaced by Penny. Mad Mike, you will always be my baby girl, and you will always be my intern. Oh, Acacia, 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 hold on. I might have to risk not sleeping. Ride, man weasel. Oh, Acacia, can you pick those oranges and the peaches? Actually, I think they'll bloom. Okay, I'm going to risk... Uh, this is probably going to cost us 6,000 gold. Weird titles when you say them together? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so did you manage to get yours in there? I don't know. Right, man, weasel. Right, you fool! <laughs> Boiled by a bush. <laughs> I should have probably taken the thing that teleports me home, huh? Oh no, but we didn't collect enough. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought we did. Wait, did you give up after? Oh, crap. Acacia! They're leaving to sleep here. Acacia! Okay, Acacia! Take it back. It was six short. I did. Sorry. I mean, there is a way I can get out of this. I I could I could just go for a stretch break, you know. This is a quick like five minute stretch break. You know, it's a time time pauses when I'm in this menu, but not 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 for Acacia. Hmm. Do not scum save. Yeah. Yeah. All right, for no apparent reason, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a stretch break. It's it's stretch time. I'm gonna go reach for the ceiling, touch my toes. You know, that, 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 that kind of action. Uh, I'll be back in just... Well, Acacia, I actually don't know if you have 28 on you. If you don't even have 28 on you, or at least like the, the 22, it's not going to work. I don't know what happened, the, the, the sort of difference between these two. I hope Acacia objects to the wedding. Acacia can't. Acacia's going to marry Abigail. That's what it is. Folks, if you have been enjoying the stream, um, um, please do drop a follow if you haven't. All right, I got it, Acacia. All right, peeps, I'm going to go for a quick stretch break. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, Mark, we're going to refund you because Timeless isn't around, unfortunately. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, though. Okay, so you could go and hit the mic. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what we're talking about. We would never do that. Okay, I'll be back. Unreal stream. It's been, it's been insane. Folks, I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Stay tuned. Now you know what true pain I'll be, I'm going to the other side. <laughs> you have fun. Stop, I'm coming to the other side. Oh, God. <laughs> What's this? Oh, God, what is that? Oh, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I live! <laughs> Of course you live, you're on the other side of the freaking planet! <laughs> Apparently, one does not die here in the North Hemisphere. <laughs> All we got on my end was a cool breeze. <laughs> and an extra star in the night sky. Hit him in the... We did it! I 
an easy fight, right? Still didn't. Yeah, it's such an easy fight. Music on the horizon. <laughs> my new shield. It's no bucket. Let's see it. I mean, that is cool looking. Wow. Stop! Look at my shield! Look at my shield! <laughs> I thought it was you! What, you thought this thing was me? <laughs> he looks so much like what you! What do you mean he looks so nothing like me? I was about to say, you two have the same hole in your stomach and everything. <laughs> Mine's called a belly button. Uh, <laughs> we, no, we, we got three. Right, I'm back here. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man with a belt for a head, Tommy. Uh, I feel like this is a bad place to be. I agree. Okay, but, no, but then this is not a bad place for them to be. <laughs> no, I feel like he's quite comfortable there. These are coming up dunk, Tommy. I find an accidental cool item. Ooh, hungry or not. Oh, no! <laughs> you found treasure dunks. <laughs> He's level 200. I just boosted. Oh god, I forgot. <laughs> Gigi said, I mean, Timeless is carrying you. No, no, no. Timeless died just before the invader came. Oh my god, I do it every time! It's just a shiny. I have to pick it up. I have to pick it up. I can't help it. It's like <laughs> such a dick of... mechanic. Does he regain his health? I can't actually fight these guys because they always make you fight them on damn platforms where you can roll off. Oh. <laughs> or fall off. Have I proven to you, Thomas, that I won harder than the bell guy? Why, when uh... you kill the bell guy, does it make the law and order sound? Yo, 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 yo. Know that this game's gonna do something dusty to make me. <laughs> what the heck, man? Get out of the way. <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> oh, no. Some oh, some yeah, some proper FOMO. I think maybe this or my crazy. Oh, God. I actually meant going down one by one, but you know, that's one way to do it. <laughs> you think you're trapped in here with us? We're trapped in here. Wait, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh no, I'm stuck on stuff. We did it! Ah, uh, we didn't. I don't think we did. No, I think he just died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're dramatic. Sword hath pierced my bosom born. For one small scorn upon pain hath fell. You're like, what the hell, man? Just die. <laughs> I don't even know how to get out of here. Oh no. So you got this not the right way. That's not the right way. Go back, 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 back. That's a dead end you're walking into. With like multiple dogs are gonna burn you to hell. <laughs> I mean, I warned you. I'm sorry, I don't have a 180 degree turn that jumps over the four dogs that are my thing. I did a turning circle, Timeless, in the cul-de-sac. Um, you know. You are not a car, you are a human being. I've got myself some armored leggings. No, no, Look at that. Look at my armored legs. You mean leg? <laughs> well, the one leg is very well protected. <laughs> this is the joy of playing cop. We each get one legging. This is, this is a fair way to divvy up the loot. Give me one of your buckets and all will be equal. All right, I am back. Uh, Gia Dollmaker says, Arcasia ran into the mines with pajamas on. <laughs> okay, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news, okay? Who would like the good news? The good news is, while I was gone, mysteriously, like a bunch of fairies, like, Completed this quest. Magical elves, magical fairies, magical someone. Completed this quest. And we've done it. We, we, we've we mysteriously managed to complete the quest. I, I don't know what. That's really good news. Right, right, right? Wow. Wait, Okaja, you did in your wedding dress. <laughs> Wait, what? Okaja, you got married? <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, peeps. I had something to eat. I've got uh, streamer teeth. Max, wow. Okay, that's the good news. 
The bad news is, um, we got 3,000 gold, and I think because I'm going to fall asleep in the middle of nowhere, I think I am going to lose 6,000 gold. I think you lose like 10% of your gold. I think I'm going to lose 6,700 gold. So that's, in fact, now that I've clicked the 3,000, I should have clicked that tomorrow because now we're going to lose 7,000 gold. Unless, Mad Weasel, ride, ride, Man Weasel, yeah, 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 ride, Man Weasel, oh, golden ticket, that makes something, uh, oh, Man Weasel, oh, stupid peach bush, Man Weasel, uh, ride, Man Weasel, Man Weasel, So if anyone who doesn't know, the valley's not safe. Every single time you fall asleep, someone pickpockets you. Young star didn't make it to bed. Well, wait. When Arcasia first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if she'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Arcasia's gonna be as much a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honor on this day one of fall to unite your Acacia and Abigail in the bonds of marriage. I'm occasion I get married on the first day of fall, not the third. You're so silly. Doomed. Yeah. You carry a tent? Yeah, I should. Hmm. Oh my god, huge for Acacia? Yeah. But you know, um, imagine imagine getting married two days before your streamer. Imagine being the headline wedding of fall and making your streamer be be, be the secondary Wedding of fall. Hey? Imagine being sort of, you know, the bridesmaids to Arcasia's bride. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's what that's like now. Hmm. Oh, getting married? Yeah, I, I'm not even at this wedding. I literally fell asleep in a bush. Man Weasel urinated on me at some point in the night to attempt to rouse me, but I was like... <laughs> so yeah, I'm not even doing it. Shh, don't be happy. Okay, fine. She's the opening wedding of fall. You're the headliner. Okay, okay. There's some different ways to look at it. It's like a warm-up. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Well, let's get right to it. Acacia, Abigail, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal. And now I pronounce you wife and, well, wife. You may kiss. Yeah! Marnie's like, yeah! Yeah, they're married! Lovely a wedding, I freaking love a wedding. Life is gonna be different from now on. But the future looks bright. Ooh, that's a weird kiss. They did it. They went. They didn't care that there was photographers and stuff. Dear Mr. Dunkstar, last night at Joe. Okay, we only lost a thousand gold. Okay, so you can lose a maximum of a thousand. Gus made me some pancakes for the morning. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gus. Eat the pancakes. I'll save them. That was a forehead kiss? Maybe. And that is what you get for leaving all the planning to your partner? <laughs> I'm curious. Oh my. You know, I could actually see myself becoming a farmer someday. You freaking are a farmer today! <laughs> but how could that ever happen? <laughs> I don't think she knows what's in store for her. She literally lives. She gets woken up every day by a bunch of cows rusting outside and chickens. You still have to sleep in Tommy's bed. I don't. Okay. <laughs> so 2,000 profit from that bug adventure. Yeah, we actually turned out okay. And we got a ticket. Sympathy pancakes for not being your wedding day, yeah. Your apple tree's not growing anymore due to weeds growing around it, by the way. Okay, 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 I can sort this. Is, Kie is Acacia wearing a tiara now? Like a circlet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, apple. I actually just needed that for the, um... Okay, sorry, where are these weeds that you speak? Sorry, I don't, I don't understand how it works. Which, 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 which weeds? 
Or are you talking about like the moss? You just shake off this moss. That. I don't know. I don't I don't know how it works. Apple tree. A little tree. So what the wait, is this is this a weed? Sorry, I don't know what a weed is. Scythe? I don't think. Okay. Like this. Is that fine? Weeds be gone. Weed gone. Is that right? By the sapling, you think it's grass? Did I win? Did I, is that is that what I was supposed to do? Was that was that the apple tree you were speaking of? Fruit trees need the eight squares around them to be cleared. Okay. Wait, did everyone see there's like a chicken? Oh no, that's right. That's on top of this house. I was like, whoa, the middle of this tree has a chicken like shape. But it's literally just the Okay, I want everyone to ignore me right now. That's embarrassing. I have a corner of the coop. Oh, uh, this here. Okay, sorry. Grass, I understand. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, I didn't actually... This is a tree, huh? I understand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that's the only one. I don't know what these are. I think this is tea. Okay, did I win? I wish I could say we got a look. Hope you have the best stream. Cheers, Jeff. Um, diving. By the corner of the coop. Yeah, there you go. You have to combine a cloth and a pedal at a sewing machine to get a veil. Um, does, will Penny not sort of provide her own veil? Is that, is that, is that not a thing? I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I hope. I hope that means... I mean, I don't even remember which of these... I, I think most of the trees are planted up at the top. Let have a veil. It's cloth and pearl. Okay, but I mean... So, I don't I don't need that, huh? I I would like a tuxedo. Or do I... How, do, how does that work? You just have to worry about... Wait, wait. So, how did Akeja get wedding dress? How did... How did wait, wait. I don't know what to wear. I've got like a police officer uniform. That's like the closest thing I have to a suit. I've got like a sailor shirt and some farmer pants. And like a like a sports cap. Do all female players need to come up with their own for some reason? Okay, tux of guys is auto. Okay, so it's only the poor female character. Sorry for you. Like the father of the bride kind of paying for stuff, huh? I understand. Okay, so I should be fine, hopefully. That's good to know. I'm sorry that all of you had to provide your own dresses. But I guess it's kind of... I think traditionally... Um, I don't think it works like that anymore. But I think traditionally it is supposed to be the bride side of the family that provides most of the stuff. Again, I don't think it works like that anymore. I think most couples kind of have to... Unless, unless they're lucky. You know, they sort of come up with their own cash. Maybe parents from both sides kind of contribute this and that. You accidentally got married in a witch's hat. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it was a beautiful ceremony. And I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that you could have that magical moment. Hmm. Don't worry, Father Bride sorts all the cost out. Yeah. So I don't think it happens too much. I think, I think, I mean, I know a lot of people who've been married and, yeah, they'll pay for their own weddings. But with the parents obviously help out like a bit, you know? Where they can. And some, some lucky people, the parents have paid for everything. Okay. What does everyone think Penny's going to think of my room? Hey, do you think I'm gonna have to get like new bed sheets? I was thinking Spider-Man. What do we what do we reckon? Yeah, tradition it's father of the bride, and since I proposed last month, it's been fun joking my fa future father and law about that. Okay, well firstly congratulations, that's really cool. And um Yeah, hope you come right there. Transformers <laughs> Some Transformers bed sheets, what do you think? I'm gonna transform her into a woman. Oh my god. I regret everything. I have my face for a little while in shame. <clears throat> ah. So. Hey, Pip. How you doing, little Pip? I love you, Pip. I want you to know that even though we're getting you a new mom, I still love you, Pip. I still love you, Pip. It's still going to be you and me, buddy. It'll be you and me. In fact, I didn't even figure out if she likes Pip. If she doesn't like Pip, she can, you know, 
Go away. As you should, says man. Yeah, I made a mistake. I made a terrible mistake. You may hide your face. Yeah, even Sims like, yeah, you can hide your face. That's that's fine. 60 seconds. Transformers were for Maru. Penny will uh, want unprocessed linen or cotton. Hmm. Occasion, might I say that you're looking happy now that you're married? Alright, folks, I'm gonna ask something. I don't uh, I don't like spoilers, but um, I'm gonna ask it anyway. Because I think it is kind of important that I know this, because otherwise I won't know. Can you have children in the game? Can you have little bambinos? Is that is that a thing? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Ooh. No mods though, hey? Sorry, peeps, I must, I must probably put that on there. We're gonna have a little farm family soon! Yes, we are! A little farm family! I'm so glad you feel this way about me! That's true. <clears throat> Penelope? Is that, is that your full name? Penelope. Penelope? I love you. I think she feels it back. Oh, hey, Maru. Hey, so I picked up cheese at the store last night. My mom wanted something good for dinner. You should come visit me at the clinic tomorrow. I work from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Maru seems fine with it. I think Penny only loves dishes. Yes, she has only love for her dishes. No respect. No respect for farmers. All she cares about is her precious dishes. Her clean, clean dishes. No one even uses them. She washes them every day. She just takes them down to wash them and put them back. It makes no sense. Fall is Abby's favorite season, so I'm hoping she'll come out of her room more often. Oh, Abby's literally moved into her wife's house. That's... She's moved right out of that room into Fall and into a farm. What do you think of that, Caroline? Your, your, your dreams are coming true. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. You're welcome, Caroline. I should come on blessings more often. We have a good life here. Some people don't have enough food to eat. It's true, Jody. Have some pancakes. But does Jody like pancakes? Mm. Jody. Jody, Jody likes. Ooh, Jody freaking loves pancakes. Heck yeah. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. I really love this. Do not tell your husband. He'll break. Oh my god, there he is watching. Look. What's he looking at? Oh, crap. Oh. oh. Ooh, do you ever see like his chef like passing? <sighs> I fought the Empire for six years. I was in a prisoner war camp. I will break you in half. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crap. I don't like that. Did you not tell Penny that chat picked her? Not you? Nah, I picked her. I just let all the little voices in my head help me to know what to do. <laughs> Ken loves bombs. Flirt with his wife more. <laughs> Does he? As much as I'm enjoying this game, other player awareness needs a bit of work. Oh my god. Dunk, 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 dunk. I finally got COVID. V? Yay? No, stay healthy. Stay healthy. I've also been, I've remained COVID free since the thing. I know no COVID for me. He's going to snap you like a toothpick? I know. I mean, all I know how to do is wield a hoe and a pickaxe. And that, that man knows 67 different ways to break a man's neck. Uh oh Yeah, be well, V. Just throw a go uh, Jojo Cola at him. He can curl up and cry about it later. Now I got Jinx to telling Baba I was immune. What happens, hey? Yeah, I don't want to jinx me. Sir, there are children about. Small little children that would not like to see a scene. Your children. Hello, farmer. Hi. I've been gone so long. I feel like a stranger. Someone who no one will recognize. Someone who everyone barely knows is here. Someone who could kill a man. Fade into the night, unseen, unheard. Okay, well, that's, uh, that was stressful. 
should not have given that lady pancakes. Other than that, I'm pretty okay. I still have taste and all that. V, you, you stay healthy. You stay healthy, V. Probably imagining number 68 watching you over there right now. Dark Dwayne, how's it going? Shoo-wee. Shoo-wee. Wait. Oh, Keisha's in a cutscene. I was about to say the entire sound seems still. If I didn't have to work, I'd suggest we go on a nice picnic. I'd like that. But every year, I appreciate the seasons more and more. For young people, it's easier to let them slip by. Indeed. So V, I'm glad that you're doing okay. So if anyone has just joined, I finally decided who I'm going to marry. We went through an entire process on who we were going to marry in the game. And uh, I am getting married to Penny in two days' time. The wonderful Penny. Uh, it was an extremely, extremely, extremely close poll. Holy moly. One by one vote. It was tossing and turning. And I honestly thought Maru had it till right at the end. So yeah, this is who, this is what could have been. If only one other person had voted. This is what could have been. If things had just gone slightly different. Could have been Maru and me. And me. E -e -e -e. Boom, boom, boom. Team Penny stole it at the last second. It was very drama filled. I mean, it was neck and neck and neck. And then Maru was about three votes ahead. And then Penny just came back. Oh, I get a cow. What are you trying to cheat on Penny? I'm not trying to cheat on anyone. I'm a, I'm a good guy. I would never cheat on Penny. Ever. Look me in the eye. I will never, ever, ever cheat on Penny. Unless her mom, Jody, or Robin become available. Then I might. But as it stands, no. Your team Elliot? Uh, Elliot Shampooman. No, Elliot Shampooman was taken out. Maru feels uh, like she's still in her teens for me. A lot of people said that Maru comes across as quite young. Maru's the least married of anyone. You're the worst, says Sim. What? Again, he means again. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't mean again. Tungstar is a rolling stone. I gathered no moss. Take a new weekly quest. I could, I could. It's a good idea. Let's do it. You can divorce her. No, 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 peeps. Penny's for life. I love Penny. We're going to get married. Penny and I are going all the way. The vote was that. Um, everyone knows. So basically, we Penny and I got together under reality TV rules. Except in this particular reality show, you don't even get to choose. The audience chooses who you marry. So, you know, like, that's that's a strong bond. 100 pieces of bone. I don't even know where this ectoplasm stuff is. I'm going to try to get it. Can't be that hard. I mean, I've never seen one. Going all the way means something else. Mmm. I bought the tastiest blueberries from Pierre's shop the other day. He said that he grew the thing in his own backyard. I didn't know Pierre was such a talented farmer. Looks like you might have some competition. Huh. Oh. Hi, Dungstar. Do you have any medical questions? No. Maru, Alex, Blondie, and the emo boy are all teens in my mind. I hear you. That's fair. That's fair. Several of the guys come across really young to me too. Yeah, you're actually right. I think V pretty much has summed it up quite nicely. Everyone else is 20 and over. I mean, these two hang out, so... Hmm. Harvey sounds more like a comedian, I know, in my head. No, no. Harvey, to me, sounds... Harvey, in our particular playthrough, is the town serial killer. He says, I always have human lives in my hands. You know how that makes a man feel? Fear to know that your actions will cause life or death. The single swipe of a, of a scalpel can end a man easily. That's why. That's why he's like that. I don't know if I can trust you anymore, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, peeps. All the men find that I was, um... Oh, oh, the men have forgiven me. That's good. Okay. There's good news they have forgiven me. The bad news is uh, I'm marrying a woman. So, you know, sorry about that. I like taking walks in the forest this time of year. The temperature is so comfortable. <laughs> Abigail and Sam feel like they just graduated high school. Yep, I hear ya. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Isn't Harvey's backyard next to Piers? Maybe Pierre had some special fertilizer back there. Maybe, Catherine. We'll see. I had a huge plate of wild mushrooms and eggs for breakfast today. I'm still full. 
Keep your nose to the ground and you'll find some mushrooms yourself, I'm sure of it. Alright, so these are all the people who sort of passed me by, alright? <gasps> Uh-oh. Hi, hey, Tungstar, I'm just making some popcorn. Leave Kent and come with me! I'm not married yet. Ah! Oh my- wait, is this happening? Oh, crap! I'm hoping that's a he hit his hand with a hammer kind of- Ah, not a- What are you doing with my- oh, Is this actually a thing? Oh, crap! He heard you? Dung must have invented that Dark Doctor persona because he watched too much Walking Dead. So the wedding is in two game days? That's right, that's exactly it. Oh no, this part? Ah! That sound. But what's... You should have known that sound would remind me of the war. Oh. Oh. Shell shock. I lost a lot of friends in those bloody trenches. I don't know, it's got real now. All right. But dear, popcorn was always your favorite before you left. Things have changed. Young star, can you, can you say something to him? Say something to Kent. Jody's to blame. She should have known better. I know you're hurting. Don't blame your wife. Lie, blame me. I asked. For popcorn. Alright, so this got very serious. Um, I thought I was going to get beaten up and cracked in two, but instead, um, so much worse. So much worse. So much worse for sure. 232. Two. See, Kent is a good guy. Now, here, yeah, yeah, Kent. Kent just has a lot of uh, war, post war PTSD stuff. You're not making any popcorn here, Dunk. That's it. You still might. <laughs> Surprise! We're popping a balloon. Holy moly. Two three two two three two three two two two. Mm. I'm gonna go with two here. I know you're hurting. Don't blame your wife. Uh, you're absolutely right, youngster. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. You couldn't have known the sound of popcorn would make me upset. It's okay, dear. The last thing I want to do is make you upset. I'll do my best to keep your spirits up from now on. Please don't kill me, sir. I'm glad you're a friend of the family, Dunkstar. Sorry about my behavior before. Don't you worry. I will be a great friend to your family and a special friend to your wife. Don't you worry about that, Kent. If you were to leave again, I will be here. I will be here for them. Um, 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 um. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Dunk, what? I'm here to support them. How could? What are you talking about? You weren't there on the battlefield when they threw popcorn at us until we cried about it. <laughs> this is a serious topic, peeps. It's very, very serious things. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're not, we're not going to go there. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad you're at my house to go after my wife. I'm not here, thanks, mate. Yeah. That's how you handle someone with rage issues. I'll make sure to be responsible for your emotions. Sure. Well, peeps, I'm getting married to Penny. Penny, I'm just... Folks, give me, like, three days. Just three days to just, like, Josh... As my last three single days. Right? Right? I mean, once I'm married to Penny, that's, that's all it's gonna be. Just, you know, I'm having that sort of... Wait, I didn't get a bachelor party. Wait, who didn't plan my bachelor party? I hate to say it, but sometimes I'm glad my father forced me to be a blacksmith. Cool, dude. Have some sashimi. This is a fun game. Oh, 10 out of 10 with Clint. The buddies, Clint. That's what's happening there. So I've got the 10 out of 10 Jody scene. Um, I think it was Jody on 9 now. Jody's on 9. And this dude's on 10. It'll be an awkward bachelor party with your boyfriends. <laughs> I didn't even stop to think about that. Um, yeah, that's true. The bachelor's party is normally only dudes, and they're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're getting married, Doug Star, who technically was still dating. Oh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's true. Do you ever feel like the whole world is scrutinizing you? 
Like some disgusting insect. Okay, so Shane might have relapsed since my problems. That's not good. I'll buy him a pizza. That'll make him feel better. There you go, Shane. Oh wow, Dunkstar. How'd you know it's my favorite? We dated for a day? I remember these things. I remember all of these things. Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Alright, this is the family. This is what I'm getting into, peeps. Some people marry for dynasty purposes. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. She changed her sentence if she could remember what had happened three seconds prior. Imagine if no one shows up to your wedding because they're all exes. Pam will show up because there's free beer. You're off to bed. V, you take care of yourself. Don't worry, they're all busy being furious and cold shouldery. Yeah, it's true. Should buy yourself a drink if she could remember. Yeah, that's that's true. Poor Shane. Yeah, listen, I've left a lot of pain in my wake, but I'm going to make Penny eternally happy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend my life giving a Penny. In-game Dunkstar seems to be pain, so why not invite everyone to your party except your future wife? Oh, oh Pan, sorry, yes. All right, I also have a cow. That's pretty cool. Would anyone like one? We'd like a cow name. I don't even... I assume you have to put this thing in the fields. Come, moo cow. Folks, who would like a cow named after them? If you'd like a cow named after you, um, I'm going to play a little bit of a guessing game. I am thinking of... What's something we haven't done? We came up with a couple new things earlier. I am thinking of... Okay, we're thinking about Pam. No, not too many people know that. Um... I want this cow freaking get in here, cow. What the hell, cow? It's a decal for your house. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> We'd like to have a cow. Bloody honestly, Buckling? I'm not even joking, dude. I was about to say alcoholic cocktails because of Pam. Um, but then I was like, no, I think that's kind of like a niche thing. I feel like we'd exclude a lot of people. Um, good job, Buckling. What if I can put this cow in Tommy's house and you'll think it's real? How do you, I don't even know where it goes. Okay, I can't believe it. So, so, you know what? Buckling, whatever. You know, you all laughed at me. This, my, my non-real cow, its name is Bucky. It's Bucky, it's Bucky the cow's painting. There you go. Bucky's in the kitchen. This is definitely going to full time this next time. Mm. Mm. Kitchen cow, yeah. Bucky's my kitchen cow. <laughs> That's what it is. My one and only kitchen cow. All right, folks. I think we'll probably, I think we'll wait for the wedding tomorrow. Because then I've still got stuff to do. I've still got a couple cutscenes to do with the people that I haven't seen. I've still got to go clear the desert and go adventuring as deep down into there as I can. Um... We've got the wedding day, so I think we'll save the wedding for tomorrow. I think I think that'll be cool. We've obviously we found the 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 bride. That's the word. <laughs> I was looking for. I was like spouse group. Before I had to keep like using like neutral terms, but yes, we have found the bride, and um, that's what we shall do. Your apple tree wasn't able to grow last night. Oof, and yeah, that's not good. So, folks, if you did enjoy yourself and you haven't dropped a follow, please do think about dropping a follow. You would hate to want to find mediocre content on the internet and not being able to find this channel. Imagine that. That would suck. That would suck tremendously for you. So if you did have fun here, do drop a follow. Uh, and thank you, peeps. That was a really exciting stream. That was a really cool poll. Um, I'm sorry for some of you who, you know, quite frankly, I'm sure this is some of you, who are like, ah, yay, he made a virtual girlfriend uh, and not really care. I, I also completely understand that. Um, I appreciate you all humoring us. You're like, I really could not care who you marry in this game. I, I appreciate you staying here despite that. I thought it was fun. I'm excited to get married tomorrow and see what married life might get, uh, bring. I'll make some kids and crazy stuff. What a stream it was. I, I enjoyed it. I, I had fun. I had a good one. Ryaka, thanks for being here. Thanks for stream. Raven, you have a good one. Kit, you have yourself a great one. Um, Buckling. Crazy mom. You have yourself a great one. Thank you, peeps. Really, really, really do appreciate you all popping by, as always. You spoiled me with your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. 
all righty um let's go drop all you lovely people off somewhere but where but where i say uh take everyone cheers little purple moon uh, it was funny thanks i'm glad that you liked it uh Lupa Kel, thanks for being here uh pj you have yourself a great one dan and dan's um sim i'm glad that you enjoyed it uh gia dollmaker thank you very much for being a lady tessa uh always a pleasure to have you here uh pixelated geek enjoy the rest of your day as well have a great one chimera thank you very much i'm glad that it is described as excitement in here that gives me much much pleasure um always fun see you soon cheers maya what you have a great one uh what's the schedule for next stream um exclamation mark schedule i start the same time on all the days sorry there it is and folks a reminder as well sorry i mean i'm supposed to do all these plugs there's the schedule uh there's the youtube if you'd like there are going to be a few shorts going up there already are some shorts if you'd like to see me having all my girlfriends break up with me and uh all that crazy stuff and some other shenanigans that all go up there i also put up a full vid of stardew in the uh near future there are some shorts up and they'll all be amalgamed into a full video so yeah do subscribe to that if you haven't um okay let's go drop all you lovely people off somewhere do, 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 do. Uh, but where but where i say you haven't seen for a while or who's doing stardew that we know Uh, bye chat and see them. Cheers, cheers. Have a great one, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, popping by. Um, I know one person playing Stardew on my follow list. Again, I don't know if we want to do Stardew. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Huh? When there's not drops, it doesn't matter too much to stick into the same category, I, I suppose. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Uh, thank you all, uh, the mods, for the hard work keeping us in line. Yeah, you know, naughty, naughty people. Eriberry, you have yourself a great one. You, you, you will get in line. Sure, for sure. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to go through the categories and stuff. It's normally best I just sort of take the first person that I see. That's normally smarter. Otherwise... Otherwise, I don't even know what to do. I have too many friends. This is the problem. And when I have too many friends, then I normally just pick someone new that I've never rated before. And then we just do that. Because then you don't, you don't have to have a decision. Wait, what? <laughs> I have someone who's on the front page twice. So if anyone does, I've applied for front page on Twitch before. I do have all their requirements. And they said, sorry, you can't because we don't actually have someone who um, uh, does it in Africa. So, you know, you're going to have to wait till we have, like, a representative in Africa to do that. But there's someone on here who's on the front page twice. On that little thing that goes around, they look you on there twice. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's nice. That's, that's fun, right? That's, that, 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 that's cool. Okay. Let's go see what's what. A lot of people are playing Once Human again. Um, I mean, I really did like the game. I just, I have a... I don't know. I never know if I should or shouldn't um, hop into betas. I, I get kind of bored of games. So yeah, having to hop in a beta and restart and restart and restart is, is not the best. Discrimination, total discrimination. Yeah, you know. You know how it go sometimes. You know how it is. Someone's got a thing here. You should smoke cigarettes. This isn't a joke. I think this person might romance Sebastian. Okay, a lot of V again, a lot of VTubers play this game. Tommy's a VTuber. I am unfortunately flesh tuber, you know? Flesh tuber dunk. I don't know. I never know, hey? Rating blind is a, it's always, it's, it's a weird thing. I do like making new friends, but one never knows what to do. What to do with all your stuff and all of your things. Hmm. 
We'll see. A uh, VTuber? What's that? That's, uh, that's, that's someone who's not a flesh tuber. That's it. All right, peeps. Um, let's go and drop all you people off here and see what's what. All right, peeps. You're all amazing. You're all incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I will catch all you lovely people next time. Um, it is a blind raid. I'm sure I've seen this person before, though. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they are nice. If they are, fantastic. If they aren't, that's okay. Don't have to stay. Um, you all have yourself a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time zone, whatever it is for you. Cheers, cheers. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Have a good one. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Cheers, Mad Mike, dude. It was great seeing you. Bye, don't. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, little. Cheers, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.